go. Hello and welcome back. I actually need the intro this time. Hell yeah. We did it. Let me ruin it. <laughs> yeah, no, ruin no. it like the last time. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> this takes a three letter word. It was taken out of context, actually. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you listen here, gamers. I still gamers. haven't gotten a chance to try to edit that part out, so you it's won't still there. edit it, lady. I just, want I'll to try. It. No. You can just send it to me and I'll edit it. It's actually so hard to send those five hour files yeah, to people. I, yeah, I know, right? You would need you, like a Dropbox thing for that. That's what Trevor you, and I use you could Dropbox. Just, you don't have to send me the whole five hour thing. You could just send me the 30 minutes that you want edited and then you could just put that. In. I think this is the perfect thing to talk about when we're not about to play some D&D. &D. Right, anyway. oh! We're going to talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. No, we don't have a sponsor. Have you guys, have have you guys seen Shonaru in the Doom Tower yet? Stream has been hotel on Netflix. Can yeah, you nice. unlock Last it? time on D&D, &D, 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 you guys &D. you guys got to witness an attempted coup d'etat by one Gronk D new crew, which failed. <laughs> Unluckily, it was completely uh, yeah. a luck-based fail failure. The, cap the captain decided to show some rough punishment toward towards the cook and told him to get the fuck off the ship in 24 hours. Her crew decided that that wasn't fast enough and decided to expedite his trip to heaven. <laughs> oh, when no. you put it like that? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds like murder. I mean, was it not? <laughs> no, it's, you know. It was. It was a deserved murder. person who was murdered, yes. It was deserved. It was, really, it was okay. like suicide. Really. He had it coming. <laughs> Yeah, you, guys, you guys expedited his uh, his trip to the afterlife. You're welcome. And unbeknownst well, to you, you guys were being watched so. by some individuals out in the forest who have reported your location. And that night, you were visited by, by a cool guy. Again. 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 Uh, he is a cool guy. Oh, man. 10 out of 10 on the coolness meters. As well as he went downstairs and decided to pay a visit to your youngest member of your crew as the captain, <laughs> uh, while dead asleep, just so happens to <laughs> hear a creak, oh, man, this is great. and then decide to check the other side of the listen, ship. Listen, she grew up yeah, on the streets. Accidentally turned on the TV. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. She grew up on the streets. <laughs> a lot, through a lot bunch of, of uh, through a bunch of wacky moments. <laughs> so wacky. So random, but you guys. I'm just so quirky. Captain eventually gets her way over there and alerts. Mr. Mr. Petrikov to their presence, and and grabs Hoshiko by her neck, only to be switched out by the captain, as he talks and says that he has a he has a little bit of business with the Barbados and law. Mm -hmm. uh, Jero almost trying to blast him in the back of his noggin, and Barbados saving his life by telling him now is not the time. You guys make your way to the top of the ship with him. Where he talks to you and he reveals plans and ideas and ideas. aspirations to you. Grandeur, uh, if you will. Yeah, many many flights of fancy. But he is but he has seemingly recruited you to do a mission to take out Mr. Marco the Phoenix. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys have given him a transponder snail for him to contact you in the morning for you to contact him. In doing so, you you summoned some vice admirals and an admiral to your ship to try to plead with them and convince them to help you defeat Andros before the arrival of Whitebeard, in which most of them declined, given the Navy kind of wanting Whitebeard to be defeated, even though they don't necessarily like this admiral. Except for one admiral, Admiral Shin, who through his honor has decided to help you. And in this help, you guys have through a bunch of math about that Doc was doing in the rain, <laughs> had figured out you guys could probably barely make it to, to Pops' ship and bring him back by the time this operation would go through. And so you guys see as the captain and Shin fly off into the distance. And like a like a like a like a just a small bead of light shooting off into the into the far distance. Captain, you are you were you guys are good up there and you have reached your maximum speed as you hear Shin say, I believe it's time that we start doing your 
stone throwing technique. I turn to him and I say, watch this! And I rear back and I go to throw it and swap it at the appropriate time. As you throw it, it seems like the stone nearly breaks the sound barrier as you throw it with vicious power. So cool. Alright, and you guys are just zooming. And we'll come back to you in a minute. Swap. Swap. Barbados, you and Law find yourselves yes. on the deck of the ship. Just call me Deku-chan. As, okay. as, as you guys are on the deck of the ship, thunder <laughs> crashes as the as the uh, as the cloud overcast is getting worse and worse, getting darker. It's, all, it's getting nearly pitch black since the sun has yet to rise, and the and the rain is pelting down on you like like razor blades as it falls down. Uh, what was the uh, the time frame that Doc gave us? How long it would take him to get back and forth can, uh, by his time, by his math? Like by mid afternoon? I'm asking the DM or the doc if they remember. Oh the doc's uh, not here. It was about it was about mid afternoon. They Okay. If the operation would ideally go at about one, uh, it's it would seem they're probably about to arrive they would be set to arrive at twelve thirty if there's no issues. So that leaves us with like how many hours? Twelve hours? Uh you got about ten hours. Ten hours. Okay. Okay. Um did this is one more like meta quote not in meta, but like i don't did andros mention that he had like did i thought he said something like i had some people that found you or something like that or did did he not mention that do, do we have the implication that we know there there are like people in the no woods no, no. That... he said directly he had scouts tell us okay like, cool cool i just want to make sure that was not another okay that was something he directly told cool us. um all right well barbados if 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 we're gonna fight against Andros, I think the first thing we need to do is get rid of these scouts looking for us. You think you can call in somebody to help with that? Because we can't I really got, move. I think I got one idea on that. I'm gonna go okay. to my room. And I'll uh while he's doing that, I'm gonna go get Gerald. I'm gonna wake up everybody except for Doc and uh Alwyn because they need to sleep. And I'll I guess I'll bring everybody to the kitchen if I can. All right. Uh as you as you head down, uh, you look in the captain's quarters and you see how she goes passed out on her bed. I'm I'm not waking her up, obviously. Make a perception check. Oh, I will do that. Oh, big money, big money, big money. That's a four plus ten, so it's a fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, just a cursory glance. You uh, look at her. First thing you notice is an is an apparent handprint that has set in on her throat. I it it rattles me for a second because I don't think that was like told to me, and I'm just gonna like okay, it, it doesn't it doesn't change the plan, and then I'm gonna turn around, wake up Brooke, uh, leave the docks office alone, wake up Kenzo, wake up Gerald, and bring him to the kitchen. Uh, as as you get in the kitchen, uh, groggily you see. You see Burke has come in. He's wearing a nightcap. Uh, you also see Kenzo wanders his way in as well, looking equally sleepy as was well, Jero, who, without even looking at you, just starts heading towards the coffee pot. Make enough for everybody. He goes, rawr, rawr. All right, well, while he's making that coffee, maybe I should do something to wake you guys up. Tomorrow we're fighting Andros. Yeah, you see Kenzo, who is like kind of uh, wiping his eyes, just shoots open. I don't even make I don't even make eye contact. I'm looking at like the grain of the table. As as Brooke, had, he had, he was kind of no, nodding off. He had like the snot bubble. It just pops, and Brooke goes, "Are you what? The admiral? Yep. Yeah. When Andros thought... when Andros showed up today, uh." And he got Hoshiko. It it was he put Barbados and I in in a position where we really couldn't make a whole lot of decisions. And it was one one bad idea versus one worse one. He either offered us the choice to kill Marco or help him kill Marco, uh, and he would spare our lives in Hoshiko's. Because I guess now's the time to tell you guys. 
A similar mark on my arm and on Barbados' hand on the captain's shoulder is on Hoshiko's throat. If if we're assuming this is some kind of detonation ability and he activates it, Hoshiko will most likely die. Uh, Kinzo actually pipes up and he says, I think it might be for the best idea for us to perhaps follow what he says then. Killing Marco, or helping him, assuming that would even work, would forever vilify us to the Whitebeard Pirates. Uh, assuming that he even lets us live, and to let you on the additional information, Whitebeard's on his way here. He'll be here in ten hours, because we just sent the captain and an admiral to go collect him. We're going to make Whitebeard and Andros fight each other. <laughs> As Kinzo, <laughs> you kind of punch by punching the bridge of his nose, goes, well, I guess that gets rid of the easy way. All right. For what it's worth, Kenzo, I came to the same conclusion you did, but... If there's a chance we can kill Andros and save Hoshiko's life, you know that I won't, I'll do anything to cause that, but... At this point, the decision's made... If if he detonates that on the first second of retaliation, there's not much we can do. Kenzo, he he thinks about it and says, "If I had to go into the mental state of the deranged, I would assume he's using her more as a bargaining chip, not necessarily one he would want to use out the gate." If I had to assume but I would prefer not to test that theory. I don't want to either. Uh, I feel like I, there's not a whole lot of choices ahead of us. We have to do what we can with our resources. I will tell you, at the moment, I am coming up with a plan. It's a fairly terrible one, and we're most likely all going to die. But, you know, it's a plan. So Good pep talk. Jero, how many guns as you, do you as have? As you say that, Brooke goes, have we thought of rethinking that plan then? I, I'm... Uh, it's it's a constant moving one. Jero, how many guns do you have? And Jero, as he lifts up, he, he doesn't actually seem super phased by this. You can, you can tell he's kind of a rough person to wake up in the morning. As he takes a sip and goes, I got about... I got those pistols. I got them about three or four. I, I got enough to arm everyone on the crew, if that's what you're asking. Uh, would these guns be capable of shooting at least twenty feet into water and still hitting the target? Uh, I don't doubt that some of them could. Those would have to be given to the highest priority people, the ones that we're most confident can hit shots besides me, because there's something else I have to do. Okay, this is this is the idea. Um, it requires some testing, but... Okay, uh, I wish the captain was here. This would be a better way. Okay, okay. Kinzo, and I'm going to pull out Bloodhound, and I'm going to lay it down across the table. Hey, he looks right. at it. Okay. I don't know, I forget, I can't keep track of who I tell this to, but Bloodhound here can speak. He's a former human who's transformed by some kind of power. I, Big Mom is related, I don't know. Um, I'm excited and says, the devil's fruit are very strange. So, Kinzo, if you would touch Bloodhound while I'm holding him. Just places his hand on it. You hear, oh great, now we got an old man touching me too. Awesome! Thanks, buddy. Yep. Yeah, um... Enzo kind of looks back at the blade and goes, Well, being well-crafted, a rather repulsive weapon. Okay, let's, let's not get off on the wrong foot. Um, hey, hey, listen, hey, fuck you! Okay, look, okay, listen, I... Well, get him back, Kenzo. Okay. Um, this is gonna sound weird, but... Bloodhound can see what I can see. Um, when I can't touch him, there's no contact. I'm not sure how he's able to speak or if he's able to, but my theory is, Kinzo, if you were to close your eyes and maybe focus, maybe you could see through my eyes with this connection. 
So Kinzo kind of gives you this, like, he gives you kind of the look whenever somebody says, like, well, yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Five seconds ago, you didn't know this sword talked. Just... He, he puts a hand up and go, he goes, oh, fair enough, fair enough. It just seems a bit unbelievable, but fine. I, yeah, I know. Okay. He will, he will write, he will close his eyes and try to do it at disadvantage. Yeah. That's a four. He closes his eyes and just, you see him kind of struggling with it. As you as you hear Bloodhound say, "Come on, just just ease just easy down, old man. Just think, just look, just look through my eyes. To look through his eyes. Like you can tell he's obviously fucking with him." Bloodhound, shut the please shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm Blood just trying to I'm just trying to help him, buddy. Yeah, but you could help by being quiet. At uh, right, okay. right, right. Just talk whenever you want me to talk. Be, no. Be, be a good dog, huh? No, that's not what I'm trying to do. This is just very important. Ooh. He needs to focus. Damn. Okay, look. I, I know this... Maybe this will work because the captain has interacted more with Bloodhound, but uh, I feel like this the Captain could seems work. like someone that would get along with this weapon, yes. Uh... Oh, oh man, this is awkward. I didn't want to cause a fight while we're in like life or death. Okay, I'm going to pull the sword back. But okay, the idea is the captain is able to switch switch things. And we saw what she's able to do to one Devil Fruit user yesterday. So if we can catch Andros by surprise and get him 20 to 30 feet underwater, well, that helps us a lot. Now, <laughs> and the kids looks at you and says, wait, have you, have you all been planning this for a while? Was Gronk just a test dummy for this theory? No, but it's a fortunate thing that that worked out. Um, this has all happened last minute. This happened after Gronk uh, had his duel with the captain. It's uh, like we had a week to plan or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. So the captain is switch switching herself and going to be back here, but hopefully I will be able to fill her in before then. But, yeah, the idea is to either have her hidden through some means of Barbados's powers. I was hoping to have her connected to Bloodhound and be kind of in his little jacket, or I don't know. Uh, I'm, like, Law is clearly like frantic, like kind of like grasping at straws kind of energy because he's just like realized that he's, he's about literally to... grasping at straws. <laughs> but if, if we can somehow get Andros caught off guard without using his full body armament hockey, which he's clearly capable of, according to the captain, then we can switch switch him underwater like she did Gronk. Now, I'm sure him being an admiral, he has he there's a chance that he can just force his way out of it with brute strength. I even Barbados was able to use his powers freakishly at one point. So while while he's stuck underwater, hopefully immobilized, I would like Gerald's to get passing out coffee to everybody. Yeah, thank you. Um, hopefully immobilized, we're gonna try to detonate uh, any weapons, any explosives that we might have. Cheryl, that'd be also good if you have any explosives. Um, uh, I do. Am I? I'm not aware of Barbados's death charges. Am I? Uh, you know, Barbados used an explosive earlier. You're. Uh unsure how many he has where he got access to it but okay. i know he used one at one point okay barbados has some kind of explosive i don't know if it works underwater but you know maybe we'll be able to encase it in something um but hoping to rig up explosions where we're going to switch switch them to immediately hit them with everything we have i mean way one side of the ship so that the broadside cannons will shoot down into the water i mean shoot them with everything to hopefully stall so that I have enough time to make it to a, a far enough away location to where he can't see this bullet coming, and I'm going to shoot him with a bullet with Barbados inside of it. Hopefully, if it penetrates Andros' skin, Barbados can expand or take his normal form, and Andros becomes, well, paste. That's the, that's the current plan. Marine soup. You see, you see, Joe, he just kind of takes another sip, and he goes... Why would you do that uh, convoluted plan with Barbados? Why not just take another sip? Why not just give the captain like a spyglass and have her look at him from like a ways away? 
That's so big brain. We're I never not thought of that. Gonna be fucking one upped by the hick. No. Um. I never I'm thought take, of I'm that. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take like genius. a long, long sip. Of <laughs> he just genius. takes yeah. another. Oh genius. my god! Yeah, I'm, gonna take, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna down the coffee, and it hurts. Like it just got made. It, I'm just ignoring it. I'm trying to think while drinking it. The fucking yeah. hick. He's a god. The fucking hick. Yeah, Gerald. That's 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 a really really good idea. That's a really good. That's a really good. Okay, that's a really. good I mean, idea. if we don't have any spyglasses, I mean, you can borrow one of my scopes. Yeah, you have you a want. scope. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Then, yeah. Oh my All god. Right. And then this my mouth thing. dropped when you said that. I just. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. The heck. Okay. Oh my god. Then, then <laughs> the captain. Then the captain can stay three hundred feet away with the spyglass on Shin's uh uh cloud and switch switch herself and Whitebeard when it's opportune. She could stay out of range and switch switch Andros while he's while he's unaware of her, then switch switch Whitebeard into position. Oh my god, Gerald. Okay. He, right. he takes another sip. You see, you see his eyes are still half lit as he goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't really paying attention during all of what you said though. No, it's it's fine. Okay. So some okay, things cool. Some things, uh, oh that's God. a really big bonus. Okay, then with that spy gas plan, something that really helps is I need to, well, you guys don't know about this, but I need to get really fast, so some physical training would help Kenzo. Um, also, I need to unlock observation hockey. I need to figure that out today. So <laughs> Kenzo, he goes, uh, yep. Also, a level up in my armament hockey would be great, too. I need to push that further. Really, I need a lot of training. And then when Owen wakes up from his concussion nap, we'll send him him in to this really cool place called Gustav's. He has a government idea. He'll be able to cut the line like uh, other guy did. I shouldn't have told you guys that, but I'm really frazzled. Um, yeah. So he, Owen, Owen's gonna. Um, I said, Gerald, Gerald goes. He goes. Oh yeah, that friend, that friend of his was saying that uh they, they would yeah they work together. Yeah. I look. I don't. Owen has a way to cut the line. He's going to do that because Gustav is a popular place. And there's this this pl thing that I drank there. I stayed up all night doing research. So Alwyn has a world government identification that uh, Marco was looking for the other day. Nice one. This morning. Uh, Tell him no. Just deny it. Just go no. Um. Not exactly. I, I don't. I don't know. I. I. I'm. I'm not that familiar. I didn't see what what Quincy flashed. I didn't know what Marco was looking for. I'm kind of new to all this. I just know that like Marco showed him something, and I'm hoping that like Alwyn can just kind of flash something in his face to also get past the line. If not, they don't have to wait in the line, which is fine. It still works in the timeline. And so as long as we get the coffee, we can recover from that really long training session. And everyone's gonna have to. Not everyone, but a lot of people are gonna have to stay up all night to prepare, especially the captain. I mean, she's gonna be full throwing rocks all the way there and back. She's gonna need something to pick her up when she gets back. All right. Are we forgetting anything? I'm just trying to hard breeze past that with the like desperation of the plan. Like, I, like Kenzo, there might be something there. I don't know, but I know that Alwyn has always helped us and defended us, and right now. We're trying to fight someone who is way beyond our potential, but we don't really have a choice. Or kind of puts his hand up like he's raised, like you're raising it. Yeah. Hey, Brooke. Yeah. He goes. What should I do? He goes, uh, you... <laughs> yeah, Brooke. Uh, actually, um... Brooke can move real fast across the water. He can. Mm, can. He can also cut mm. cannonballs in half. <laughs> hmm. Well, Brooke, I haven't seen you a lot in combat other than the time you sliced a cannonball in half, which was super impressive. I mean, do you have anything with which you could pro possibly damage Andros? What? I don't know. I don't know. I'm desperate. Brooke goes, well, I don't know about an admiral. I've never really tried. Uh, maybe. Hmm. There's... I mean, you can't be killed with your devil fruit, right? I think well, I wouldn't. Version. I wouldn't say that. Oh, like it is all. Sorry, I don't want to make it sound like a demeaning thing, but usually devil fruits have like little like extra tips and things. Does all your devil fruit do is just keep your mortal body from di like dying? It just kept you alive. Is, it, is there not like a different thing it can do? Brooke goes. 
He goes, no, no. He's like, my, he's like, my body wasn't always a skeleton. He goes, no. And he's like, whenever I died, he's like, my soul, when it came back, it got mm. lost in the fog. And then I eventually found my body again. That sounds like horrible. You gotta push that. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh man. Okay. Well, I expected Barba- Barbados really helps with the planning, uh, especially with keeping me calm. Because I'm. He, he seems to make he seems to make it a lot more doable for some reason. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jerry, you, you see him actually kind of waking up a bit. He go. He goes. He goes. Well, that didn't seem like that hard of a plan, in my opinion. This motherfucker, this fucking hip, this piece of shit already. Well, motherfucker, goddamn. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really glad that I have your your confidence, um, because I'm gonna need it. Uh, I'll show you a fucking easy plan. Um. Oh okay. God, we just all got so outsmarted by Gerald. Okay. Um. Actually. Uh, no. No, I didn't. Uh, I have one more thing to ask you, Gerald. Do you think you could make? What what's the biggest gun you have? Like I'm, uh, for shooting longest range and power, and uh, if not, we would have to create like the biggest like anti anti admiral gun, and then create a bullet that hopefully like you know how we crafted uh, that sword and I channeled hockey through the captain. What if we did yeah. that? What if we did that to a bullet? When you were make when you when you make a bullet. I could channel hockey through you and make a hockey bullet, right? Gerald goes, Oh, yeah, it's possible. I mean, it seems not really like time efficient. If you're gonna, if you're gonna make like a full magazine of them, it would take like. No, no, we just need one. Oh, I mean, we'd, I mean... we'd only have we'd only have one shot at this that we'd put Barbados. We're putting Barbados inside of this bullet. Huh? Yeah. He can fit well, I mean, I, I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't really know a whole lot about this hockey or whatever. I mean, I mean, it's possible, but okay. I mean, if you're looking for a bigger gun, it's going to be a probably need like a. It's not that big, it's coffee. He's reminding me of tomato now. <laughs> <laughs> tomato. Tomato. Well, I mean, I do have Jeez. this. I do have this fisherman revolver. I could leave it with you, and if you can modify that, and because it's a super powerful hand cannon, if you can modify that into some kind of long distance gun. Gerald looks at it and goes, "He goes, no, nah, I need to make something stronger than that." Okay, um, I could, I could I send you in. Back. How much berries would you need to go into town and buy whatever resources you need? Because you're not on any bounty board. Gerald goes. He goes. Uh, he goes, he was like, I could maybe cobble something together with what I got here, but we're gonna significantly gonna reduce the amount of weapons that we have available for the crew. Uh, would you be able to make a supply run if I gave you enough no, money? Okay, we'll need everyone to have a gun. I don't need everyone to have a gun, but I don't want him to, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, if you can, if you can cobble something really strong together with what you have, and then we can just arm a few people, then yeah. Gerald says. He goes, yeah, he goes, I think I just got, I think I got just the blueprint for it. It'd, be, it'd take me the better part of a, of a while. Yeah, I would need it. Um, This would kind of have to be like a, a before tomorrow evening thing. <laughs> you see, you see him, he yeah. gets up and you see him just grab the entire pot of coffee and he starts yeah. walking away. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to kill a god. Okay. Jeral is, is really growing Gerald. on me. Jeral. Uh, <laughs> Jeral. Uh, well, Brooke, you could certainly help with training. I mean, I w- I will need all the beatings I can get to get as strong Brooke as I need. Brooke looks at looks at you and goes, "Ah, I know what I can do. I'm not really the best whenever it comes to this hockey stuff, but I if it's speed you need help with, I can be the one to help." Yeah, actually, that would help. Kenzo gets up and says. And once you finish with that training, we can finish your hockey training. Thank you. Yes, uh, Kenzo, we're gonna we're gonna save Hoshiko, and we're gonna kill uh, Andros. I promise. And just nods at you as you guys. Uh, are you guys going to the deck of the ship or what? Well, it's raining really hard up there, so I'm thinking: is there not a way to position the sails where it would cover up the deck, or can we not find can enough Doc space? Can Doc just make like... an ash canopy, or is that not how his ash works? 
it'll melt and turn into mud. That's what I was thinking. Mm. But yeah. I thought that I would offer his... We still have his powers, Daniel, just not here. I mean, is there not... What ha, What about the forge room? We could, uh... But running on mud would also... If we, if we clear uh, that... You, know what, yeah, you guys do have a cargo room? You just need to move the cargo around? Yeah, yeah, we'll go into the cargo room, because I don't want to train on the deck with it raining, plus with the scouts looking at us. So I, I will, uh... Why the I will... hell do we have a cargo room that we don't have a car? Uh... Shut Brooke and I will go into the cargo room and we'll just kind of like push everything to one side so that we have as much of the room as possible. All right, you three go down to the cargo room. We'll go to Barbados. You're in your room currently. Okay, I still have the snail from Alwyn when he was a little bit passed out. I'll put up the darkness, make it all nice and quiet, okay. and then uh, I'll call Mal. Beep, 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 beep. Better, 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 better. Better, 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 better. I love this ring. Better, 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 better. Yo. Hey there, Mal. Um, I need to speak with Magnus. Magnus, really? Yeah, it's um, it's pretty important. Man, I was just thinking, me and you were starting to get along. No, you've done so much for me, and I that's why I called you first, because I, I wanted to get through you as a liaison. Oh, yeah, sure. Give, give me a sec. You hear, like, you hear what sounds like a hand muffling the receiver? Mm-hmm. You hear, like, the... Man, those CP whatever the hells sure can party. Uh, you, you then hear, hey, Magnus! Yeah, 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 no, no, come here. Come here. No, 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 really, come here. No. Here, it's the it's the newbie. You didn't hear? Yes, hello, sir. Are you um? Uh, no offense. I, any chance you could sober up real quick for this one? I think you want to be sober. To hear this. And you you did you hear? Okay, there goes all those berries to get me a good buzz. But life returns. <clears throat> um. Yes, Barbados. What do you need? Sir, do you remember that, um, uh, the problematic Admiral in Liva? Yes, Admiral Andros Petrikov. I have heard news that he's currently on this island. Yes, he is. We've, um, we encountered him. Um, hey, sir, I need to ask you, on a scale of, like, you'd prefer him gone to, like, you know, you wouldn't mind if somebody got rid of him. How are you feeling on that subject? If he were to be removed, it would be beneficial. Well, that's good news, sir, because right now this uh, crew in this position, we have decided to, um, through circumstances, we've decided to get rid of Andros. You... <laughs> You you hear what sounds like a a, a decently fun party. You ju you just hear silence. <laughs> oh god. Um. Everything okay, sir? <laughs> yes, yes. Just go go on with this, with what you were saying. I'm I'm curious on how this ends. Are is it is it okay to speak right now? Oh, keep going. Um, okay, so, uh, as we were, you know, sleeping, he, uh, happened to infiltrate the ship again, um, and he made us an offer, and, um, I, uh, I, I... Infiltrated the ship again, you say? Well, you know, again is a relative term. The first time it wasn't really infiltration, it was more, uh... Incompetence. Um, ah, ah, incompetency. I, I see. How and, how did how did the incompetency uh, happen again? I think this time it was just bad luck. Uh, but that did remind me to my next point. Uh, he has scouts watching us on our ship. Is there any chance I could request an aid, some aid to get rid of said scouts? You know, 
little, Doing little so. sneaky style, the stuff we're kind of used to. You, you know, just, just the bang, bang, bang kind of thing. Just your side on the line as he goes. Catch my drift. Oh, Astrid's dead. I should mention oh, that. Oh, Astrid's dead. Yes, I should mention that. Ah, good. I felt like I should open up with that. Uh, it probably would have been the best thing to do to, was to say that in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I feel like, you know... Okay, and this isn't a completely half-assed plan. I may have asked Mao, and this is on me, it's not on Mao, I may have asked Mao to get me in contact with several admirals and vice admirals. Okay. You, and uh, you you hear you hear from the side of the receiver you hear. Uh, sir, I don't remember doing that. And uh let's say okay. You know how the chances of this going off. You were very much uh, entertained by this idea, right? Because it sounded like a 0% chance of working, correct? Okay. What if I told you that we have the aid of Admiral Shen? Eh, it's looking better now, right? You hear it, you hear him say. Yeah, yes, Ma Mao, it can cancel that last order I gave you. Sir, I, was that, you weren't, uh, you know, that wasn't a hit on me, was it? I think ignorance is the best position to have. Okay, well, you should also know that we are allies of the Whitebeard Pirates, you know. We have also sent the captain here on a mission to get Whitebeard into this location. Uh, in about uh, 10 hours or so, actually, to be more specific. Uh, Mao, Ma Mao, would you come here? No, 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 sir, listen. The order, it does, this isn't like a... I'm trying to tell you we're preparing the best way possible of setting up yes, way Matt, Matt, but at the timetables Whitebeard will be arriving sooner than we expected. You said you said ten hours, correct? Uh yeah. I move the timetables up by seventy hours. Ideally, sir, I figured um well if I'm being honest, I, I was weighing the threats to uh what we do in our position. And I've uh, discovered some things about Andros Petrikov that have made me make an uh, uh, informed decision to prioritize him. Because uh, you see, um, how do I explain this? He's not a man who cares about being an admiral, to say the least. He, um, I think he believed he had us in checkmate because, you know, he very much could have turned me into paste and we wouldn't be having this conversation. But he is a man with aspirations that supersede just being an admiral. And when I say supersede that, I mean, um, you know how our current world structure, we serve, you know, we're under the celestial dragons, right? You know, they control the world government and all that. Uh, yes. Okay. So he wants to be the one and only celestial. Ah. He um he wants to rule the world with an iron fist. More like a gravity fist, I guess. It's a heavy fist that he can do. And uh, he has set up himself in a decent position to do such. such. So, you know, I just, I figured that's more important than a pirate looking for the one piece. You hear Pettis sigh as he goes, Very well. You will assist. You said, do you know the number of of scouts that are available? I would estimate somewhere between three, uh, high end, maybe five. Three to five. All right, then. You then hear him go, Sean, we're heading out. 
Oh, did Mal tell you Quincy was arrested? He goes, Uh-oh. I was told with a visit from our familiar detective. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't mean to, like, do this at this point, but can I file, like, an official co-worker complaint? Because he was under the influence during the mission. I don't think that's the time for it. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I was just saying. You just you just feel the glaring coming through the transponder oh. snail. Sorry, sorry, you know, I'm just... I was just saying, you know, Barbados, pushing your luck a bit. Uh, but yeah, we are at this location. If you could give me an update when that's uh, completed, um, I'd appreciate it. And uh, you should know most of this is going to go down by around uh, what was the time frame? Sometime around one one thirty tomorrow. I thought it was going to be late afternoon by the time Andros arrived. That's one thirty. One thirty in the afternoon is like yes. late afternoon. My... Yes. Okay. Okay. okay cool. Uh, you hear you hear from the uh, Magnus say, "We'll offer our assistance. We'll take out the scouts, and then we'll offer we'll offer transponder snail blockage." Appreciate that, sir. Um, if you could, if it, you know, the one extra thing: information is a powerful tool. If those scouts contain any kind of you know, hints on what Andros is up to. He's a very smart and careful man. And, you know, if you can get get some words out of one of those scouts, I'd appreciate it. I don't know what he's up to, but he's a man who seems to have it all figured out. And I'd like to know what he has figured out. You hear him as he goes. All right, of course. Time to do some field work, it would seem. Uh, thank you, sir. I can provide... An, er, uh, I think I can provide uh, Astrid's body for you to you. I know you prefer the whole being sure for that stuff. Oh, for your sake, I hope you can. Oh, thank you. I very much appreciate working here, and I will do my best. Gotcha. The other end is deaf. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna oh. Die. oh, we're so fucked. Okay, okay. Is there anything else I want to do? Um, there was something else I was planning on doing. I can't remember right now. Let's go to someone else. Go to me. Zooming. Actually, we're going to go into the world market. Oh. Zoom out. Shit. Walking, walking down the, the streets. It is cold. It is rainy. You find yourself within this familiar place, but yet not so familiar. Place. <laughs> You're walking down the main thoroughfare. Wait, that art as, is so good. As you see an exploded clock tower, and many, uh, and there are many like police officers still around. Uh, many like officers still around it. Okay, I I'll, I'll go up to one of the officers. Oh, fuck. Alright, you walk up and they go, Excuse me, sir, there, there's been an a, a explosion here, but no civilians. Well, yeah, it's pretty clear I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, so- sorry, sir, uh, could I help you with something? Yeah, around what time did this take place? Uh, it was uh, earlier today, at the early afternoon. Hmm. Very interesting. Do you have uh, any idea where this happened? Or why this happened? Yeah, as as you as you say as you say where this happened, he just kinda slowly looks behind him. And then you correct and he goes Uh what'd you say? Yeah, do you have any idea why this happened? He goes, he goes, uh, leading theories are, re- are revolutionary army terrorists. Oh, that's not good. And he goes, he goes, well, that's what most people are thinking. There's one person who seems to think it's something else. Is that one person? He goes, 
Uh, he's a he's a special detective with the uh, with the CWMPD. <clears throat> would uh, would I be able to speak to him? He looks at you and says, oh, "What what credentials? Well, why do you need to?" Hold on, I'm going through this in my head. Why would I need to speak to him? If you're a detective, you could just say that to compare notes. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, okay. I don't, I, I don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help. I know. It's fine. Uh, let's just say that I, uh, I like to keep these uh, streets clean. Roll a, uh, roll a persuasion check. Am I specked in the persuasion? I'm, I'm not. 15. Uh, pretty convincing, though. Uh, the uh, the officer looks at you and says, uh, Right, stop. Follow me. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, he, he guides you down the way, and eventually you find yourselves in like a, uh, a smaller, like a, like a medium-sized building. You see plenty of these officers going in and out. Mm-hmm. He guides you in, and he guides you to this, like, small office. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Sorry, I just don't remember what folder he's in. <laughs> oh. He eventually like, leads you into a small office where you see a person sitting behind a desk. There's files everywhere. Like, it's just horrible disheveled mess as like cigar smoke is filling the air as he opens the door and he says a special detective this man was wanting to speak with you uh, i'll leave you to it he, he looks up cigar in his mouth and he goes yeah, well, how can i help you oh i uh well, i just noticed that there had been an explosion do, do you know what what caused it starts pacing around and says I don't necessarily know what caused it but you know I have a little bit of an idea oh please tell he, he, he points over to his desk mm -hmm. uh, you see you see two wanted posters do I do I do I recognize them uh it is Laws and Alwyn's. Mm. And he says, I'm not really sure how they're connected to it, but I saw a couple of those one-eyed pirates at the crime scene before the explosion. And right. one unknown female. Mm. Can I do a memory check to see if I recognize the name One-Eyed Pirates? Roll it at advantage. Uh, barely you remember the name. Oh, thank God. Oh, One-Eyed Pirates, huh? Hmm. I think I've yeah. heard of them before. Yeah, little did I know. I had lunch with one of them, at least. But what are they doing here on the island? That is very interesting, sir. He looks at you and says, uh, that reminds me, I should probably stop talking like that. Um, work days and tends to take over my mind, you know. My wife tells me I need to work on that. You know, my mine does too. <laughs> he kind of he shakes his head a bit and goes, hey, isn't that just the craziest thing? Always trying to get in our business. He goes, now, anyway, who are you looking for? Uh, that reminds me. He walks up. Special Detective Columbo. Detective Columbo, my name is William Blaze. I, uh... People don't really know me, but... I like to help keep these markets clean from any, uh... Big, uh... Disasters that may happen. So if you believe that it's the... 
one-eyed pirates, I'm more than willing to help you in investigating them. Hi, Nacy. Isn't this just the most opportune time? And because I'm busy with a couple other cases right now, I got a book of one criminal I just found. If you oh. wouldn't mind finding him, I'd be mighty appreciative. Absolutely, Mr. Colombo. I, I think it might be a good idea if we keep in touch. You happen to have a, uh, a transponder snail. Colombo goes, oh, no, I don't. I don't carry one of those around with me. He's like, but you can always contact me. And he hands you this number. He's like, he's like, this will give you the number to the station. Ah, oh, thank you. I take the note card and put it in my pocket. Okay, you have Special Detective Colombo's uh, office number. Thank you once again, Mr. Colombo. I shake his hand. Hey, he, he reciprocates a strong, firm grip. Now, before I head out, you wouldn't happen to know where they parked their ship, do you? Hold on, let me think real quick. If you got the information, we could have gotten to him. We have moved it twice, or like mo moved it moved once it and twice, hit it. but there are marine officers that have seen it. Columbo is very perceptive. We'll, we'll see on a roll. Nineteen. You you just see Columbo as he you just see you see him kind of nonchalantly point in a direction and then he turns back to his desk. Thank you, Columbo. We'll we'll keep in touch. Damn I, you, Columbo. I walk out and and now I would like to dart around a a corner of a wall. Can okay. I make a percep I need to make a perception check. Uh give me one second, I need to help Brandon. Okay. Now is a great time to do our ad break. <gasps> Today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. <laughs> Squarespace. Squarespace. Do you ever feel stressed in your day to day life? True. Oh, that's headspace. That's not Squarespace. Never mind. Squarespace. Learn how to make a web page easy. With Squarespace. That's Skillshare. Skillshare. <laughs> Learn how to do many different things all at one time. In invading Ukraine I'm... is hard. All right. uh, Brian, uh, we're not going to go uh, to that. Uh, uh, well, no, I was going to do a, fu I was gonna do no, a funny joke. No, I was going to do a it's joke. It's not funny. It's not funny. I was going to say it's hard, but it doesn't have to be. With Skillshare, you can learn important tips from anybody, <laughs> even Vladimir Putin. That was the joke, but whatever. It's not a joke. You're a joke. The people no. of Ukraine are suffering, and our hearts go out to them. Vladimir Putin I, sucks you, dick. You know what? I have buddy stand memes in this donate. Discord don't, that donate. make fun of it. Don't donate don't right now. And th there's going to be a link in the description of the video. Yeah, there's a link uh, the, in the description. Don't, don't to use go your donate links to charities to support Ukraine. Stand to me, you you fuck. Ah, oh, you 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 darn pieces of poop. You, I can't believe some people would do that. I know. I can't, I can't believe. You, you, you can't do this. Hey, there's a fine line between just joking around with the boys and being <laughs> real to people actually uh, suffering. Are you being unironic right now? James, don't make me bring up what happened at the start of the session. I only know the meaning of some words in a contextual sense, and when you ask me that, I, oh, there's not enough context, I, so I don't know You know means. I, like... Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Genuinely, genuinely offended that you are. If you're gen, oh, oh. James, this this is a this is a warning before I bring up stuff that was happening before the session. What are you talking about? Stuff that's happening before the session? Nothing. No, no, no. Hey, no, <laughs> that's not fair because that's your not sign ups is fired. There, I saw. I the saw the local Lucario right. lover, James. Oh, 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 first of all, oh. he talks my real name. That's fuck. Uh, um. No, I, Lucario is my favorite Pokemon. Was, was, because apparently I was not made aware 
that there is no other more Rule 34 Pokemon in existence than mm-hmm. Lucario. It's not mm-hmm. even it's not even close. Like the females from Pokemon. So, so, aren't so what close. what's your new favorite Pokemon? Riolu. A child. I'm turning what? Rowena into a non character. Wait, yeah. Are you implying that a favorite Pokemon has to be something that you sexualize? No. My whole point is that he's my favorite because I don't want to sexualize him. Well, then, yeah, Lucario's still my favorite because I've never, ever sexualized Lucario. So, yeah. Lucario can be my favorite. Oh, okay, I am so sorry. You should be. It's okay. Alright, so I, I dart around... Too quickly. I dart around the corner. All right, like as you dart around, roll your perception check. Ooh. 19, perfectly seeing a couple officers go by, but but you duck in behind, like, a, a big dumpster. I, I quickly switch into my alternate ego. As you... As, as from behind you pull over the hood, you feel... You feel your arachna powers activate. <laughs> And you put on your stylish Tribly, not a fedora, it's a Tribly. It is a Tribly. And I'd like to start web swinging over to the ship. Web swinging? All right, with... Oh, okay. With with speed, the there are individuals that are flying around. As the rain is hitting, you're just... Shooting, hitting a building, and swinging through with speed that has not been seen. What did you say? I I just said thwip, thwip. Yeah, you were flying around. Eventually, you get towards the the end of the city, and there's nothing left for you to swing on except for big trees. But you know, big trees get your web all sticky in them and it's gross. It's true. Right, and then uh, once once I get. Almost there, I find another quiet place and change out. Alright. Do the captain's thing next. Alright, captain, you have been throwing stones for going on close to an hour now. You are guys are rocketing. It is tiring the fatigue of the uh, of the wind whipping against you. Just rough. Go ahead and make a con save for me. Con oh, save. Wow. Ooh. I didn't factor this in. I'm yeah, expected to con did. save, so it's fine. This is you doing intensive training, and now you are doing very rough exer- Plus basically rough four? Like stuff. 16? Or 16, you make it. You're able to persevere for the first hour. Hell yeah. <gasps> we got this. We're gonna make it in time flip another stone into the air. Alright. We will hop away from you. That's one hour down. Whoa. How many hours is it going to take to get there? Ten. No, it's not. It, t- ten, you guys have factored just for the round trip. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then. It would take about four and a half to five hours to get there. Four right, and a half? Below... Around. Okay, Alright, okay. below the ship in the cargo bay. Law. Uh, Brooke is with you, and he is going to start showing you some of his skeletal techniques on being speedy. Okay. I'm s- I'm just, like, sitting cross-legged, just like, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, hey. While his techniques are useful when you don't have muscles and flesh, mm. uh, he, he, t- he keeps telling you, like, stuff of, like, He's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, you know, you just keep running and you just, you don't get tired. And whenever you're running, twist your pe- twist your uh, twist your leg bones like this and it like obviously that's where your pelvis would be. Ah, yeah, I can't. Mm, okay. We might need to workshop this because we're not exactly I can't do all that. Like that would that would pr- pr- break me. You understand? As Brooke goes, he goes, okay, I, I have an idea then. Let's just try breathing in through our lungs right now. Okay. Like open rib cage. Right, yeah, through through our lungs, right. <clears throat> and I'll just, like, I'll just breathe like he's out. Obviously, he's moving his chest or somewhat to simulate breathing, so 
I'll try to simulate his breathing pattern, breathe like he's, quote, in quotations, breathing. Okay, with with this breathing technique, as well as his words of encouragement, he's going to try to give you advantage on Burning Shade. Okay. All right, roll your dex check. All righty. Uh, that's an 8 plus, that's 16. If that doesn't pass, I can roll again. Oh, I get advantage, so. And that's a 12 plus 8, that's a 20, 30. 20, okay. You have been on the cusp of learning shade with this, with this newfound breathing technique, whether it helped or not. You're not, you'll never be able to prove it otherwise. <laughs> I'll always do it from now on. Who? This is how I'll teach shade to anyone I ever learned. No, you gotta breathe like a skeleton man taught me. You manage to, you get in the ready to do the running form, and then with speed that you have barely been able to touch, you disappear and reappear in the tar in the location you wanted. Yes! Oh, oh, thank you, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's, that takes care of one thing. I just got to practice it all night now until Kenzo's yeah. ready. You have shade. You have the, you have the first, first bit of shade, so. Nice. It allows you to in lieu of your normal movement, it allows you to blink up to your movement, and you do not incur opportunity attacks. Wow. Um, the other see. bonuses will you you will gain if you train shade more. Okay. And I guess I'll go let Kinzo know that we're unless he unless Brooke has anything else he wants to show me. I guess. <laughs> and Brooke looks at you doing this, and he goes, "I." didn't actually think that i mean of course that would work uh, you did it bro you're a genius no you did it no we did it you're Kenzo. right we did do it high five ow you, it's all bone you, hi ow. you high five as the sharp bony protrusions on his hand hit your hand uh, yeah haha -ha, it hurts okay where's is, is kenzo in here or is it just like totally yeah he's just kind of waiting in the corner okay uh i think i'm ready uh, we'll say that that yeah you know yeah training, I know yeah we'll yeah. say that shade training took like an hour ish. Mm -hmm. We can go to the next person if you want, or I don't know what you're wanting to do. Uh, Barbados, is there anything you wish to do while that hour goes by? Um, okay, it's not enough time to wake up Alwyn yet. I guess I'll go around. I don't see anybody around. Do I hear them training? Uh, you hear the stammering of a bunch of feet. Okay, that's one gun down. I guess I'll, I'll right go back. down to the cargo room. See All right. what's going on. Uh, you get down there as you, as in the middle of a lecture between Brooke and Law, as as Brooke is talking about proper bone movement. Uh, I'm not sure how applicable that is to Based. someone without muscle or flesh. I look at Kenzo. And, uh, I assume you've been filled in on our current, uh, predicament, to say the least. As well as the validity of qualms by a former crewmate. <sighs> Not sure what Law told you, but I vouch for Alwyn. That's ever gonna mean anything to you, uh, uh Kenzo. I throw my life down for him, as well as throwing down my life. It's currently throwing down my life for everyone else who's on this ship, actually. With what's about to happen. Okay, so as he's sitting there, he goes, Come, sit by Barbados. It's just strange. And it would appear that from what Gronk was saying, at least in some manner of fix, correct. And there is something to do with Alwyn that I am not sure of. I'm not sure whether or not you know of it. But in oh. that same vein, where Marco was against him, we we're wanting to save him even though he was against Alwyn. It just seems difficult. 
I look down. I'm just sitting with my knees straight up high, and I say, Kenzo, I, I'm going to be real with you. I think I've... I think I've witnessed what true evil can actually look like. I always had a concept of it. Always had an idea. You know what you'd think an evil person can do. They can hurt others. They can take advantage of others, steal from others, even kill another. But I've never met someone with aspirations so high that they've wanted to control the freedom of every single person through fear and power. I'm not look at Kenzo while I say this, and I say, I fucking can't die. <laughs> Andros <clears throat> is that kind of man, and he's he's shown us just how far he's willing to go in order to achieve that goal. I'm not a man who cares so deeply for world peace or, you know, everyone getting along. That's perfect world cockamamie bullshit. But if he were to succeed, there are people that I care about people like everyone on this ship that would be hurt and stopped and maybe even killed because of him. And I... I just can't let that happen. He's someone that wants to control and... I look at my hand and then I look at the mark on my hand. I can't be controlled like that. Not again. So if it came down to it, if it's going to cost me my life to try and ensure the freedom of myself and the people I care about, I'll throw it down. For now, though, I'm just throwing down my honor as a Fishman Karate practitioner. If I lose this hand, it's not going to do too well. Kenzo, he looks at you and says, If it's any consolation, it takes a much stronger man to admit whenever he is helpless than one that would force others into it. I'm hoping this is going to work, Kenzo. I'll use whatever means possible to stop him. I don't want anybody else to die because of him. And right now, it's, I look, put my hand into the air, I see a glint, and I, I'll reach for that glint with my last breath. And so he looks here as one on goes. Barbados, I'm not entirely sure. How your power works. But if you can make an opening for me, I have something that I can potentially work against him. Like, I look at him shocked. Like, Kenzo, this doesn't sound like the type of thing that you can come back from. The way you just phrased it. Maybe in my youth when I was younger, it is something I did come back from. But a technique this sword uses, it takes more and more. But I think I have enough in for one time. And he's saying this under like hushed tones as you see laws just running and he's kind of disappearing for a second and then reappears i'd look and i say you know when i when we landed on karate island i um i was excited to get to fight whoever i wanted and test out my medal even though i was quite overzealous in anticipating my own strength and uh 
what I found there was a little girl. A little girl who just wanted to put her all into something she enjoyed and something she was good at. Stifled by oppressors that want to deny her that because they perceive her as weak. And I also found a very wise old man who wouldn't give up on anyone's potential, even if he was a stubborn old man with only one student. You've been dear to me, both you and Hoshiko. I know your resolve, and I know you mean it. And I look at him with my eyes darkening as I say, I'll do what I can to get you your opening. Andrew just nods at you as this conversation has gone, and then you, you look up and see Law, who has been doing this back and forth, gets ready for one last attempt, and you see him just disappear and reappear as Brooke runs up and starts congratulating him. Hey, Law, how's the whole uh, bullet plan going thing? Did you explain to them your convoluted plan? I always forget when I'm you. Okay. Uh... Yeah, actually, uh, Gerald actually made it less convoluted because we what both we both forgot what a spyglass was. Apparently, we could just have the captain use a spyglass from out of range. Well, those realizes all this, and he says, "No, I knew that." Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> roll, a, roll a deception check. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to insight that because I was humiliated. He's gonna get humiliated with me. No. Uh, get wrecked. Seem... Get wrecked. <laughs> no, I can nat twenty. Hold on. Even if you net 20, do you have enough of a bonus? Well, he did it. Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it, Barbados seems like he was completely humoring you, and he what? knew the whole time. Why didn't you say that? No, I just thought, you know, you had, like, this whole grand scheme thing going on. That, no, we were so well. ambitious. No, he didn't yeah, want to tear you It was objectively worse until Gerald did that. You could have... Okay, whatever. It's fine. Okay. Gas, light, gas, light, gas. The, uh... You know, the spyglass gives me another idea. Oh. Would Captain just be able to uh, switch us in at the proper opportune time or switch us out from a distance whenever we needed? Yeah, but wouldn't that make me just using shade completely pointless? Well, you know, I didn't want to tell you that part. You, either, you, you, see, you see Brooks just kind of look at you and go... Well, I mean, it's not completely useless. No, no, I mean, yeah, you're right. I'll, there'll be other... It's just for the... It's just two elements to my plan that it's, you know. It's, no, it's yeah. What you think? It, it, was, that, was that motivation no, no, that drove you to, to getting right, it? Right, yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's okay. Right. I, I would be completely mortified too if the Gerald was the one to correct me of a plan. No, what do you mean? Ger Gerald's, Gerald's? No, no, I know. He's just, just a certain kind of guy is all. What do you mean? No, nothing, nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing, really. I just, like, I would really feel bad if he corrected me as all. Well. Oh, I didn't feel bad. I mean, I felt bad I didn't think of it, because, man, I was thinking about a combination of devil fruit powers, and I had Kinzo meet Bloodhound, and that didn't go well. That was really awkward. And oh, that, I okay. do not like his sword. No, I, you know... Um, no, yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting little person he's got in there. It, I, I'm, like, holding Bloodhound. It, he takes some getting used to, but, you know, you know, I find that a lot of people misunderstand his personality. Um... You can get a lot of charm from him. Uh huh. Fucking really? Okay, there goes another gun. God damn. No. Okay. Um. And also, uh, the sword itself is badass. You know. So even you know, and it, with him being in it, it goes all stretchy stretch. And like to prove my point, I kind of want to have the sword like I'm holding it like it's standing up, and then just let it deflate like a noodle would. You know, almost. This uh, is this is this roll roll up. Roll a, roll a persuasion check. Oh, he doesn't want to go soft in front of people. That's not what I meant. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how much you, you can convince the monkey to dance. That's a twelve plus. That's a zero. That's a twelve. Uh, you, what are you doing, Law? Well? You guys see the sword transfigure itself into a hand that's flipping you off. 
Oh, yeah, see, see, like that. It's, uh, super charming. No, yeah, um, I, I, you know, but hey, I'm ready for uh, Barbados. Were you gonna help with uh, the the extra training? Uh, I think I, we kind of have to. Uh, it also makes me think: Are we still? Are we still? What was the idea? Is like a, a bullet thing, right? Yeah. So uh, right now, um, Gerald is going to make a a, a super done. Um, the doc is tending to Owen, but once the doc is done, I was thinking the doc maybe could help him draw up some blueprints, or I could help him when I'm done. But the doc is trying to make a gun and a bullet. When he's ready to make the bullet, we're gonna put hockey into it. Hopefully, that'll also help penetrate his skin. Then you're gonna go inside this bullet. Yeah. And then I'm gonna shoot you. I still like that idea, you know. Uh, yeah, I think that I don't. If that gets changed, I will literally use this plan on my own. No, so. no, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, if the captain were switching us in at a distance, right? Then she could stay with the super gun, and she could use the scope on the super gun to switch us in and out because it's gonna need a good scope for the range where I'm gonna be yeah, shooting. What, what are the, the odds that I can the... swap Barbados in the bullet and swap the bullet into somebody? Huh? You want to swap the bullet inside of someone? I'm you saying, what are the odds of me being able to do that with, ob like, higher levels, probably? Observation hockey? You think that'd be something I could do to you? Eventually? I don't think so. Well, I'm not asking you, are, like, am I? I guess some, like, somebody shoots them with a bullet, the bullet's inside of them, and then you're seeing the bullet inside of them, and then, tra and then putting Barbados where the bullet is. That's not what I'm saying. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, yeah, so so yeah, Barbados, we would we would put you inside of a bullet and then I'd shoot you into Andros and then once you're inside, I'm assuming you would just take your normal form, right? And he would just you know, and I mimic an explosion with my hands. Uh, right? Never actually done something like that, so I have no idea. Well, uh do we have like a small barrel we can test it in? Like a really small, obviously too small box. Uh yeah, there are some small barrels and crates. Uh, Here, I have tested. an idea of what I can do if I get inside. Problem yeah. is getting inside. Well, yeah, I mean, with a hockey-coated... Well, I'm thinking, you know how we made a sword by channeling hockey, and, you know... I did, I, did I participate? I don't remember. You didn't participate, but yeah, I'm you pointing to... you talking about. I'm pointing to the black half of my hockey sword. You know, like, half see, of this, it is black. See, this part, we made black by channeling hockey through it. So if we did that to a bullet... Then that might help penetrate uh, Andros's defenses. Besides getting any kind of opening that we might have from, you know, Whitebeard, you know, doing his thing. Uh, yeah, that sounds mostly possible. My thing was, I was just thinking, isn't the bullet idea kind of redundant when the point is to get me close, and Captain could just switch me in from a distance? Well. The point is you could do a lot more damage from inside than outside, right? I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah, I'm down for that. Uh, do you have, like, a test bullet I can fucking try going into? Um, I'll grab him the absolute biggest caliber because, I mean, and keep in mind, the caliber that we're going to need for the higher gun will probably even be even bigger, so that'll probably be easier. Or for you to practice, this is the biggest bullet I've got, and I'll just toss one to him. It's a fisherman revolver round. Uh, okay, um, I'll stand back a little bit, and I'll say, okay, um, it's pretty dark in there, so I assume I can do it, and I'll take a darkness corporeal form, I'll try wisping inside. Alright, roll a wisdom check. That is an 18. An 18? A uh, tight squeeze? It is very difficult, given that it's packed with the uh, the powder and all that shit. There's not much room. You are barely able to get into the bullet, and as you do so, the bullet just drops to the ground. Hey. Yeah! You did, it. you did it! You're a fucking bullet, dude! Now, would you sur- Now, this might freak you out, but should we test if you would actually survive being shot? I- uh I don't know how that will work. Like, honestly. yeah, should I just? I'm gonna pick up the bullet. It's a I'm pretty gonna, loud shot to do right in the middle. I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna go grab a pillow from the nearest room, and I'm gonna cover the pillow. Okay, um, he head upstairs. Uh, the closest room is Alwyn's room. Alwyn's room. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, 
Don't. Ah, uh, no, we can't. Re- okay, yeah, yeah. I'll just go grab a pillow from Owen's room. Okay, you Shoot. go Shoot. in. You grab a pillow. You grab. You grab. You, so he only has one pillow on his. Room. <laughs> no, I'll give him mine later. Okay, the pillow is Tate is requisitioned. Yeah, and then come I- back with the pillow. I'm going to, like, kind of wrap it around the, the whole pistol, hopefully suppressing as much sound. Then I'm going to put it inside a barrel. And then okay. I'm going to shoot the round with Barbados in it. Okay. Go. Let's go. Order of operations here, so. First is that. God damn it again, really? Okay. The next thing, Barbados roll a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Because once the once the round is fired, you're still in darkness because you're inside the round. Once the mm-hmm. round hits the bottom of the barrel, that the round insane. starts to collapse and then immediately light hits it. Oh yeah, that's what I thought would happen. It's good we're testing it now. Uh it's a fifteen. Fifteen, you immediately go back to your normal form. Like how far into it? Uh, after after the light is shown, you're able to maintain your form for a second, but then the sparks end up flying, which causes you to instantly come back to your normal human form. Mm, that's what I thought would happen. It would have to be completely shaded out, it seems. Uh, you're also now stuck inside of a barrel. Oh, I'll just, like, like, I'm assuming he can, like, push it with the strength. I'll just help him rip apart the barrel with him. Well, if there's no more light, can I just slither my way oh, out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can, but it, but comically, your butt's stuck in a barrel for a minute. <laughs> okay, so maybe we need to modify the bullet. Um, a bit, what if we used an ash bullet? It would still combust and create light, probably. Yeah, but couldn't he, but I'm saying, couldn't Doc manipulate it to where there's like an inner casing to where light can't get through that part when it combusts as it leaves the barrel? I mean, we could also just have Gerald make that, but true, we can get the doc to do that. He's just not here, so it's kind of trying not to use him. It don't matter. We, we're we not going to leave Doc out. What the hell? No. I'm not trying to leave him out. No. Oh, okay. DM this assumes not... direct control every time. That's how well, we use it. You're not here to say. You're not here to use him, lady. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> this is why you're not you second want... in command. If you want the doc to do something, just tell me what you want. I can, I can try. Um... I, right now, Doc should be probably watching over Alwyn, but maybe Alwyn later we could ask the Can doc I have direct help. control over my husband's character? Yeah, sure, why not? Based. Hell yeah! That's work I have to do. Doc, doc is gonna come down and find you guys. Okay, he wakes up from sleeping, <laughs> or going <laughs> his long rest, to come downstairs. Hey guys, what There's are you doing? One more person we need to get coffee for. How's Alwyn doing? Alwyn's doing great. <laughs> it is I, now. I like the impression. <laughs> hey, uh, this is actually it, it good really timing. Is. Um, good. Is it actually good timing. Do you think you can go help Gerald? He's uh, currently making a big old gun, and we need your big old brain. I have the biggest brain. Okay. Hey, he does. He says that in character in front of all Holy you guys. shit. <laughs> Doc seems a little weird today. <laughs> yeah. The doc, the doc seems based as fuck. That's what I've. You see, uh, but what's the uh, plan? No one's told me the plan yet. Plan for what, Doc? Uh, I, I, I fill the Doc in on everything that's happened, including the plan. Ma okay. instantly proceeds to spaghetti you his entire plan. I see, I see. I see. Yes. Well, you know, uh, I was in college once. What if I tried to make a bullet? <laughs> uh huh. I'm gonna try to make a bullet that Barbados can fit in that isn't gonna ignite, like, with an inner casing, like I was saying. So, one that has an outer casing that does a normal bullet function, but then an inner casing that... Barbados would have to fit inside of. Okay. Yeah. Roll an intelligence check. You're smart now. You're smart, Beth. You're very smart. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, intelligence nice. is plus seven. 19. Why not? 19. While not being... It's, it's, something must be into the dock right now, because not as normally um, immaculately made as normal, he does end up producing 
a larger round that does that does exactly what you wanted. Here, All right, Barbados, Barbados, try that and we'll test it. Jump on in, buddy. Let's see us. Right. Let's see you fly. I don't know if shooting this the is, is the safest right now. What do you mean? Yeah, we can. We can. Why, hold it off why would later. it not be? Because of the thing that we just told you, Doc. All the stuff going on. But you were just testing bullets a second ago. Yeah, I wasn't too sure on that one either. Yeah, but I kind of didn't. You know, I did it with a pillow, and you heard it, and then you woke up, which kind of proves Barbados's point that it's too loud, especially when we're you know worried about you know people watching us. So, how about we just go to you know armament training, Barbados? You want to punch me, real good and hard, or no? What Doc, does... you feel immediate. You feel ignored for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like you guys don't want me around. I guess no, I'll just. No, you can help Gerald make his big gun because he. he I feel actually... like my expertise are better done here, though. Doc, you'll we'll be. Uh, now that I think about it, we need Marco to get here. You want me to send an Ash clone and go get him? No. What? It's okay. raining, Doc. Oh, that's right. <laughs> 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 I, he, I guess Doc could still make one underneath the bed, but underneath the back, but turn into a little mud clone. Um... Man, I feel like if Doc trained enough, he could make a solid like clone that would be like impervious to the water. He can if he trained in a certain it. thing, which he did not. She was. It's just... <laughs> a shame. Uh... We're having... I don't think hurting ourselves before this big thing was a good idea. No, yeah, we shouldn't be hurting ourselves. But Make sure you guys don't train. get too exhausted. I wouldn't want you guys to have to suffer. So, I mean, there's a way to train without hurting each other. I mean, Kenzo, we can spot... I, or actually, yeah, Kenzo, I mean, what do you want You wanna... can train armament hockey without having to hurt or train. Exactly, train. And, I, and I need to train observation hockey too, so... So you I should can... do the egg method. I say Kenzo does, he produces an egg that he grabbed earlier. Doc doesn't know the egg method. Doc knows everything. You don't know this, but I see everything that Doc, you make another show. intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, Kenzo can come with the, come up with it on his own. Like, oh, armament hockey. Stop without... trying to gatekeep Daniel out of the dang thing! I'm not, he's literally not he's, here! He's not here, lady. <laughs> But in the past, when someone wasn't here, they were still involved, and they still did things. They were glossy-eyed. They, they were still glossy -eyed. did things! Shut up! You weren't here! I, no, I, 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 I will make him do things. I was just trying, I was gonna let him get a full rest in. You said intelligence? Yeah. That's what we were doing. Yeah, intelligence, sure. That's plus seven, Eleven. so that's four plus seven. Eleven. Dang Eleven. It. Using your logical mind... You would presume that there is a hockey training method that perhaps would not involve getting hit, but maybe not. Okay, fine. And uh, upon and upon you making this uh, revelation, Kenzo does produce an egg. Do you just have an egg on you at all times, Kenzo? Kenzo says, "No, I grabbed one from the kitchen before I came down here." Oh wow, you just have a great like. You just thought ahead really well. I guess I'll get in on this egg training. Yeah, get in on it, the egg, brother. So and he he hands you an egg too. Right. Hey, Shay Kenjo, can I uh have an egg? <laughs> God, stop making me laugh, you <laughs> motherfucker. Kenjo, sorry, can I have an egg? sorry, what, Ben? Kenjo, can I also have an egg? <laughs> Doc, I think you need to sleep. Doc, I think you need to sleep. D Fine. I mean, Doc, if, Doctor, if you would wish to do this training, I will not oppose. No, it apparently happened. I am super tired for some reason. Well, I'm gonna go to no sleep. No one also can have had a full rest. Owen also had a confession. Since when has he not had a full down. rest? He's been sleeping in between tending to Owen. It's not like he's just no. up constantly. That's not how I interpreted it. Well, he's, he's, he's normally up reading. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure, fine then. I'll just I'll go back into the ether. Goodbye. I mean, you are you are. Okay. Goodbye, Doc. We'll miss you. Yeah. 
wakes up for half a second, walks down, and then and then awkwardly shuffles back to his bed. <laughs> uh, Doc's getting old, I think. You know. Yeah, his age is really showing right now. He's not that old. He's in his fifties. Uh, well, you know, it sets in earlier for people. You know, it depends on their lifestyle. He looks pretty old, though. He does look pretty old. He looks right. rough. Yeah, so you look fox. way better than him. You oh. know? Like, I'm talking about, like, age-wise, you know? Like... Fox. A guilt, if you will. <laughs> Kenzo says, A life of hard labor. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to get on that hard labor. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that made my sense. All right. Armit hockey training. Roll a yeah. wisdom check. Is this armit hockey or observation? Uh, actually, whichever one you wish. Um, I'm at level two. I'm at I'm at level two on bold. Or I mean, I mean, I'm two one x away on bold. So, mm. are they both wisdom checks? Yes. Okay, then I'll go for observation hockey first. I'm gonna go for armament level three, and the way I want to do this is I feel it in my hands. I want to try transferring the armament I feel in my hands to different parts of my body. And uh, move it around. I don't think I've actually done that yet. Okay. All right. And I guess I'm just trying to. I guess I. I don't know what I'm trying to do with the observation. Like I'm watching Barbados, trying to flex that my face muscles. Uh, like twenty-three. Twenty-three. Eh. The armament training you are doing is getting much, much easier. And that is a. That is an eighteen. And if not, I can roll with uh, my inspiration. Eighteen that passes. You gain. You now gain level one observation hockey. Yes. Is that the small X is gone or the big X? Uh, big X is gone. Okay. Oh, the big X is gone. So I have small X still. Uh, Barbados, you. You feel if you continue at this rate of training, you can unlock your third level relatively soon. Okay. So what do I get from getting observation hockey? Uh, you get a passive buff of plus three to your perception. Okay. And you can visually see whenever an individual is using hockey, regardless of the level. Alrighty. I, Kenzo, I can see the blackness now. I I can see it. Excuse me? L look at my yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. Law says that. Law says that Essie's looking at Barbados. Holy shit. Well, I can see it move. From, Calm from the this, fuck down, dude. I, what do you mean? As Kenzo kind, of, Kenzo kind of just looks at you and says, I... Yeah. What? What is it? The hockey. You know, like, it, it, it's black. Okay, yeah, the, the, hog, the oh. Barbados was the hockey. Oh. Oh. What? I'm confused. I mean, I could also be talking about his darkness, I guess, but I don't get what? it. What do you mean? What? <laughs> Kenzo's eyes kind of look at him again. <laughs> no, like, his, his dark... Fruit ability, you know. Oh, oh the oh. devil fruit. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, what uh, are you guys talking about? I'm so lost. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. It's okay. not melanin related. Yeah, Vol's completely lost. Yeah. Okay. But I can right. see it. I can see the thing move. Second hour goes by. Actually, no. Wait. Uh, William Blaze, we're up to you. And Joe's gonna try one more. He's gonna try another attempt. All right. Well, I need his armament hockey now. Okay, thank God. We're only down three guns. Okay. That's one pass check. William Blaze, it's been about an hour or so, and you finally made your way, and you see this ship. Uh, actually, roll a d20 real quick. Perfect. Good idea. Good At idea. disadvantage. Disadvantage d20. Let's do this. Hey, I got a 13 or a 13, Trevor, you're picking. Ah, okay. Very lucky, okay. Going through the forest without a hazard or care in the world which direction you're going or who of which you would run into, you've made your way to the ship without running into anybody. You're just um, kind of as, standing there. That's pretty hilarious. Like as, just as, like William Blaze. Hmm. As it's as I was of... as I was walking to the ship, I didn't feel anything with my uh, senses. Not within fifteen feet of you, no. Oh, okay, cool. 
Yeah, you just you just chilled, walked through. I mean, you can make a perception check if you want. Mm, no, you already, you already we've already did the rules. It's fine. I, I don't mind. No, no, the, 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 the no the, the the rules is doesn't affect if you do the perception check. All right, I'll do a perception check. Okay. Any bonus to that? Uh, per no. Fifteen. Uh. No, you don't see anything. Okay. okay, yeah, you just make you just make it to the to the edge of the uh where the water is. There's a little bit of a oh, you're on like a small little cliff, and then you see the ship just just sitting there. The the pirate flag of the one eyed pirates and the white beard pirates just flowing freely. Mm. Heavy rain coming down, thunder crashes again. Mm. I think to myself, uh, if I yell, they probably won't hear me due to the rain. I better find another way to get in. I'd like to walk around the the ship. It reminds me of like Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you start walking around it. Which way do you want to go? Towards the, uh, towards the front or the back of the ship? Uh... Can I do like a like a listen check so I can see where I'll, if there's any noise other than the rain? Okay, yeah, roll perception check. Okay. At advantage because you're using uh. Wait, anyway, is this the one that no, that no. doesn't have it. Okay, no, yeah, no, no. just 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 flat. Mm, damn. An eleven. I just hear a just hear rain, don't I? You hear a bunch of rain. And then you just hear a really light pew. What was that? You're not really sure what that was, but you do hear that noise. It sounds muffled a bit, but you, you, you swear you heard something. And that would be on, like, the lower part of the deck, right? Uh, you would presume. Hmm. Either middle or lower deck. I would like to. I'd like to look for a porthole. Do I see a porthole? I, uh, without even rolling, you see many portholes. Okay. I would like to do another quick, like, look around left, right, as I fling open a porthole. Okay. You you shoot the web against it. And you just kind of pop it open. And uh, I'd like. Yeah, there's no one around that would make that perception check. And I'd like to leap forward and latch Ooh. onto the ship. Roll an acrobatics check. If we can watch you just die right here. Dude. I know, right? This is how it ends. Not like that. It was so I, close. You I saw that shit, right? I almost you saw, saw that shit. One. Okay. Uh, yeah. Acrobatics. 13. I don't think I'm spe spec into it i am so 19 19 you do it you do a, a leap you land against the ship where some people would be scared to fall into the water you just kind of grab on and you're just kind of hanging there this purple is not big enough uh i mean you could squeeze in you wouldn't you wouldn't be like help me step bro oh okay cool okay yeah then i and then i'll try to squeeze in through this portal Okay, you you just uh, you have to suck in your gut a bit, and you kind of twist and turn, and the water from the rain has lubricated you a decent bit, and eventually you pop through. Uh, roll a deck save. You got it. He's back in the kitchen. I guess an eleven. Oh no, I'm expecting a deck save. Seventeen. Seventeen, you narrowly avoid the corner of the table hitting your temple. Ah, oh, thank God. Uh, standing up and <laughs> looking back at the at the narrowly avoided instantaneous death that that could have been. Yes. Oh. Uh, 
out on the ship. You're in this kitchen. Okay. Uh, there's currently there's currently a, 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 a small pile of mugs in the uh, in the sink. Hmm. Do I smell anything? I smell coffee. Hmm. I'd like to walk over to the pile of mugs in the sink. Okay. I'd like to pick one of them up. Is it warm? Okay, hold on. Let's roll the D4 real quick. Okay, uh, yeah, it's it's still warm. Mm -hmm. Seems like someone's been drinking coffee. Coffee. You don't see you don't, you don't see the coffee pot in in there though. Hmm. Someone must really like coffee. I would now like to uh start walking towards the wall like super like stealth like I guess. Because I I think I heard it come from downstairs, so I would like to try to like stealth my way down into the downstairs. Okay, a little stealth check. Can can we roll any kind of perception to see if we hear footsteps above us? Like, uh, I take advantage and you know stealth. That is a twenty nine. <laughs> yeah, you could you can roll at disadvantage since you guys have been talking. I was figuring, like, he's above us. Yeah, go ahead and roll at disadvantage. I mean, I'm not going to hear him because it's a 29. You know, I, I like to see the dice jump up. Makes my dopamine feel good. Yeah. That's a 17. And that's an 11 plus 13 is 24, but not enough. 24, uh... Through the conversation, you don't, you 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 hear footsteps, but you presume it's the dock. Yeah. Well, I guess the dock is stumbling back around up there. All right. As you hey. make your yep. way down one level, and you you're sneaking down, you 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 kind of you kind of spy in, and you see this group of people, including a a literal skeleton. Mm-hmm. A, a uh, samurai. Yeah, a, a skeleton, a samurai, and the two uh, people some, that were mentioned to me. Yeah, two two really yeah two really tall people, both of which are holding eggs. Hmm. And that's all you really see as you kind of poke out around the corner. Okay. Um. I'm debating on how I want to do this because I in my in my head there's only one logical way for me to do this. Yeah, no, I, I'll I'll end end my stealth as I as I walk downstairs. Okay, you just you guys hear steps come or you know. Uh, steps coming down the stairs as you look back as you guys kind of look over and you see this person you've never met before. One of these days, we're going to need someone my, to keep watching. My, right? yeah, we my, really my, need my, hand, my hands are up. Like, bo both hands up. Okay. I don't want to interrupt your egg training or what, whatever you're doing. But Just an egg. I just wanted to clarify, this is the One-Eyed Pirates, right? Yeah, the depends who wants to know. But, I mean, you, you did probably see the flag. Yeah, if you're down here, you kind of already saw the flag anyway. Yeah, yeah I did. So, so that, would be, that would be a yeah, I guess. Unless we're just really good liars. Yeah, we, we, we could have stolen their ship, and, you know, now we're just commandeering it. We could be the two-eyed pirates now. I mean, we oh, have to be it. fair, we all have two eyes here. Yeah, one-eyed wow. pirates really wouldn't... Do you see a single person on As you, as you see, hear the skeleton go, <laughs> I mean, really, there's not a single person on our oh. ship right now with one eye, so that wouldn't make any sense, really. Can I roll You're saying that all this was a lie? Can I roll the gaslight? <laughs> yeah, roll, roll a deception. 
No, I'm rolling to guess. It's not deception. That's deception. What? It is deception. I what do you mean? I'm being retarded. What did you mean? Uh, do okay, I have roll, roll insight. Yeah, I'm rolling insight. <laughs> Fuck, I keep wanting to call you Johnny Blaze. He is Johnny I'm Blaze. Close. Am I specced in the there. insight? Insight, plus four, fifteen. Uh, fifteen. so you, you beat me by one, yeah. You can tell- you can tell he's fucking with you. It's a glass eye. Don't click- don't- don't, don't gaslight me. <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay, yeah, we're- we're the one-eyed pirates, how can we help you? I wish our captain was here, she does the whole introduction thing. As it. second in command. As, 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 as Kenzo goes, he says, he says, yeah, she's normally pretty good at that. Yeah. <laughs> But, it's actually who I came here to talk to. Oh, Don't she, worry, it's no, second uh, in command, I can handle the informal second in command. You're not so second in command. I I never looks at you and says, he says, Barbados, the second in command is currently concussed. So that oh, makes me at uh, the next in line. Next well, in line's Hoshiko, make, it's always been Hoshiko. Uh, technically, that would make the doctor, he's the next officer. Who's sleeping, so that would make me next. No, then Hoshiko's fourth. I mean, I mean, Barbados, if anything, the captain talks to me more than you. Okay, look. Oh, so are you saying I should just talk okay. to you? Okay, listen. We don't have a current leader. How can we help you? She's away. She'll be back. <laughs> as as Kinto kind of walks up, he goes, oh, we're, uh, it's, so we're debating on who's the current leader. How can we help you? It's oh always Hoshiko. How can we help you? I, I echo. The I communism? Be left behind. <laughs> uh, it's our really ship, thing. comrades. <laughs> I'd like to to wait. Do do I have copies of their flyers? Uh, I'll show you snag some. Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. I'd like to pull out both of them. Uh, and does this say, man pull out two wanted posters? Who's this higher? Who's this higher? These are uh, these are yours, right? Uh. Yeah, well, hold on. Uh, that's me. Yeah, I want to verify if that's uh, my amount. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Okay, we're the same amount, dude. Damn it! No, no, no. Uh, wait, 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 you pulled out. You know, you have Alwyn's and Laws. Oh, oh, right Alwyn's and Laws. Yeah, yeah those, were, those were the two. That yeah, were, yeah, yeah. Uh, Redact what I said. Though. Th then, I, then I'm gonna pull out Laws. This is you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Barbados. He doesn't even have yours. <laughs> anyway, yeah. And then, and then I'd like to flip like over to the other one. And this one. Oh, I don't know that guy. I just a big smile on my face, like not taking it seriously at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have, we have, I have a bounty, yeah, we have bounties, but it's a lie, really, so it doesn't matter. A lie? I mean, we you, are you said you didn't know this guy? Oh, I mean, I mean, I, it, yeah, what is knowing? Oh, yeah, okay, I know him, but he's concussed and you can't talk to him right now, and if you try to, it'll be a problem, so you're gonna talk to us? Anyway. I, um, I, I rip up the flyers. Okay, um. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. Oh. Okay. That's what good matters is that I overheard that uh, uh -huh. a while back you went to an auction. Oh man, and that was bought, a real You long bought time some ago. pieces. No, no, no. He wasn't included in that. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, then, then I'll turn. So you do. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was there. Captain got pretty mad. I <laughs> splurged a little bit on something. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing to yourself, you know, you know, one of these days that's gonna come in. She's gonna look so dumb whenever. You <laughs> that's it. That's it. exactly what I'm gonna tell. I told her it'll be worth it, and with inflation, it was quite the deal. For being honest, what exactly did you buy? Why you want now? Because you're you you might have something that I'm interested in. Uh... Uh-huh. And if you were interested in it, do you have something to offer us? My services. Oh, you don't say. What can you do? Mm. I, uh... I can clean. <laughs> I mean, we can all do that. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just thinking of him just shaking his head playing that pinball machine, man. Oh god, I won't watch it again. Anyway. I mean, we can all do the cleaning part, and we're 
kind of a pirate crew, so you know we need somebody who's a bit more. We're also like super busy, like. Yeah, you kind of dropped in. We're not really having interviews at this time. Yeah, this is like the worst. Our captain's not here. Our second command's out of command. Our third in command is being debated upon, apparently. Our fourth is fourth in command being debated upon. I don't know. Anyway, there's no debate. It's me. Okay, whatever. It's literally not though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as, Ken, as Kenzo goes. Presumptuous, but all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Dula and Barbados still have the eggs in their hand. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got the egg right here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to flip them both out of your hands and pull them to mine. Okay, I'm not gonna offer any resistance. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be expecting it. So yeah, yeah. You, know, you guys see, just, it looks, it looks like webs shoot out from him as he grabs them and, and pulls them back to him, and then he has the eggs in his hands. Oh, fancy, fancy. Yay! It's like the captain's power, but worse. <gasps> oh. What is the framing that. of that statement? <laughs> I'm just being mean. Oh. That's pretty useful. No, yeah, wow. It, can you, like, is it, like, what else can you do with it? What can you, what, what do the webs do? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you're looking to join us. shades, duck. Oh. Okay, I'd, I'd like to go to the wall. Uh-huh. You see him walk up to the wall away from you without saying anything. No. All right. Okay. I'd like to start climbing uh, it. Uh, you, you, you see him climb the wall. What's that fucking uh, Peter Parker scene where he just first climbs the wall? Yeah, I'm imagining yeah. the Tobey Maguire yeah. Peter Parker. He's like, yeah. boom, boom, and then he just starts scaling the wall. You yeah, see yeah. the fucking. And and then he looks down and goes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> And so, is this is this how people normally join the ship when you don't find them in fridges? Well, that's not how I found Gerald. And yeah, Gerald says, "No, I think this is actually no. I think this is probably pretty accurate for somebody I... that willingly goes and tries to find a pirate ship." I mean, look, man, the captain's always been pretty accepting. I figure if you oh, hold on, what are you looking for? And Actually, you say you're looking for an item. What item are you looking for? Okay, as as I'm on the ceiling, I'd like to do a backflip to get back down. Oh, an acrobatics uh, check. <laughs> oh, no. If, if you face plant. It'll be funny. I'll be just like Nick Cage, actually. <laughs> okay, thank God. He he does he does a flip, lands it, and kind of like is about to fall. Inspect into it. Stuff. I got a 16. 16. Okay, he, he lands it pretty good. Does he stick the landing perfectly? No, but mm. it's pretty all right. Not all right. bad, not bad. Vol, Vol makes just a barely audible tisk sound like it didn't stick the landing. Well, <laughs> well, you see, that log pose that you bought. Uh-huh. Mm. I'm going to no, tell you this. It actually tips you off because he had not brought up that he knew you bought that. It's interesting. Where'd you get the info that we bought that? Sorry, what? Uh, some, uh, some friends of mine. Friends like... Uh, you know, they, they wear, uh, very colorful outfits, to say oh, the least. Oh, man. Those are a throwback. Man, I wish what I'd give to have them back. What are you talking about? I'm so lost. Oh, uh, it's just the, the Go-Go Gecko Rangers. Oh, uh, the ones that Thatch is all obsessed with? No, those are different. Oh, there's like multiple. No, it's a different group of, of yeah, spandex is. clad uh, neon <laughs> rangers. <laughs> and yeah, there's like Dino Thunder and then there's the yep. Ninja Force. They had the SPD route as well. I didn't like it that That's much true. too. You know, All right. Dino Thunder but was yeah. my favorite. Yeah, the, my friends. Uh... They're your friends. Well, co workers. They're your co workers. Well, not anymore. Not since the incident. The incident? Are we getting a tragic backstory? You are. <laughs> flashback. <laughs> no, no, fuck, don't flashback me! You see... <laughs> oh, God. They I'll ended up taking show. something uh, from a very important lab. A fruit that was man-made. Uh-huh. I also ended up taking a man-made fruit. Unfortunately, the side effects were not as 
graceful to me. Like I can still do all of these, all of these things right now. Uh huh. But unfortunately, I just blank out sometimes, and someone else will take control over me. Oh. Yeah, I have. I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah. But I don't think I would like that at all. Do they? Do you guys like know about each other? I I know about the other seven. Yes. Seven. There's yes. Okay. Well, uh, Kenzo actually pulls you pulls you aside. Oh, yeah. What what is it? Fourth in command. He looks at <laughs> you and, and says, "Hey, Barbados." Uh huh. Listen, this guy's obviously out of his mind. <laughs> Well, oh, I, gotta keep the- I hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Am, am I in range to hear this? Yeah, you're like, hearing this conversation. <laughs> and we can start going, this guy's obviously out of his mind. Kinzo, Maybe I think we should just get him out of here. I mean, Kinzo, he, he just said like he has eight, so that it's it'd be mines, really. So. I mean, maybe, maybe one of them will be useful, and if the other one's crazy, we'll just like, you know... I don't think Captain would turn down a free helping hand. Yeah, Captain's never been the type to turn just, anyone just, away. Just, just telling my opinion, Barbados. Just, just, you know. I mean, no, Kinsley, it's, uh... whatever you... I mean, if you want to... What, what do you want to do? You want to just kick him out? No, no, just... Uh, 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 never mind. No, well, well, I don't want to discount... Okay. Listen here, Mr. Uh... William. William Blaze. Mr. Blaze, um, it sounds familiar to me for some reason. And, you know, if you, you what item that you say you're looking for again, sorry. The log post. What for? Well, you see, that's that's the problem. I need uh-huh. it because it'll lead me to. You guys need to tell me when my mic is on when it's not supposed to be on. You you were being quiet. Yeah, you were completely quiet, lady. Yeah, you you were fine. What? I'm yeah. confused. It's okay. okay. Also, whoever's okay. cat that is, is probably who Joseph's neighbor thinks is dying. True. <laughs> no, that's mine, dude. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> okay. The the log post leads to a place where one can find inner happiness, and also where I can have all of my personalities fused together. The fact you're like self-aware on the personality part's a little odd, but um. Well, yes, because I'm the one that ate the devil fruit. Yeah, I learn more and more every day, huh? So can like all of your guys do the devil fruit stuff? No. No. Oh. Each one has a unique set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and they're all like. Good. None of them. You're not gonna randomly like turn into like <laughs> evil man or anything. Nothing like wild. I mean, his no. Eye, well, his eyes dart to the side. <laughs> well, uh, uh, no. Uh, not unless something bad happens. That. Oh. Mm, yeah, that's bad though. How about? I let you. I am the ship's navigator, so I would. I have control of said log pose. Oh, it is on do. me. Yes. How about if you can help us through this next upcoming predicament? I have no qualms at all after discussing with Captain, giving you the log pose. I um, had no idea what it was in the first place, so I don't really care. That's like a compass law. You see, oh, what's that, compass? that's that's another issue. Uh, the log pose. <laughs> I know, Jennifer. Uh, I, well, well, having it is great. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, can I have a ride as well? Eventually. Oh, no, 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 yeah. I mean, I think that would be included if you really need especially if you helped us through this, actually. It'd be super useful. Yeah. Oh. All it really takes to join the crew is generally a good conversation with the captain, but all it takes to get kicked out of the crew is generally a bad conversation with the captain. Yeah, oh. that's... Well, where is she now? She's I'd love gone. to have this conversation with her. She's gone. We're kind of in the middle of something. Hey, how familiar are you with admirals? That's... I, I'm not 100% sure. Trevor, do it. Should I roll? Uh, do you, I know admirals? I mean, you, you, know, you know of them. I mean, uh, you we're... generally know extremely powerful figureheads of the Navy. Uh, generally don't fuck with them. 
uh, able to end islands normally. Uh, yeah, pretty bad motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, they're uh, they're they're kind of strong. Why? We're gonna uh, kill we're, them. Yeah, we're looking to get rid of one of the corrupt ones. Oh, yeah. Which one? Uh, Andros. Yeah, Andros Petrikov. Hmm. Do I have any memories of ever interacting with Andros Petrikov? No, you you do not. All right, cool. You do remember seeing uh, uh, articles and newspapers of him miraculously being at islands that just so happened to have huge terrain damage, but he was always portrayed as a really good guy. The hero of the Navy, mm. really. I, I haven't seen what's wrong with him. Can you show me a, a reason? Uh, well, you know, Leva? Mm -hmm. How it used to be, uh, mm -hmm. Leva? Yeah, that was him. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. He blamed it on us, which is part is why my bounty even became a thing. But um, I don't have a devil fruit, and I don't have the capability to turn an island into nothing. You know, not that I don't blame myself for it, but, you know, there's that. So, no, Andros totally did it. He's a fucking, well... Uh, he's a freak of nature, but we're about to hopefully kill him, so. Yeah, what do you say? If you can uh, tag along with that. And, you, and you're saying that the captain would be cool with it? I see no reason why she wouldn't. Yeah, That's actually weird. how we picked up Gerald. I, just I, kinda... I, I turn and I look at Kinzo. Uh, Kinzo looks at you and says, I, I mean... It wouldn't be the weirdest person she's brought on the crew. He looks at Brooke. Uh, no offense. Is that a skeleton? That's pretty offensive, sir. I mean, technically we're all skeletons, just with flesh on them. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, you're right. You're right. That was a bit far. As <laughs> Brooke, he, 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 he <laughs> legs, thinks about it and says, he goes, I guess I am flesh challenged, huh? Well, <laughs> if you oh. If anything, Brooke, you're just being the most honest to who you are on the inside. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Captain will be down with it, especially if you help with what's going on. I see no reason why she'd say no. Also, like, you yes, could Kenzo probably... pipes up and says, The Captain tends to not think things through, so probably. Hmm. That's a good point, also. I actually yeah. did just pick up Gerald from the middle of nowhere and ask him to come along. Yeah, and she just, like, gave him a room in a way unreasonable... Oh, well, not unreasonable. It was just a, a, immediately a split of the pot. It was He kind of joined and got an insane signing bonus. You guys are getting paid? Yeah. Uh, probably. Hearing not. this, hearing this, you sound even happier because you were under the presumption you were not going to be getting paid. Yeah, yes, recently exactly, that was a yeah. problem, but then we got rid of the demon and the captain. We got rid of the demon. Yeah, we got rid of the demon and the captain, and, you know, now, now we get paid. All right. All right. Um, so, uh, well, so there's actually... like, so so like, if I was just up here helping mm. you, mm. the captain wouldn't think twice. What, what do you mean? That's a weird. Hey, way she wouldn't be like, "Who's this?" She probably, I mean, she, yeah, yeah, she's she probably ask who you are. Probably gonna have a conversation with you, yeah, kind of like we did. Oh, good. I still need to speak with her. Yeah, she's gone. Well. Yeah. Uh, She'll be back, actually, when all this is about to happen. Yeah, yeah. more or less around that time. G give it, like, what, like, eight hours, Barbados? Uh, something like that. Yeah, eight hours. So I should come back in a few no, hours, no. then? I, no, like you're staying here. No, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna stick around, actually. I, I gotta pack my stuff. No, well, I, just... I got really, a lot of stuff. There's yeah, always time for that later. No, yeah. I, no, I mean, I got a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm actually gonna, like... I'm I'm gonna shade and like uh to just in front of the staircase. Just not I'm not gonna touch him. I'm just gonna shade to block his path where he can't go up the staircase. Just we've had some people that have had eyes on us and have reported it, and that's kind of why we've interacted with Andros in the first place. Yeah, actually, you saying foot here and having this conversation with us. You're kind of here to stay for a while. Yeah, you're kind of stuck now. We will do. We will. We will not harm you at all as long as you stay friendly and hospitable. But 
we, you can't we can't allow you to leave at this point you did willingly walk into a pirate ship i don't know what exactly you expected that is also true well then throw him someone, in the dungeon you, can someone of you come with me no to get my stuff we actually can't really um, do yet until a certain yeah, uh, we were in the middle of preparing, actually. Um, no time can be wasted on your stuff, honestly. Yeah. But we're not going to leave without your stuff. We're not leaving the island anytime soon. You will have oh, time. No, no, yeah, we're not leaving. Uh, you will have time to go and collect your things. But as of right now, you are stuck with what you walked onto a pirate ship with. I mean, you, you weren't prepared when you came on here? Uh, Kinza does pipe up and he says, uh, Perhaps we could, he could go with Alwyn in the morning for that. Suppose it's coffee run. Uh, Alwyn by himself, post concussed, alone with this guy. I'm not sure. Even with Alwyn, maybe at his full strength, this guy did come on here with a bounty for him and me. That I tore up. You did. You saw that, right? I don't. You, I don't care about the bounty. I no, mean, we get that. We get that. It's just uh, right now we're it's kind of in a high risk situation. Yeah, we are. We're, we're we're fighting against, like we said, an admiral who's a freak of nature, and you did introduce like even the smallest amount of chance that you could be trying to get information on us and report on us that we did just tell you we were going to kill Andros. If you turned out to be one of Andros's scouts, well, we would all die, and we just your life isn't worth everybody's life, and your things certainly aren't worth everybody's life. Yeah, unfortunately, you're gonna have to stay for a bit. We'll get your stuff though eventually. We will. We we I I I, I may I, I give you my word. We will not leave without your things. <laughs> okay. So what you say? What you say? Huh? Okay. I'll. I will. Is do you have a room that I can stay in? Oh yeah. Yeah, Ken's also piped up and says, he looks at you, Barbados, and says, perhaps we could send Alwyn to pick up his stuff, maybe, if he has something important in there that could be useful. That's um, a fair point, Ken. Yeah, yeah, When when maybe when Alwyn's making his coffee run, if Mr. Blaze here, would you be willing to trust Alwyn with the location and nature of the things you want him to collect? How far I mean, is it, actually? Mm, I'd, I'd say it's like what three miles in. Uh, it's just it's just a hotel in town. Yeah, it's a hotel in town, but it's... how how far is it from Gustav's actually? Ooh, good point. Yeah, it's about a about a fifteen minute walk. That's not bad. That doesn't add much time. That adds like what thirty minutes to Owen's total walk. That's fine. We we can afford that. Uh, can you guys carry like two hundred fifty pounds worth of stuff? I'm telling you, I think we best leave this for last. <laughs> Look, I mean, all maybe Alwyn would, but he'd have to also carry like coffee for like. Yeah, five I think people. Alwyn has a more important mission, actually. Yeah. Unironically, his coffee run is more important than your stuff. You feel a little bit hurt at that, but. And, and that, I'm sorry, but it is the way it is. We, you, you, you just. We don't know you, bud. There's more context around the coffee, if we're being honest. There really is. Like, an enormous amount of life-saving context around this coffee. You don't understand how important this Gustav's coffee is to this crew right now. You get the feeling they really like this coffee. <laughs> yeah. It okay. is. It's great well, coffee. It's great. Can you show me to my room, then? Uh, this is... Well, right now... Well, I figure, like, right now... We're yeah, in here. this one, the guest rooms, actually. They're not using, nobody's using them. Well, I mean, while we're in here, I guess he can be in here, though. Like, I'm not going to put him by himself right now, unless we're locking him in this room. But he can just get out. So I uh, figure while we can have an eye on him, why, why doesn't he just hang out in here? Sure, I guess. I mean... <laughs> well, I don't want to interrupt your training. I hand law the eggs. I would, we, we, <laughs> you receive two eggs with sticky substance on them. Can you can you pull this off? Actually, well, I mean, no, not really. Oh, okay. Thank God. Okay, we were just about out of those. Okay, that's two successes. Awesome. Pull the guns. Um. Yeah. I mean, actually, um, how familiar are you with hockey? We were we just got done with a little bit, but we still have some time. Uh, you know, I was wanting to further it. Do you wanna? Sorry, Dante, be gone. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> not not right now. If... If we're going to be fighting someone, then I should probably get rest. 
Um, you want the guest rooms right over there behind Brooke. Oh, yeah, that's connected to the... Oh, great. So that only entrance and exit is that door right there? Is, are there yeah. any windows in that guest room? Uh, yeah, there's, there's like... Yeah, there's two. Mm. I mean, you can just leave the door open if you wanted. Bar I mean, Barbados, would you be able to like surround his room in darkness? Uh, and not. I wouldn't be able to do whatever I need to do mm. while doing that. Uh, Brooke, he, he goes. He goes. Well, I'm not particularly doing anything right now. I mean, he goes. If, uh, he goes. I could stay in there with him if you would, if you wish. Yeah, I'm. I hope you don't take this as like super uh, inhospitable. We're just. We can't afford to take any chances with. Oh no, I un I understand. Coffee's more important than all my stuff. No. Uh... <laughs> just know if you leave if you leave in the night, uh, cat, it won't look good with Captain. Yeah, and it could risk all of our lives if you're Andros a spy. So, I hope we can get along better in the future. This was a really bad foot for us to start on. Yes, it was. Okay. And Brookie leads you into the guest room, and he goes, he goes, "How about this? How about I tell you a story? <laughs> Regale me a tale." Well, uh, Barbados. Why can't he have well. Bronx old room? Because they don't want a stranger. They don't want me to go up. Yeah, why would we give a stranger a uh, Gronk's room also? Okay. Okay. Well, Barbados, right. that went well. Yeah, I give it, I don't know, a little bit till he tries to escape, and we'll see how fucked we are after. Yeah. Uh, we probably said too much. Yeah. At this point, I'm just going with the flow kind of thing. Yeah, we're kind of too late in the game to start pulling out now. More training, or do you have something else in mind, Barbados? Um, I'm still waiting on a certain call that I need to get. With that, we zoom out. Oh, Captain, oh. you are still flying. Your muscles are getting a little Hold bit on, it's tired. My turn, dear. Good luck. <laughs> if, if you want to just hang out back in those Oh, shoot. Uh, did no. I do that right when Daniel arrived? No, Daniel's on the phone. Oh, I was about to say, he sounds like a radio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you guys can hear him through the mic, huh? All right, you guys. Just tell him I love him. <laughs> do it. I do what? Tell, tell Daniel Kyle said he loves him. Oh, Kyle says he loves you. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, well, flying through the air, your muscles are feeling fatigued. Roll another con save. Con you guys save. Are, you're about you're about halfway there now. Oh, we're halfway there. Wow, uh... plus. Four. And again, you pass, all right? Wow. As you're, as you're zooming through the air, you hear, uh, hear Shin. He looks back at you and he says, So, what, what exactly are you fighting for? Ah, uh, well, I guess currently I'm fighting for uh, my family. For the little girl on my ship. I'd hate to see anything happen to her. Toss the stone. You guys blink for it again as he goes. I've yet to meet that one. I assume she is nice. She is probably the most purest thing on this planet. She's really put a lot of things into perspective for me. Really changed me as a person. You see him. You see him give a give a soft smile at that, and he says, "Well then, I take it we shouldn't disappoint then." I sure hope not. Her life is literally depending on us killing Andros before he can do anything. His eyes kind of steal forward as you, uh, as you guys are continue to go. He's gonna roll a perception check. Let's see if he can <laughs> even perceive Whitebeard out there. No way. Can I perceive Whitebeard out there? Uh, no. Roll a... Perception check using your observation hockey at disadvantage. Oh. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's, that's not good. That's plus 12, though. 19. Okay. Uh, as you as you flare up your observation hockey, you're looking out. You can't really see anything. You flare your observation hockey. And for that momentary that you do that, you feel immense pressure coming from the person next to you, as well as oh. you feel, it feels like a, 
you ever seen those like large fog embankments yeah you don't feel this overwhelming hockey presence where you're at but you certainly feel like you are heading into the mire okay like do you feel this overwhelming hockey presence far 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 off in the distance and you can definitely tell you are entering within the edge of his influence. Oh. You know, now might be a good as time as any to mention that I've never actually met Pops. As he says, oh good. I've met with him and skirmished with him a couple of times. Well... Hopefully we're not the one people that he least want to see right now, right? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as he, uh, as he <laughs> looks toward and says, I do hope he has a fond memory of those times. Hopefully. Let's just hope we don't get shot down as soon as he sees us, right? She gives him a beaming smile. <laughs> no, we told you that. It's okay. Maybe it won't happen. <laughs> uh okay uh go ahead and make an we'll, we'll say another hour so go ahead and make another uh con save nice con save whoa plus four gain one level of exhaustion no <laughs> disadvantage to ability checks You feel tired. Your arm is hurting. And the constant wind whipping against you. And constantly having to throw this for hours at a time. Also, you guys are one hour away from arriving at him. Okay. You are, you are dog tired. Okay. Alright, zooming back. We'll say... Or beta, you guys have a, have the opportunity to do probably one more training before she arrives. Yeah. Wait, uh, before she arrives on Whitebeard's ship, before she come gets back to our ship. Whitebeard. Before, before, before she gets to Whitebeard's. Okay, then yeah, I'm just gonna go for level two armament at this point. I'll finish off the level three armament. Okay, but you guys were your wisdom checks. All right. I still have my inspiration. Move. That is a 23 again. I'm using my inspiration. Okay. That's uh, a 13 plus 5, so 18. 18, you finish out uh, armament, and Barbados, you gain level 3 armament. So I have level 2 armament hockey now? You have level 1 armament. I already have 2. One. Yeah, yeah, you too. Sorry. But okay. you have level 1. So what do I gain now with that? Uh, nothing at the current level. Oh, okay. Arbitus, now that you're at level 3, mm -hmm. if somebody strikes you with a non-armament attack, you may use your reaction to nullify the damage. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, level 2 is just basically like the yeah, step in between... Unless the damage is greater than 50. If the, if the damage is greater than 50, the, this ability does not work. Okay. So it's like level 2, just like the step between? Yeah. I gotcha. uh, also, the other thing is the iron body technique. Even if you're out of hockey, like you like have hockey exhaustion, you can still use the iron body technique. Okay, Ooh, that's cool. Okay, but you gain that as as time comes, you actually end up hearing uh, someone else bounding down the stairs. Oh. That one is up. Hey, just in time. How do you feel about a coffee run? You see, he, he's, he's tearing off some... Uh, some bandages off his head and he says Doc is bounding down the stairs too okay Doc is right behind him as you see Alwyn is removing his bandages without you telling him to Alwyn keep those on you need them he goes I feel I feel fine 
It doesn't matter if you feel fine. You have to keep those bandages on, son. He goes, he goes, yeah, I'll put them uh, back on when I get back. Do you need to have them on now? <laughs> I dog. You I always put a bandage on a head wound. Get over here. And he's going to grab you. <laughs> okay. He's going to grapple you... him. Okay, you grab Alan. Mm. <laughs> he's going to put the bandage around his head again. Roll a medicine check. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. There's a 19. That's a 40. Oh That's a God. 40. There you go. With absolute precision, you admit, re administer the, uh, the you, re you, you affix bandages. You need to keep these bandages on your head, Alan. Otherwise, you're going to lose your brain. <laughs> I mean, I guess it does Amazing. double as a disguise. Where's my brain? Uh, okay, okay, Doc. I, I got you. Thank you. Oh, when how are you feeling? <laughs> I ask him. He says, I think I should maybe get cussed more often. That's the most I've slept in a while. Okay, so you're you're feeling pretty good, right? Because um, there's a lot to tell you. Oh, yeah. He goes, yeah, I feel 100%. He's like, yeah, what's happened since I've been out? Oh, you know, I think it's it's best if we walk and talk for a bit. Okay, you guys start... Uh, walking and talking as he's like putting his gloves on, refixing his suit. Okay, I'm gonna go to the to the room. All right, come on, come on, Alwyn. You know, classic spot. Yeah, he he hops onto your bed, and uh, you know, just silence it out. Um. Okay, so it's a good thing you're feeling better. You know, the concussion probably would turn into an aneurysm at this point. Okay, so last time where you were still conscious, we uh, diverted Marco from atten your attention. <clears throat> uh, that's still fine. Um, found out through unfortunate circumstances, because, you know, Andros happened to visit again. I'm just going to gloss over that real quick. Actually, that reminds me. What happened to the old uh, Gronk situation? We, we still got to take care of that? Oh, oh, um... Oh, give me one second. And darkness, I just like slightly pull out his head with a slit throat, like a like a like a puppet. You pull yeah. his head out, uh, tongue sticking out unceremoniously. Just yeah, yeah. See, we we were able to do that part. Alan looks at it and says, "Oh, that's not your mo." Oh no, this was law. Actually, he helped a whole lot with that while you were out. Are we involving him with this now? I don't know yet. I think it depends how we uh, get out of this situation. Okay, fair enough. Uh, secondly, okay, like I mentioned, Andros did happen to visit again. Um, you, you see him pinch his brow and he goes, why can't that guy just fuck off? I feel the same, but on the bright side, found out a lot. Uh, not a lot of good things. He has... um. He wanted us to uh, take out Marco, uh, Law and I, to take out Marco, lure him into a spot where he could finish him off to prepare for Whitebeard's arrival. Uh, he has put this mark on my hand. Uh, the, there's also one on Captain's shoulder. There's one on Law's arm. And there may be one on Hoshiko's neck. Oh... Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's um, it's unfortunate. Okay, so I need you to also try not to get too mad at this, but I may have exhausted every better, single. Better, 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 better. Oh, better, better, better. better <laughs> Speak better, of the better, devil. Better, better, better. I answer it. Cha cha. Yo, Barbados. Oh, hey there, Mal. How's it going? Uh, yeah. So there were about three. Three of these, uh, three of these scouts out here. Hey, say, say hi, buddy. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so you said if I give you this information that uh, you'll let me go, right? You got it. Oh, really? Uh, Magnus, told, Magnus told me they were going to take care of the other two. I got this one for you. If you want to ask your questions. Ah, that's good. Okay, so listen here. Make sure you pay close attention because my friend, who's probably a very much bigger man than you, 
like literally a bigger man. I've seen him. He's quite huge. Uh, you know, how much do you know about what Andros has in store? Uh, he, he's he, uh, he, he's told us that uh, he that that we were to keep keep an eye on your ship and report uh-huh. anything that happens on on you know the main deck anyone that arrives, and to and that he was going to gather forces uh, m- m- muster forces to arrive by tomorrow. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Do you remember what time tomorrow? Uh, early afternoon. Ah, so he's. Who have you seen him talking to? He's he's recently brought in uh, ha- uh, Captain ha- ha- Hazmat. Uh huh. Uh huh. As well as I've seen him discuss uh, on transponder snail with uh, main uh, main uh, marine base. Uh, Please make it. Can you just, can you just let me go. I, pr- I promise. I won't. Ah, uh, don't tell look, listen. Listen, it's okay. It's okay. Listen, what's your name? Uh, Jacob. It's just, just, just Jacob. Jacob, do you got family? Uh, yeah, yes, I do. Yes, do they? We, we, we live in uh, uh, by Botarilla. Ah, Jacob. Well, listen, I know what it's like to have a family. You're scared. It's unlucky what the situation you're in. You know, your sure, boss. Sure, you're scared. I've been there. Yeah, yeah, I can just, set you it's free. Just, it's, just a day, it's just a day job. I, I you know, just, you know, just working at nine to five. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, I get it. I get it. Listen, um, how much do you know about who he's been in contact with? Can you give me any names at that marine base? Anything you've heard on passing? This is very important, Jacob. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna roll a check. Jacob! He he goes, Vice Admiral Sengoku. That's not good. All right. Have you seen... uh, I guess I got one more question for you. Have you seen Marshall teach anywhere, Jacob? No, I don't know who that is. Ah, okay. Okay. Well... Thanks, Jacob. See, you're you're gonna be seeing your family pretty soon here, okay? Oh, th- th- thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, it's oh. no problem. Hey, Mal, can you cover his mouth for a second? Uh-huh. You got it. Yeah, if you don't mind, yeah, can you uh, take him out? Oh yeah, of course. You hear? <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. You got the rough end of the stick. Oh. <laughs> As you hear Mal go, he goes, "Really energetic fella, huh?" Yeah, I know, I know. It's a shame about the family thing. Oh well. Hey, Alwyn's finally up. You want to say hi? Oh, hey, how you doing, Alwyn? Uh, good. I see that you guys are on friendly conditions. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, Magnus. Man, I really hope you got that body. You still have that, yeah. Still have it. Um, uh, you know, uh, Alwyn hasn't been told about that part, but you know, I guess I should let him know while you're here with us, Mal. Yeah, you know, like if we don't have that, it's kind of like we might die. You know, such is the nature of our job, ain't that right? You see Alwyn pulling out a cigarette. <laughs> He just kind of nods and he just kind of keeps it in his mouth. Well, if the coast is clear, uh, Mao, I'd, I'd like to thank you for that. That was actually very helpful information. Um, you know, um, we have more preparations to do. The plan's looking a little bit better knowing what's going on now and also a lot worse. We'll, we'll see what's going on. As Mal, he, he pipes up and says, Oh, that reminds me, i got some bad news to tell you as well. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah Magnus said, uh, we, we're not, he said, we're not supposed to uh, directly engage with you in this. Oh. I'm going to be honest. That's like not the worst news I could hear today. And he, he goes, he goes, but good news. Kind of snaps his fingers a little bit. 
Uh huh. He says, he says, Magnus did approve for us to do uh, transponder snail jamming. Ah. Oh. Well, I I appreciate that a lot. Now he goes so he says so. Just letting you know, in about an hour, yeah, transponder snails are going to be a no go in like the in like a like a two mile radius around here. Oh yeah, you know that's really. Now I think I need to make another call. Yeah, all right. It's good talking to you. Thank you again so much. We owe you big time if we're alive by the end of this. Oh, I... Yeah, yeah. He, you, then, you then hear him kind of pause and you hear kind of like the mental calculations. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not looking great. What do what you recommend, you know, you know, give our odds so far? Just uh, the baseline. Just kind of... You hear his lips kind of like uh, flap as he's like, uh, you know, blowing like a raspberry as he goes. You know, it was never really one for figuring up that kind of stuff. I mean, I mean, I mean, if I had to give it a number, they give it like a 50 50. Mainly because you either die or you don't. Yeah, that's a great point. I love literal twin co or coin tosses with my life. Good talking to you, Mal. We'll be in touch. Bad chat. All right, so you heard a lot of what happened there, Alwyn. It might be a little stressful, but I'll let you know we have a decent plan set up. So, you, you know. You see, you see Alwyn as he just kind of reaches over on your desk and grabs one of your pencils and just kind of snaps it in half. I could have wrote with that. Okay, you know that's. He he, to he tosses you the bottom half of it. <sighs> okay, so Andros Petrikov is a tough opponent to nail, right? Right. We we know that part, and uh, coincidentally, we also just found out he's probably in communication with Sengoku. Um, hoping he's a honorable enough guy to not participate after giving me his word he wouldn't participate oh i can't even remember i completely forgot to tell you that i used another favor from mal to get in contact with an admiral and three vice admirals how many favors do you owe mal the... okay concern at this point you got to give him your firstborn child there's the jamming there's the admirals then getting back in touch with an admiral Who keeps track of these things, Alwyn? Since, you know, this is like life or death kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, just... Yeah, I'm hoping it won't be that bad. And, you know, good news. Magnus stopped the hit that he was going to put out on us after learning a lot. But, you know... Ah, good. So good. We... Guaranteed death is off the table now. Yeah, I mean, now it's like an actual toy, a coin toss. But, you know, anyway, we, we've recruited Admiral Shen to our cause to help us. Uh, how, did, how did we even get an Admiral? Andros isn't a very well-liked man, luckily. And uh, he does have some dirty means of uh, fighting. So, Shen... With the grace of his heart, and you know, some well placed pleas and begging, he decided to help. Uh, Kuzan, Sengoku, and Garp were also there, the vice admirals. Uh, they all declined. They did say they wouldn't interfere, but they also wouldn't help. So, you know, and you know, we now know that Sengoku is in talks with, with, uh, Andros, so it's really a toss-up whether he'll join the fray or not. If he does, you know, it's not looking good. As Alwyn goes, okay, so we have the ally of one admiral versus oh, potentially and, um, an admiral. And, uh, oh, okay, yes. so, yeah, um, keep an open mind with this next part. Um, we may have spoken to Dragon. Oh. 
who has also decided to give assistance. Hence the weather. Uh, okay, you know um, it. Uh, said he'd help if we were able to convince an admiral, which we did. Barbados. Yes. If any of the cipher pole members find out we contacted Dragon. Yes, we are dead, I know. The idea is that we're going to... Remember what happened to Astrid, right? Yes, I know. It might be worse for us. But hear me out. The point is, we turn him in later. Kind of thing. Yeah, okay. Surely, he would be... Yeah, it's just like... we have. There's plausible deniability there where, you know... It makes sense that he would take advantage of the opportunity to strike down Andros. He's not directly going to be there. If it's up to me, I'd really rather destroy the snail completely. Okay. Okay, so we got dragon, two admirals, five centuries by seven. Okay, well, okay, that's okay. That's at least somewhat manageable. I mean, at least Whitebeard's still four days out, right? No, three now. Okay, so about that. We've been wanting to increase our chances, right? You know, come on. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's, it's a combat thing, right? You know, give yourself the best odds at winning. So yeah, yeah. we sent uh, Shen and Captain to go pick up uh, Whitebeard early. I say that real you, fast. You sent an admiral? With Thatch informing him ahead of time. And the captain. The only person on this ship who's had contact with him. Barbados, when was the last time you saw the captain successfully communicate with somebody? Hey, I resent that. <laughs> okay. She knows a few details that I think would help. Which... You're not answering my question, Barbados. Okay, listen. Captain is listen. very capable. She's a captain. Oh, and listen. I know she gives off this weird energy, like she just doesn't touch grass. I swear to God! Every time she says, it just makes me tense. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm. This whole idea has been a complete kind of like long shot in the dark kind of thing. And I do think this maximizes our chances of having the best outcome. Because with Whitebeard on the side, if he can be convinced, uh, it would seriously keep our chances from being 50-50 to uh, maybe 60-40. You actually see Alan, you actually see him kind of like, he actually kind of like uh, jumps a bit and he goes, no, no, I have an idea. I have an idea. If it involves running away, we kind of can't. No, but that's also, that's also a really good idea. You know, I'm, I can breathe underwater. Oh, what's your idea? We take out Andros. Uh huh. We let the we let we let the Titans clash. Yes. We already have Magnus and all the rest of them on call. Uh-huh. Once it's down to just Whitebeard or just just Andros, we could potentially get both of them. Do you want to like get rid of one after we see the victor? If we get rid of the, the winner after they win. Oh, you know, I was honestly going to do like the whole, if Whitebeard wins, we kind of just, you know, he's kind of on his own at that part, at that point, right? Uh, I, I, I one goes, he goes, no, Barbados, think of it. He goes, if we can actually pull in an admiral that's a known problem, and then we can pull in one of the Yonko. At minimum, we could be bumped up to CP9, if not already fast-tracked to CP0. I wouldn't I like the way you think. I like the way you think a lot. And I'd love to do something like that. The problem is, the only problem is, there's just just a slight problem, is, um... Actually, uh... <laughs> this is the other thing I was going to mention. Andrew's kind of overplayed his hand. Just a tad. Just a tad. It doesn't really mean too much. Well, it might mean a lot to you. Uh, we found out that Andros, uh, while being 
super maniacally evil, is also working with Teach. And, you know, Teach is, uh, he has connections on the inside of the Admiral that we found out, one of them being a literal Vice Admiral. And we have no idea where he is or what he's up to. And, you know, while I definitely want to take advantage of the opportunity when it arises, uh, something in my gut tells me that someone like Teach has been planning something or is up to something. And I don't know what Andros is up to either. Because all these factors... uh, Factors aside, I have no idea what he has up his sleeve. Well, now I know he has probably Sengoku, but other than that, I have no idea what he has up his sleeve. There is a margin of error where we can we can enter a, a we can enter that fatal margin if we're not careful. So that's my only point. Uh, other than that, if the opportunity arises. Uh, I'd really rather get away with it without being seen by the White Beard Pirates, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll all kill each other. Yeah, I want to go here. See, we'll play it by ear. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. And now Alan goes, okay, is that everything, or do... Oh, we also found this new guy who came into our ship called William Blaze, and he's wanting the log pose I have. When? Why have we not started posting guard? Yeah, that's a good question. That's that's a very good question. I don't know. I can't answer that question. We don't have enough of us here. We need to find somebody. That Columbo guy would be great. He sees everything. Okay, he, he kind of pauses and just goes, I... Okay, I guess I guess cool. We have a new person. Yeah, yeah. Anticipating if he leaves or not in the middle of the night. If he does, it's not looking good. So Law was saying something about coffee. Oh yes. Um, you know this is kind of like an all nighter kind of thing, and I don't think going into this with exhaustion, or you know exhausted, not to the meta is a good idea. So we were hoping you could take your government ID, which I'm just making sure I pat myself down, make sure I don't still have it. You do. I give it to him. Oh, thank uh, you. You could, uh, you know, go to Gustav's, cut in line. Here's all my money as well, 12 million berries. Uh, cut in line and get some coffee and bring us, bring us back to us. 12 million, he, million, he goes, is this how much the coffee would be? Probably, but, you know. Part of the plan. He oh, needs we gotta wait. How many servings do, does he need for each? He needs one for the captain. One, one for me and you. For me. Probably for Kenzo. Gerald, for Kenzo. Dark. Doc. Well, Doc just got eight hours, actually, so Doc's fine. Yeah. Um... One, two, so five, five total. Kenzo, all in. No, Kenzo, Gerald, uh, me, Barbados, Captain, and Captain. So five. Okay. Yeah. That one uh, that's it. Okay, so go get five coffees. Yeah, like not like, if you can, maybe bribe them to make them extra special. Put some extra, extra espe- espresso in them. Yeah. Okay. Well, he lo- he looks at his watch. He goes, he goes, oh man, it's like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I don't know if you should go just yet. Everything kind of happens at like one one o'clock to one thirty in the afternoon. Is so, Gustav's open twenty four hours? No, it opens at six. Okay. Gustav's opens. Barbados doesn't know when it opens, but. Yeah, when it maybe we could. We're gonna skip the line. If it opens early enough, 
Uh, you would have to be there safely to get there and come back maybe at 10. We know the scouts are gone now. But Andros is going to think it's odd that no one's reporting. Well, they're only, they were only supposed to report back if they saw anything, actually. Mm hmm all right, yeah, that's that's the idea, Alwyn. Alwyn goes. All right, so I head out at nine thirty then. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, do you have a will, Alwyn? A living will? I haven't saw a reason to write one. That's fair. That's fair. It's just a thought. Hey, look, see, Barbados, you're not getting my stuff. It was, you know, any uh, one enough? of us can die. Any one of us. I, side eye. <laughs> I want to think he's going to head out towards his room and he's going to go, oh, although I probably should write one. <laughs> I'll go back to where lies. As, uh, <laughs> or better as you're leaving, you hear, where the hell is my pillow? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> oh, no. All right, you head you head back down. All right, that one's all caught up. Uh, William Blaze, you've you're currently in the guest room right. as Burke has regaled you with many tall tales about his time in the Grand Line and the weird things he's seen. Oh, I I really enjoyed that story, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you. You overheard me talking with them, did you? About me having my other uh, personalities. Brooke kind of looks off and says, If I'm being completely honest, I kind of zone out when they talk sometimes. They, they go rather quickly for me. But to be honest, I don't blame you. One of them seems a bit fishy. Oh, and which one would that be? Well... The one that's already lied two times to me since I've been here. Or kind of, kind of looks at you and says, uh, what, "What do you mean?" That tall guy. Uh, I ripped up his poster. I think it said "Law." Yeah, Bert goes. Oh, I wouldn't worry about him. Law is very um. He that pauses and thinks. A very worried fellow. He's like, I am hesitant to say paranoid, but... I, I can definitely tell. I, I just wanted to go back and get my stuff, and he's like, no, you can't leave. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> ah, well, see, the, the, I, he's normally not that bad. He, ever since we've been dealing with this Admiral problem, which, uh, to his credit, it, I would be very stressed, too... It's really gotten to him. So I, I I wouldn't see this as the normal thing. Now, I'm I'm just using you as like a ulterior ulterior uh communication, but <laughs> do you think that if I help you with this, that that I that I can be trusted enough to just go back and get my stuff? Oh no, I I know that that's what I'm saying. That's this this whole not trusting you thing in this moment, I think it's entirely just a um, uh, deathly threat being immediately available thing. Uh, normally, we you can do as you please. Okay. Do does my character know about what happens if he gets knocked unconscious? No. No. Okay. But I do know about the other part right yes okay see i'm just scared that uh, i'm just scared that something bad might happen if, if i if i don't have all my things Bert goes i wouldn't worry about it i mean what's the worst that could happen i mean wearing the same clothes a couple of days in a row may get a little bit stinky but it's not too bad to worry about that's not it's not really the clothes that I'm worried about. It's the safety of everyone around me. He 
but kind of tilts his head to the side and says, he goes, well, your VO shouldn't, couldn't be that bad. Well, that's true, but it's still worse than yours. Kind of, he kind of smells at his armpit and says, oh, right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I really appreciate these tales. Okay, now, goes. can, I, ah, go can I tell you my story? Oh, yes, of course. Go ahead. He takes a okay. seat. Okay, so Brooke now knows about each one of my personalities. Hey, uh, this story actually takes a few hours. Yes, it does. And we'll come back at the end of that. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, that worked out great. They usually want me to the captain, typically. All right, we'll hop over, Captain. All right, oh, dear, one. be quiet. No. Yes. No. All right, Captain, roll one more con save, this time at disadvantage. Don't trust them. Uh -huh. oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, it's only ability check. That, that, was, that was from Grunk from the other day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll, roll a con save, not at disadvantage. It's just that uh, flat... Did I ever get any inspiration from before the session? Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Plus four. Okay. You stave off a second level of exhaustion. Thank Christ. As Zon Shen is also feeling rough, he is going to roll his as well. A legendary resistance. So you hanging in there as I throw another rock? You actually do see him showing signs of getting extremely tired. Yeah, he's going to choose to not be uh be tired on that. Oh. Base. But with that, you guys are starting to arrive. You you can actually uh, roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, with or without observation hockey, your choice. Okay, and I get disadvantages on this one, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's a 3 plus 12. 15. You're doing this with or without observation hockey? With. Let's add it in there. With. With, okay. Uh, you can see far, pretty far off in the distance this large whale-like ship, similar to the one that Thatch does, but this one is huge. Whoa. Uh, you also feel an overwhelming pressure. I can feel it feels like it feels like a uh, feels like a migraine starting to the build pressure in your forehead. Pressure, yeah. As uh, as Shin looks at you and says, "It would seem our time to." to discuss is almost upon us. Yeah. Let's hope I don't mess it up with my energy. As <laughs> Shane goes, I do not know if this energy you speak of, but hopefully not. Any chance I could swap the cloud with... Never mind. You trying to kill him right now? Is that what this no, is? No, I was going to say something incredibly dumb. So just never mind on that one. Okay. Uh, it takes a couple minutes. Let's actually draw this out. Let's draw the deck of the ship. It's a large kind of circular ovoid uh, platform on this like large square deck. Because it kind of like drops down a decent bit. Mm -hmm. And then in the ovoid, there's like a large chair. And there's a... Uh, there are railings around. On the My side dog's of about to lose it. Fair warning, everyone. Goodbye. Uh, uh. 
Okay. Let's see it. Grrr. Look at that man. He's got the abs like a pack of Hawaiian rolls. Look at him. <laughs> True. Forearms <laughs> like ham hocks. One Look at turkey leg. Character. I'm ready for the voice, Trevor. Arr. Joe Zoo. Alright, you guys flying in, you see a lot of people on this ship, but you see uh, one large man, he's sitting on this chair, and he appears to have like a giant gourd he's drinking from. Okay. As you guys are, as you guys are circling the ship, you have like multiple people calling out, and they're, they're like pointing at you. I'm gonna do the good old Rowena Foy greeting, and I'm gonna wave real big and go, Ahoy! Uh, you, neither him nor it looks like his like person next to him look up at you. Pops! Captain Rowena Foy of the One-Eyed Pirates! I come to pick you up and deliver you! That should have called you? You see him kind of kind of look up and squint because like uh, kind of squints at you. Permission to board, sir? Uh, right now it's about five to six o'clock in the morning. Uh, you see no immediate reaction from him as, as you hear him say, uh, Go ahead and board. I look over to the Monkey King boy and I nod my head to take us down. He doesn't like that name. That's why I didn't tell him. That I just I just said that because I don't know his name yet. I'll get there. Uh, you, guys, you guys are flying down and eventually you both land as a uh, as Jen, he dissipates the uh the nimbus oh boy that was a that was a long journey rowena bends down with her hands on her knees and she goes pops happy to make your acquaintance i look up at pops he looks at you he's like taking this big swig from the from the gourd And he eventually just goes, ah. And he looks at you and goes, Thatch, talk to me. I called a while back. Ah, oh, good. So you have talked to him. He goes, A bit. I see from what he said. One of the Navy's dogs is here. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, we really desperate times and all. Ah, uh, you see him kind of glaring at him as he goes. Desperate times, huh? You see him kind of stand up as uh, Shinny kind of stands up as well. Yeah, like a 12-year-old little girl life in danger. My family slash crew, their life in complete and utter peril and danger uh i came to bring you along if you would uh, be so kind as to follow me and we'll take off and get there going quickly so we can resolve all this you see him stand up and him and shin are staring each other down you feel the electricity in the air yeah the, the, the electric man. aoe yeah it's the macho man aura uh roll, roll a wisdom saving throw oh <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I'm not expecting the saving throws either for wisdom, so. You feel yourself instantly rendered unconscious. <sighs> as, as well, goodbye, Hoshiko. Conquer's, as you feel Conqueror's hockey exude from Whitebeard and from Shin. Can they stop the dick measuring and wake up, Captain? Apparently not. Not possible. <laughs> I don't think I have anything in my freaking stuff to. This, uh, this a larger man comes up and picks you up, Captain. Slaps up. And then he start he starts like he starts trying to wake you up and says, "Hey, hey, you awake?" Uh, 
What happened? Are they fighting? Ugh! Uh, you, you, you kind of like dart up as you see Whitebeard is rolling to hit. No! Ugh! I want to swap places with the monkey. You do? Yeah! <sighs> okay. As, as you see, the Monkey King has pulled out his staff and is preparing for a defensive maneuver. That's a flex, actually, to see that that's, you put your life on the line like that's that. An, that's an anime protagonist thing to get these two to work together. I like it. I respect as, it. That's what I'm going they, for. Thank as you. As you swap, you... Okay, Captain, let me, let me tell you what you see. You see him. <laughs> he has this giant glaive, right? Yeah. He's wielding in one hand. You see this white circle of like just powerful energy come as he's slamming it down towards you is it a melee attack it is a melee attack uh i'm gonna increase my ac to 20 then that's a that's a 21 to hit you're kidding me okay can't you give it disadvantage though isn't that something you just unlock i just unlocked the no well, I, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, given the difference, I'll give him disadvantage on this hit. It probably wouldn't matter, but because he got a four, didn't he? I mean, he's still not gonna really hurt well, me four, because uh... I still can expend a forge die to take the hit, so it's really not gonna matter too much. You're. That's probably not gonna be a, if you're gonna do that. It's probably when you do it. And what can you do with the forge die? Uh, I can expend one forge die to reduce the damage by the number I roll on my forge die plus my con mod. How much damage does this do is the question. Yeah. We should see the dice start rolling, I guess. Let's roll a d6. Can't, so, yeah. Is he fast enough to stop it? Yeah, is there a chance? No, no, we, we, we're, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the, the, the sequence of operations here, so... Number one, because it's an augmented attack, he has to uh, he has to determine magnitude. Holy shit, he's so big! It's magnitude one. Okay, you could wow. You could, the you lowest could my pro tag anime this. armor. Just hold him back. He stales the hand for now. How much? You have 113. Okay, you actually could live this. How much? Let's see the damage. So let's let's next roll whether or not he is quick enough to perceive at the switch if he's able to stop himself. I think if he hits of course you, he is. If he hits you, it's still fine though. Actually, he's he's I'm able fine. to stop himself. Though. He's going to he's, 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 he's going, going to, to choose to be non with the, He's going to continue with the hit, but he's going to willfully lower it. Stand strong, Captain. <laughs> I will. I am strong, Tomato. See how much you have to reduce this. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Three plus. He hits you for forty points of damage. Okay. Oh. That's not even half of my HP, so sure. As you, as um, you, as you. So can I use the take the hit? Uh, the full description of take the hit is when another creature damages me with a melee attack, I can use my reaction to expend one forge die to reduce the damage by the number I roll on my forge die plus my con mod. You used your reaction on defensive duel. I'm then. asking the DM. <laughs> you don't need to I remind will, the will, DM of anything. I will <laughs> say yes because the def because the defensive duelist didn't actually do anything. That's fair. Yeah, okay. No, okay. So there would have so so in in thinking of it, you wouldn't have actually needed to proc defensive duelist. So I would say that doesn't really matter. So yeah, it's a good point. Okay. Um, if it would have blocked the blow, die. then 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 no. Okay, my Forge Dyer are D8s, so 6, 8. Captain's gonna have the clash. Uh, ooh, it's a I six. think it's better for convincing Whitebeard that you actually get hit. Plus my con mod, which is 4. You only take 30 points of damage. Okay. You could spend the forge die, right? Or is this the? That's forge what die I just thing? did. That's the forge die. Oh, I thought so you. Were so, I, so as you forge as dies you aren't that big. so as you swap places with uh, with Shin, as he's preparing a defensive thing, you have you have both of your swords as he slams into it, and as soon as he slams into it, it looks like reality itself cracks as you feel your whole body start to shake with this tremor that hits you, 
but you manage to throw the swords to the side and deflect off his blow. Oh, that's so cool, Captain. As he, as he looks at you and says, Ah, got a lot of spunk in you, I see. You gotta have a spunk to be out in these waters, Pops. I give him a, a, a like a Luffy-esque smile. Yeah, mischievous. Hey, he, he actually reciprocates with a big smile as uh, Shin hops over and says, It's good to see you again. Even though this time we must be allies instead of enemies. And this white beard smiles at him and says, I was kind of enjoying the idea of going against your staff again, but I guess it would be the same. Grrr. He has no reason to laugh yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sorry to cut the reunion sort of sh short, but uh, Pops, if you would come with us, we kind of got to get going. If you would be so kind as to do me the honor of allowing of the taking you personally. Are you looking? Do they have any coffee on the ship? Actually. Yeah. I, yeah. I I forgot. I wanted to ask about that too. <laughs> And he looks at you and he says, And you're taking me to Andros, correct? So I can... You see him. I guess he's uh, he gri gripping on his uh, on his oh, glaze. Staff. You see him and he says, I would like to repay the kindness that he showed us. Yeah. Yes, that's the idea is that we're going to fight Andros. Hopefully before he can kill my crew as well and everyone on the island that'd be pretty great <laughs> my beauty he gets up oh he's, he's so what? huge he's hey, so he fucking up. huge <laughs> oh my god captain so tiny <laughs> he's a big guy is that really how big he is he's yes. massive he's like 30 feet tall actually yeah he's a big Six guy feet tall and super uh, strong he's he is like 17 or 18 feet tall yeah, what, Holy that mean? Shit. Uh, what a man no. Five nine versus oh. six. <laughs> yeah, actually, because like this guy is law size, so I'm comparing that. And I'm like, God, good God. Joseph's a big guy for his own right. Yeah. All right. With with that, he looks over at Joe. He says, "He says, Joseph." Dunks up at him. He says, "I leave you in charge of the ship while I go take care of some business." Oh, oh uh, so Pops, you got any sad. coffee also? Is, I'm pretty tired. He, he looks at you. <laughs> I just, I, I don't mean to impose. It's just a long, long trip here and a long trip back. I could use some, some caffeine for the road. <laughs> no, I don't have any coffee. It's bad for my heart. That's totally fair. I don't usually drink coffee either. I turn to Joe's and I'm like, D do you happen to have any coffee? Sir, <laughs> no, I, uh, I Pops told me it was bad for my heart, so I try not to <laughs> drink any. Yeah, coffee's pretty bad for you, that's true. Okay, uh, I think you're just making it your bag. Where's the kitchen? Oh, gosh, Shin looks at you and says. Is this really the time for this right now? I'm not confident I could make it back if if I don't. I apologize so profusely. She's going to do like a whole 90 degree bow towards them. I'm so sorry. I'm not strong enough yet. One so day. Just gonna, so you're just going to wander off to the kitchen? <laughs> no. no, I'm bowing. I'm just I'm asking them where the kitchen's at if they know. Okay. Joseph just wipe your just is watching you at this and that's, Joseph just kind of he just kind of points you in a direction to be fair that sounds like some shit Luffy would do like, I'm hungry <laughs> I, just, I really <laughs> need before we go can I grab a snack I'll be like, extremely fast and I take off sprinting okay you were not the fastest because you're very tired yeah you go down to the kitchen you end up finding a uh uh, a dude that kind of looks like you know has like the thatch kind of like chef's uniform and he goes uh, uh new face 
Need coffee. Oh, uh, hi. Do you have like a triple espresso or something that I can drink? Something that'll cure my exhaustion. That'd be pretty great. <laughs> oh, uh, oddly, oddly specific, but uh, but let me look. I'm Captain Rowena Foy, by the way. I'm like a step cousin. I don't. Of I don't you know. Know. No, give him advantage. Come on, I he's the chef. I don't know what an espresso is. No, not an espresso. An espresso. There's no X. Ah, oh. uh, uh, of course, an espresso. <laughs> That's he's so rolling, funny. He's rolling at disadvantage. <laughs> no! a funny clarification. Oh. Oh he, come he on. He looks and says. I want to make a perception. Is that? <laughs> is that a drink? Coffee. Uh, it's coffee, coffee pot. You have one? Yes. Coffee pot. Oh, no, no. Okay. I, I've actually been wanting to get one of those. Pop says it's bad for your heart. <laughs> so we haven't really Amazing. been able to convince him to get one. Do you have any, like, really strong tea or something that, like, will wake any someone cocaine? up? We got, we got booze and water. Do All you right, have here. anything no that would monsters? wake someone up from a dead sleep? We got some really strong booze. Those wake you up? You got, like, fireball whiskey? Those wake you up, I he guess. He looks over, and he does, in fact, have that exact brand of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a shot? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, whatever. He pulls out a shot glass, gives you a tall shot. Here you go. Come on, that will wake someone I up. I down it. Disgusting. You down it, though. The cinnamony goodness hits your throat, and you can feel the heat of it. Uh, make a con save. God dang it! At a disadvantage? No. Because no, that's saves. only for ability checks. You hush. Yeah. No disadvantage uh, for me. <laughs> oh, that was almost so bad. It's plus four. Uh, yeah, you 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 take the shot like a man. <sighs> or, it puts a fire power, in my belly. Or a powerful woman. <laughs> I do the whole fist on my chest and make a little burp. You burp. And hit it right in this chef's face. Okay, come on. It doesn't have to be like that. That's rude, Beth. <sighs> Thank you so much. That is what Luffy would do, though. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, of course. What did she eat? <laughs> Nothing. I haven't had anything. Okay, uh, did that help my exhaustion at all? No, but you feel pretty good now that you've had a bit of booze. Okay, fine. Whatever, I sprint back up and I go, okay, uh... I guess there's just nothing, so I hope we can make it back without dying. Well, no, it just slows the journey. As... I pray to God that that's what that is. <laughs> As Shin's gonna do a perception today. He looks at me and says, Do I smell alcohol? Ah! Uh, I think we should get going. <laughs> they didn't have any coffee. His <laughs> white beard goes, "Yeah, it's bad for your heart." I really need <laughs> to take note of that. Been asking to get one for for a while now, but I keep telling him no. It's bad for your heart. <laughs> well, that's totally fair. I respect that. You know, you have everyone's best interest at heart, pops. You're, Can we you're get the going? man. <laughs> <laughs> we really gotta go though. Okay, uh, Shin summons the cloud. Ah, uh, this is a problem that we hadn't really thought about. Uh, we're gonna need to roll a little check here to see if we can make it big enough. Oh, uh, come on, it's his cloud. He can do it. He's an advantage. admiral, for Christ's sake. Uh, You're telling me that one yeah, admiral can level an island, but this one this. can't make an yeah, island-sized yeah, cloud? Fine. Whatever. Okay, you can make the cloud, but it suffers a speed penalty. That's fine. It's not like that we were really going. No, that's fine. Okay. Guys All right, friends. The... You got to hold my hand. Well, well hold on. Actually... <laughs> He's the one driving, but you're just switching. Yeah, but I have to hold on to them to switch. Oh, uh, yeah. Whitebeard just, he just stand, like, basically just like standing next to you. Okay, friends. Ready? And I'm gonna rear back in anime style with my pebble, and I'm gonna go Aah! and just toss it and throw okay, it as hard as I can. Roll a strength check. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you got it. 
Do I have it though? That's yeah, that's only plus five. Okay, that's just a ten. A ten. But I'm passively super strong, so like you you are, but this is this is more of a check on how well your your muscles are maintaining. Okay, sure. Why not? While you are still throwing it very strong, you can feel your your strength waning. Couldn't happen. Never could. And you guys disappear into the distance as you kind of look. You look back and see Josie just kind of doing a slight wave. <laughs> Goodbye, Josie. Oh, pops, have you ever traveled in the air like this? A little smiles at you and says, "Over short distances, but a long while back." Well, buckle up, because we got a three-hour plane ride. They don't know what a plane is. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> you just say the word <laughs> randomly. <laughs> Alright, you guys are traveling. Wow. Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity to tell Pops my life story as we're driving. You proceed to just trauma dump your entire backstory <laughs> onto Pops. <laughs> He just hits her with a lot of that's crazy. Uh huh. <laughs> that's crazy. Still <laughs> okay. looking at it. I'll be right back. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's crazy, yo. That's that's just wild. All right. Uh, she Lombard, did what? <laughs> Lombard Vados, you guys are downstairs, and then you hear bounding down the steps yet again. You see Cheryl. Oh. Hey. Good news, I presume. Yeah. How'd it go? He go. He goes. Yeah, well, I got a, I got a couple of things. Bad news and good news. Your choice. Let's bad go bad news, news first. first yeah. Bad news first. We're out of guns. That's not that bad. What do you mean by out? Like, how many do we have? One? Uh, The one I made, yeah. Okay, what is it? And the good news? He goes, the good news. The gun. Give me a second. I, I, it would it would kind of ruin the surprise if I brought it down whenever I... So you, give me a second. He walks back upstairs. No, no guns isn't that bad. Yeah, depending on how awesome this fucking gun is. He comes down, and it is taking him two hands, and it's still longer than him. Oh, oh wow. He goes to hand it to you, Law. Yeah, I'll take it from him. Pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. As Gerald goes, Well, I purchased some... some theoretical schematics from a guy a while back. Never thought I'd actually get a chance to build it. Show us a picture. Put a picture in the Discord of what this looks like, please. Yeah, I need, I need a picture <laughs> of this fucking behemoth. Okay, give me a second. Behemoth <laughs> gun. Um, uh, do you have a bullet capable of being fired in this thing? Like, Or can I shoot like the fishman rounds in it? Well, uh, No, I think he's going to show us the next part of that. Oh. Uh -huh. As soon as he gives us our visual representation of the gun. Okay, where's the gun? Oh. 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 Did oh. he just give me a fucking anti-tank rifle? Well done, where's the oh gun? Oh my god, is that an anti-tank rifle? Oh my god. Oh fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle. <laughs> I love that. Love that meme. Uh, well, how, how thick are those shields, Jeeves? Well, they're about half as thick as my dick, which means you're going to need an anti-tank rifle to get through. Oh, oh shit, that's an anti-tank rifle. Yeah, it looks like this. Oh, no, it ends. Come on. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Come on, buddy, you can go. Give Come it on, to me. Go. I'm edging. Kaiba? I'm just going through all three text channels because I don't know where it's going to pop up. The and D chat. Okay. Please stop. Please give it to me. Oh, oh yes, you did. Yes. Oh, oh. It's a fucking elephant gun. I'm so. God, hard. is that an anti-tank rifle? Yeah. That's an anti-tank. Oh my rifle. god, that's a. <laughs> okay. Uh, this Please. is a this is a theoretical design, blueprint-wise, that Jero has cobbled together through various other instruments and. Gutted about nine to ten guns. I just look to at craft. Him. It's the most beautiful uh, thing I've ever seen. Uh, this is known as an anti-ship rifle. Oh my god! 
Its specific pump function is to punch holes into battleships and cause them to leak from the underside. I'm gonna go ahead and get a note card for this. Uh, so, anti ship slash anti admiral rifle. Ah. Uh, so the the gun itself, it to hit, you get three times your proficiency bonus. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I like just saw that gun. That's a long gun. All right, three times the proficiency the bonus. Yeah, the damage on it is ten d eight. All right. Actually, no, ten d ten. Sorry. Ten d ten plus my dex, or yeah, or is plus it just dex. A oh, okay. Actually, plus your dex and plus your intelligence. And plus my intelligence. Okay. The only con, or the the main con of this is. Uh, it can be it, it can be loaded, and once it's fired, it takes f it takes three rounds to reload it. Okay, so this is the, a part of my class is that I ignore loading properties. Well, this specifically this, ign this ignores the okay ignoring reload. Good. Okay, then yeah, it, it takes three rounds to reload. ignore. That's fine. That's fine. I, like it ignores immunity or whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm fine with that. I want this. To, I just wanted to clarify. All right, once yes, fired, this it this rifle. It, it requires three rounds of of you low of you fully loading it and pulling the slides and hitting the levers. I couldn't, so I couldn't have Bloodhound like load this in the background while I'm doing no. shit. Okay, okay. This requires consistent attention. Uh, you look at it; it is a it is a, a black powder slash gas powered rifle. Oh my god! I'm gonna put that in just in case that's important. Uh, black powder slash gas powered gas oh yeah slash gas powered so the gas poweredness of it is uh whenever this thing is prepping to fire it has multiple pressurized uh, cylinder states in it oh my god <laughs> okay so the black powder causes the initial like a uh, firing of it but as the firing goes through pressurized chambers it exponentially increases the power of the bullets so what the longer the farther away I am the more damage the bullet does? Uh basically like as as the bullet go is going it's hitting these pressurized tanks which is causing more power oh, to go Oh, I see shot. what you're saying. Okay, okay. So you're just explaining why it's so strong. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, there are two different types of ammunition that can be you can use single shot which is made made for punching just a singular hole in something. Mm -hmm. And then there's flak shot. Okay. How much ammunition did was like he able to make? Jero was able to craft one single shot bullet. Okay. Is there nothing we can do to it now to make it a black hockey bullet, or is that you, too late? Uh, uh, you could imbue the bullet if you wanted. But I want it to stay a bullet as it's launched. You know what I mean? Like I want to change the metal, kind of like you change the actual state of the sword. You know what I mean? Uh. Add require another roll. Yeah, that yeah, they require him to try to craft another one. Uh, so I mean, how how much time do we have left, Barbados? I'm not keeping track of that. Uh, it's like what seven o'clock in the morning now, eight o'clock. So we we have uh, four hours. Yeah, you guys have about four hours left. So this is a bullet for damage. Do we? I mean, do we want to make a hockey bullet for the actual like kill on Andros? Um, and you know, you and I can both channel our hockey through him, Barbados. What do you mean? Why can't we use this bullet? Well, there's a. I can see hockey where there's a good chance that in a fight with Whitebeard, he would never lower his full body hockey. I'm not saying our armament hockey would be enough to pierce, but hopefully, you know, it would be safe than sorry in, in the off chance that we hit something that is like sturdier than normal human skin. I don't know what this guy is. I feel like a bullet made of the actual hockey material might help. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Uh, what's wrong with this bullet? Nothing's wrong with this bullet. I, I mean, it's going... But I just mean, like, I can't make it stay hockey-fied when it leaves the gun, you know what I mean? If I'm inside of it, I got an idea. Could you exert your hockey permanently over it? Oh my god. No, I got another idea. I'm gonna try something. 
I'm gonna form a little ball of darkness in my hand. Okay. And I'm gonna try wrapping armament hockey around it. Around the darkness? Yes. Same way as like <laughs> Katakuri or Luffy would do with their mochi and gum. Like, I want to make my material hardened by armament hockey. With your level three armament, you can do that. That's sick. This so you could an idea. So you could form a black darkness like hockey shield around your own bullet. Ah, hello, Daniel. Oh, it's Farley. Hello, hello, traveler. Oh God. All right. So uh, let also me try. The, also, the bullet this uses is a thirty x. 113b uh do i need to write that down uh if you want okay hold on uh uh one more time 30x actually no no sorry no no, no. we're using the 30x 165 165 30x 165 yep all right actually look how big that bullet is uh yeah i'm googling it um well, I have a way of testing it without firing it if you want to hop in. Yeah, and... that's what I was about to say. Let me hop into that bullet. Yeah, and then we'll just play catch with it. And if you can keep it, I'll keep my observation hockey on it. If you can keep hockey on it while it's traveling through the air. Then... Well, it's more good to keep hockey on myself, but I think I can oh. emanate it through the whole bullet. Let's see. Well, right, that's what I want. I want the outer casing to be covered in hockey and your darkness, actually, if you can manage that. We'll see what I can do. I'm gonna hop into the bullet. Okay, Mr. you are Dan. you are now inside of the bullet. It's a more spacious bullet than the last one. Yes, this one is about uh, six to seven times bigger than a normal bullet. I want to cover myself in armament hockey. Uh, roll a wisdom check. Okay, I am just a corporeal form. Jesus, that bullet is huge. Oh my god. Yeah. That is that's, nice. That's an 18, by the way. 18, yeah, okay, you're eight. Uh I Law, as you're looking at it, because we have observation hockey now, you see it looks like black steam starts coming out of the bullet, and then it envelops it and then turns it solid black. Like not the armament color black, but like a jet black. Uh I, I, I'm gonna say to Barbados, yeah, it works. I think this is gonna work. We just, I think we just invented the hockey bullet in a roundabout way. A little bit. I think uh, to optimize this plan, once Captain is around, she'll take an advantageous position with this rifle, and probably Gerald to do coordinations on the shot, uh, at a fair distance away, of getting the perfect angle. When we spring the trap, she switches us back into their position. Yeah. And Whitebeard and uh, Shen have their little scuffle. Yeah, after she, we hopefully, she could actually switch Whitebeard and Shen with you and I. Yeah, she could. She so could she's waiting on standby with the. We give the rifle to Gerald to hold with the bullet, and then he meets the captain when they arrive. The captain stays with Whitebeard and Shen until we're ready to spring the trap. Then she switches us to. I take the gun from Gerald, you inside the bullet, we wait for our time to shoot. The captain's still there to call the shots and look through the scope and switch things. I think that's the best idea, yeah. All right. All right, so now we need to go to the shop, get everything we need to prepare. I was going to ask, what Barbados. Shop for? What? The shop, what? Well, no, not us personally, but Barbados, um, that explosion... Um, how did you manage that? What what kind of explosion? What kind well, of explosive? Was, were you that you remember that bounty hunter? We snatched up his explosives. You snatched up his his explosives? Yeah, I'm pretty sure people saw me do that. I think. I remember. I, I was completely underwater. It was only you and Alwyn. Oh, I guess nobody did actually. So so, you you don't even have to do anything special. The bombs work underwater. That's okay. So. Uh-huh. I'm thinking, now I know this sounds crazy, and I don't know if this will work, but you could take the death charges to Rico, and Rico could multiply them. And then you could put, like, a bunch of them underwater where the captain would switch Andros when the oh, traps... How do so we that... switch Andros underwater if captain's going to be a distance away and switch us to that position? 
Uh, I can put something with a, a lot of hockey on it. Um, maybe even, uh, I don't know. I, I was thinking like we could put something that very noticeable for the captain to see. And we could also tell her where that is surrounded by your depth charges. And then she could see that, see Andros and just switch them when he's not, you know, he doesn't have his guard up. That could happen too. Yeah. And, you know, I don't we could... know if Rico can actually, I'm a little hesitant to go out there and ask him for anything, but you can I manage it. There are no scouts anymore, by the way. Oh, really? That's been taken care of. So we can start training on deck. Well, it's raining. So it's probably, we're probably done with that. We're probably on the preparing stage at this point. Um, so you could go into disguise and meet with Rico and get those duplicated. Maybe you could try. Do you need any money for me? I I could help if uh you know if I don't actually. I'm not super sold on the whole explosives part. I have two that I can use, but that would require us putting these basically on the ship. Well, we can move it a decent distance away. And how would he get caught in them? We could still. Ha I mean, the captain's eyesight is pretty far range. Like she she was using it to switch things pretty decently far away. So we could have something about 20 to 30 feet deep in the water, maybe something shiny, surrounded by the depth charges. We tell the captain, to, like we point to it before Andros arrives. And then from a distance, she could see Andros, see the shiny thing because she already knows where it is, and then just switch them. And then on proximity, once he gets switched, he'll trigger all the depth charges. He might. It might even happen so much that he's not even prepared in time to protect himself, and he might just get blown away who knows if he's not prepared in time to protect himself wouldn't it be better to take the shot well i mean we we would also have to be in place in front of andros to even get him close enough to bait him in right so that would take time to switch us out and to prepare the shot and also i don't figure that that's actually going to kill him i figure that's just going to slow him down i don't i think we're going to need an opening to actually make this shot with you because if i miss or if it doesn't do what we want, you are instantly dead. Well, I don't know about instantly dead. Well, okay. I mean, you can you survive going into the water trapped as a bullet if I miss? Because he'll probably be over ocean mostly. Oh, I guess I wouldn't survive that. Also, if it hits him but doesn't penetrate, and he, like, worst case scenario, catches the bullet and crushes it in his black hole, I mean, uh, can you survive that? Um... So we have to catch it off guard, and I have to not miss. So I would want time to prepare that shot. I, it, it wouldn't be a switch, instantly take the shot kind of thing. I wouldn't be able to do that. I need. I would need time to line it up. Yeah. I think then the two that I have still with me is fine. I, would you not want to go overkill when it comes to this guy? I would want to get rid of him, but I also don't like uh, risks. Risks. I mean, how many did you use for Astrid? Yeah, well, that was way different context. Uh, this is Astrid versus Andros. I mean, I don't think two's enough for this guy. Well, definitely not. Our purpose is just to rattle him, isn't it? I mean, the more rattling of his cage, the more the bird is cooked, right? I mean, the analogy falls apart halfway through there, but you know what I'm saying. And even if I were disguised, Andros does know my hockey signature. <sighs> Couldn't I know the radius of? Well, I don't know the radius, but I I'll know where he is at all times. If you, mm, you're right, that is a big. Well, I couldn't like kidnap Rico and bring him here and compel him to clone your death charge under threat of death or anything, could I? I mean, I, I guess yeah, somebody could bring Rico here. I, I think mean, he. There's nobody to report that Rico would be getting onto our ship. I mean, then we could ask Owen. To like, like we could literally just have him pay in a Rico for a home visit because of shady dealings. I'm sure Rico will yep, do that. Actually, I could ask. Yeah, let's. I'll do, go do that. Hold on. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, Alwyn opens the door. Hey, Alwyn. Um. Uh, you know that coffee mission, right? Yes, yeah, the very important coffee mission. Uh. We were thinking that we might need Rico the Many's help as well, if you can get him around. Bribe him. Do what you need to do. Okay. Threaten him if you have to. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said do what you need to do. 
Uh, I just want to make sure that he's um, anyway. We do need him for a couple things. That explosion that I definitely did not cause that resulted in your concussion and injury. Uh, right. The law has a plan of using some leftover explosives I got. And I do think we might need him for another part. It's a maybe on this next part, though. So, yeah, if you could do that, you, you're the best at going over there. And he knows our my, our hockey signatures. Yeah. How when he actually, uh, he looks at his watch and says, Oh, it's actually getting pretty close to about that time to go, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. So, old. bring back five coffees and Rico and a mini. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get Rico, that'd be great. Coffees are hugely important. Oh, do we want to have him get the guy's stuff or no? No. Okay. Also, you should buy an umbrella. I'd like you to buy an umbrella and an extra spyglass. Preferably the best one they got. Okay, I got you. He, goes, he starts walking out and says, I'll be back in an hour-ish. Right. Yeah, no pressure or anything. It's just life or death. Right. Yeah, you know, the usual with this crew. That, he heads out. All right, Alwyn's on his way to do that. All right, okay, how much... Um... We need to make a call to the captain and let her know what the plan is and what her role to play is. Like, probably now, right? So, I guess I'll... I don't have this now. It's up to you if you want to call her on this now. Wait a second. With keen in mind, do I remember... I'm waiting for that to go off. I'm. Do I remember how long it said until the transmission jamming? I uh, remember the transmission jamming was going to be at about noon, so you have a couple hours left. Okay, so uh, this one goes direct. The snail goes directly mm. only yeah. to the captain. So yeah, yeah, I'll call it. All right, cool. all right, captain. Bad, In the bad. middle of one of your throws, you hear a better, 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 better. What? Better, 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 better. Oh, I throw the pebble and then I pull it out and I patch. All right, patch. Hey, captain. Oh, hey, I was making this call. I'm. It's on speaker. No, it's on speaker. speaker. Hello, my lovely family slash crew. Hey there, Captain. How good are things on your end? Oh, things are great. I'm getting to know Pops. Pops getting to know me. So he's he's right there? next to you. Yeah. Why wouldn't he be? Oh, no reason. It was just an energy related thing. Uh, an energy related thing. Nothing. It's nothing, Captain. Uh Hello there, Mr. Whitebeard. Uh, I'm sure my captain here has informed you more or less about the plan. Uh, more about her personal life, but yeah, a little, a little bit. So we can have. We, yeah, can we both just inform them of the plan without having to? I was going to go on into that. Oh, I, I, I know. Okay. Well, I just. <laughs> No, you, I, you can say. I mean, you, you, no, I don't want to actually do it. I was wanting to skip that. I was wanting to actually like do the, like the fill them in thing. Yeah, I want to fill them in on most of the parts, but I also want to say, um, Mr. I mean, do, Whitebeard, I think there's something you should also know. Andros uh, seems to have overplayed his hand by a tiny bit, and we've discovered that Teach himself is working with Andros. Rowena Captain, looks very you, shocked. You you look and see that Whitebeard on his hand that's not holding the glaive, you see it turn like bright white. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Pops, Pops, it, 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 Pops, it's okay, we're, we're gonna get him, right? This is why we have this plan in order, and Captain, you're pretty vital to the success of this. <gasps> Hear Whitebeard say, You guys need me. I don't like the plan when it comes to this sneaking around. He says, I, he says, I want to fight him myself. I understand, sir, and I, I do get it. Andros is not a man who's going to play completely by the rules. As we found out, Admiral Shen, I think you should also know, uh, Whitebeard, or er, uh, Andros has been in talks with 
Sengoku. Whether that means he's going to interfere or not is beyond my calculations to say for sure, but... I still have my money on Kuzan. I think he'll show up on our, in our favor. It would be beneficial. I don't know what they're planning, though. Like, kind of, like, like I, I'm going to, like, talk into the, the thing and be like, he also has Hoshiko, a young girl that's innocent, like, with a mark on her throat. So we kind of want to catch her by surprise, catch him by surprise so that he doesn't have a chance to detonate his marks and kill anybody, or kill any of our friends or, you know, that kind of that nature. Uh, it was one thing like to put a, a mark on me, but to put a mark on a 12-year-old girl, it's too far. Like that, a, that's why I want to catch him. Angry child, you see Whitebeard. He kind of clicks his lips as he kind of glares in the distance. I'll take that as a subtle I I approval. Told him about that, but okay. That's why we want to take him by surprise. Otherwise, we'd let you have your whole show off or showdown. showdown I'm not going to lose showdown. any more people in this battle. If any one of you are in any trouble, I'm switching you out of there. That goes for you too, pops. Respectfully. Kenzo says we can. I guess I should tell you this. Mr. Whitebeard, sir, we will be offering support from the distance to, because part of our plan involves my devil fruit. As you know, sir, oh, you probably know, probably don't. I don't know if Thatch informed you of this. My devil fruit has the ability to negate the effects of other devil fruits. But I have to touch said person. Which is why Andros wanted me to uh, assist in getting rid of Marco. And uh, with this conversation, I'm sure you can surmise that we have gone against that route. I'm not going to touch a hair on one of, one of our companions' heads. I'd There's... kill myself first before that happens. There's going to be a location outside of his range because no offense mr whitebeard but andros will see your hockey signature as soon as he enters a certain range especially if you can see his uh captain as, as you say that uh whitebeard actually puts his hand on your head and just smiles at you oh, oh what a nice guy captain blushes doki doki there's gonna be a location where a uh, captain will be uh, watching through a spyglass with uh, you and Shen in order. And at the moment, when uh, with Marco's cooperation, at the last moment when uh, he thinks that he's going to get his chance to get rid of Marco, Captain will switch Whitebeard and Shen with uh, with uh, Law and I, and. Uh, don't worry about the boat, honestly. My boat! <laughs> like, what if we did it not on the boat, though? Captain, I don't think we have a choice. You're right. This is it's a little outside I of our control. I also want to state that I don't feel comfortable as the captain not being in the area when it's going down. Captain, we can't have you in the area. I understand that, but I just want Captain, to the know sec that I don't feel comfortable not being directly in the fight. You are you are doing the most, uh, really, like, you switching him into the water and getting us this advantage sets us up for any chance of victory, other than just Whitebeard straight up winning, but then our people get killed in the process because of his detonation. You are providing the ultimate kind of support, and you also are able to see everything from a bird's eye view with your switch switch ability you're able to provide the most protection to your family i look at pops <laughs> you want some anything? subtle approval and he looks at you and says do what you have to to protect your people i don't like the idea but okay but if One anyone is in direct plan. danger, I'm swapping with them the moment that it happens. One last plan involves Kenzo, who has something he can use in store for Andros, but it does also require me physically touching him. Not Kenzo, but touching Andros. If we can get into an opportunity where I can 
either this bullet is successful or I can touch him, then uh, we can we can take him down. Andros's problem is his hubris, and we're hoping that can be his downfall. Yeah, that guy's got a real manifest destiny kind of complex. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> Whitebeard. Thank you, Shen. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. We'll have, uh, we'll have espressos ready for you. Oh, how is how's the crew and everyone? You hear Whitebeard say, those are bad for your heart. <laughs> yeah, so but those, they're bad for your heart. Is there is there for sure def, def, definitive research on that? You should ask That's, the doc. He'll probably you, know. You hear Whitebeard say, I've done my research. They give me the shits, but... <laughs> How is how is the rest of the crew holding up? How's Hoshiko? She's still asleep, or? Uh, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we really need to start posting guards up on watch, Captain. We got a new person here who just kind of a new person. By. Did you read them the ad? We have an what? ad. Yeah. What What's do you think? You think I just what? What? When we come oh. across a new person, you you tell them charismatically, "Hello, would you like to become one of the one?" I, the, it's all written down. Oh, yeah. I, well, I, I must have missed that memo in the emails, Captain. Yeah, because we currently have him detained in the guest room. He says he's off. He's willing to offer our his assistance through this. Ah, uh, we'll figure out what he can do. Uh, actually, uh. Um, it's kind we of do. weird that someone would show up in the middle of this. He could be a spy. That's exactly why we have him detained and on watch. Okay, yeah, you really guys are doing good work. Uh, figure out what he can do, maybe? Um, he has some kind of weird devil fruit ability. Sticky, sticky shit. I don't know. Oh, it's sticky. He, he can shoot goops from his spidey. Yeah, it's he weird. He can shoot goops, can We had an egg, and he... <laughs> Like, you know how you could switch the egg instantly? He just kind of, like, shot little, kind of... Like, well, that's not important. We'll, we'll discuss. You'll see him yeah. when you get here, Captain. Just know that you might have to go slightly wide to a certain a building location that we'll mark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're probably about three hours out, so... Yeah, I know. We'll see I you then. Just barely line up do it time wise. It'll uh, be just close, but remember, Captain, if it doesn't work, we're dead. Ha ha! The goal is to at least everyone make it out alive, except Andros. And maybe if you me, can but... swim, try diving. If everything goes bad, maybe he can't kill you if you're deep enough underwater. I don't think that applies to Devil Fruit users. I look to the two Devil Fruit users that I'm <laughs> currently flying with. That's yeah. for you guys. Okay. We'll see you in three hours, Captain. Okay. Keep Captain me updated Roll. if anything happens. Pacha. 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 Captain, roll another con save. Oh, I throw the pebble. Well, things are getting tense. Oh, you've been W'd. I've 14. been W'd? Oh. Oh. Really? Who I... W'd? Who W'd? You know who it is. It's me. I'm not gonna fucking lie like I, I didn't, didn't fucking have w. a picture. I'm sorry, okay? My fucking ADHD just makes me spin around and around. I hadn't taken a picture! Ugh, there was so much on there. <laughs> uh, oh, auto. there's an autosave, isn't there? Uh, hold on. I'm so Let sorry. Me. All of my feats were on that slide. <laughs> All of my... Yeah. Smithkin right. stuff was on that side. That's feels so bad, man. Now you gotta use like you've been evaporated a walker or something, man. You ain't got no feet. <laughs> I, I took a picture of mine already, so. Oh, tab, tab does that. Okay, my bad. Didn't mean to That's ping something ping. for everybody. I'm sorry. Okay. There it is. <laughs> the spam is happening. You can also tab to see if you hold tab, you can see. Yeah, can calculate distance. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go back in time, Betsy. Uh, 
but we'll copy paste this. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way. Okay, we're jumping back forward in time. Oh. There you go. I'm loading okay. in. Now we, now we save. Table hasn't loaded for me yet. There, okay, there we go. I, I saved it instantly. My table's just waiting. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, there it goes. One at a time. Oh, the wanted pictures are all uh, over the place. It's slowly coming together. Oh, oh. the ship. Oh. Is it? Is oh, this okay. before? It was before a level up, it seems. It was before level up. Oh. <laughs> you know, the picture be after. I, I, I came back. Okay. Did it? My table's unloaded again. Yeah, I I quickly went over to one and then I came back to the other one, so you have okay, to load okay. through two tables. I just didn't know if you were expecting oh. me to copy it, cause I was like, I can't. <laughs> no, 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 I copied it and already repasted it for you. Okay, thank you. I'm still loading. I keep my hands off the keyboard. Yes, get a fidget cube, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't tell me what to do. I'll tell you whatever I want. Get one of those like jelly prolapse anus things. <laughs> I That's know exactly what you're talking about. That's what's funny. Weirdest way of describing <laughs> it. No, I got myself yeah, this little you, fidget you... cube. It's got a bunch of like gaming buttons on it and spinny things. How would you describe it then, other than a jelly prolapse anus? Yeah, it's, you know, it's the only word that comes to mind now. So. Prolapsed jelly anus. Yeah. That's what it is. Just, just alter the words. Alright. Okay. Bad the roll icon save. A save. Prism crystal here. I'm gonna put that back on the DM desk. Beth. Beth. I oh, yeah, should add her things. Oh. Okay, that's from pre-level up. Oh, I kept yeah. everything for mine. It even has the anti-ship rifle. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, cause I, cause I, uh. Because I went back, grabbed that one bit of information from Bess, and then threw it back on the current table. Con wow. save is plus four, so that's an 18. 18, okay. You stave off another point of exhaustion. Oh. <sighs> you got two more saves to pass, lady. But yeah, that's about that's it about me. You know, smithy rat, creating oh my, my own God. family. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and I just, Im I just imagine yeah. that... Uh -huh. uh, that what what's his face? Pon Shen has has already heard this story once over. Yes, this is his second time. <laughs> and as, as as you hear Shin say, it's even more interesting the second time you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just imagine he's like, yeah, yeah. Here's here's the part where it's just like, oh no, we were too poor, we couldn't afford this. Oh no. As Whitebeard goes, <laughs> what'd you say the, the name of your father was? Oh, uh, I don't remember the name. Oh, the blacksmith? Oh, that was... What was the name of my, my blacksmith? God damn it. <laughs> what? You had one job. <laughs> I never wrote it down, man. It was like Yuil or something like that. That's your backstory. Mir. 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 I knew it started with a, a in, in Mir. Rumbling. <laughs> yeah, he's a real piece of work. Apparently, he did it on a bunch of different islands to a bunch of different little girls. Kind of weird, I guess. It sounds even weirder when you word it like that. Yeah. Yeah, toss another stone. Weird guy. Not a good guy either. Terrible guy. Isn't like if I ever see him again, it's on sight, I guess. It's on sight. <laughs> as my as my beard goes. You really like that phrase, I and mean, you talked about the all the people from the first in the village you're from, and you kept you said that all of them were on site too. <laughs> yeah, and again, the not good people. On it's on site. 
Jesus. And then the next on site. <laughs> as, as, as Shane goes, is just everybody on site? No, no, if just people have... that I don't like. You guys aren't on site. <laughs> is that even me? As, <laughs> wait, he goes, oh, good. I was getting worried for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Based. She's just she's this young lady surrounded by two fucking boomers, and she's just like casually like threatening them. It's on sight, white beard. It's on sight, move. <laughs> okay, uh, you got anything you guys would like to do for an hour before Alan returns? Um, hey, law, hey, Barbados, you know, um. You remember that one thing you mentioned very quickly after being, you know, your backstory kind of thing. I think someone in your backstory could help out with that. I'm trying oh. to dodge around. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, if you want. It's well, a little bit of a risk. Okay. Because but... uh, the dog is kind of close. I'm going to like kind of like grab you and like pull you over to a little bit of a corner. Um, I'm not sure how close he is to, to Andros right now. So I, I I'm worried about calling him and risk blowing his cover. You don't you wouldn't I mean yeah with I your, wouldn't call him with your resources you don't you don't know maybe if they're together or they're not I don't know uh, no idea I, well actually I have keen mind I remember what Jacob said you remember verbatim that uh, Jacob had said that Hazmat had arrived with Andros uh, that's what I say okay okay. I can try something risky to get me in contact with Andros, but I, I'm not sure if I'll be back in exactly an hour, which will be I don't I don't want to miss risking the timing. What I could do is I if you can you couldn't impersonate. So did he tell me that he got the information from someone he interrogated or no? What? How much did you tell me about that? I just told you what I know about Andros and Hazmat. Um, well, there there isn't a chance that I could call Hazmat and you could perhaps, you know, pretend to be somebody else reporting into him in case Andros is near. I think they have been memorized. Yeah, I, I, I want to say, you know, Andros kind of memorized who I am and what I'm about. Right, but he wouldn't know that you'd be able to change your voice. I can't really change my voice. The teach thing was just a fluke. Mm. It's not like a consistent thing. I've, <laughs> I've never practiced like, my voice I, acting. It was weird. I was just really good at that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean... You look like a new teach again. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, do you want to try calling in? Oh, because if it would be suspicious, you wouldn't just be calling Andros. How do I get in contact with Hazmat without blowing Hazmat's cover? Um, I don't know. I am personally of the belief, you know, maybe not to contact him. It would be useful to know what I he mean, knows, but... Uh, I mean, you were... Uh, okay. Hmm. I have expended everything I can possibly do. Oh my gosh. Okay, look... I'll be back. Um, I'll, I'm going to be going as fast as I can. I'm going to try to be back in an hour. Um, and, and then what are you going to do? Um, I met with Hazmat the other day and started my year-long plan. Didn't know that was going to be accelerated by 364 days. So I need to go That's back. Expected. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I need to run back to my room and... I have a copy of his armor. I can look exactly like him. So I'm thinking I can run into town, find uh, if Andros and him are together, maybe I can get near their ship and ping, uh, get get Hazmat's attention without necessarily attracting Andros's. If I'm being honest with you, Odd, it's a very low chance that Andros doesn't keep a law, or not law, a Hazmat on a tight leash. Uh, what you can you have to let that ship sail? I mean, you brought it up. I did. You know, I'm just telling you. 
because mm. it was a plan it was an idea that came to my head as well okay well this actually isn't terrible for us because if hazmat is with him at all times and hazmat my, hazmat might arrive with andros so if he arrives and you know i i could give him some kind of signal letting him know that we're going to betray him i mean you know um i think that's probably the best we got at this time i will say just me and you um how much from those docs do i know about the module in his eye square wheel connected uh the main amount that you know it, it doesn't give any specifics just you know that there is something referenced but you're missing the reference doc if it's possible, I think that there's some information that I really need to get from Andros. So if it's possible for us to, you know, keep this facade up long enough to hopefully get these marks removed and get the information. I think that depends if we can get one, get uh, Marco here two get him to agree to the second part of becoming bait. Uh, why is Farley rolling? Getting the one out the way. Yep, based. He's doing his level up. Oh. <laughs> no. Based? <laughs> there you go. I know, proud of you. Uh, what was I saying? That completely caught me off guard. <laughs> um, it depends on the two things you're playing, Rico and Marco. Oh, uh, if Marco can agree to the other part, and then... I don't know if those things are sentient, but if, the, if that thing can agree to the other part as well... Um, do we know where Marco is? We could send someone to be an in-between, go get uh, him. Oh, Captain has the, uh, Captain has the only transponder snail of Thatch. So we could call the Captain, ask her to call Thatch, ask Marco to make his way here very, very, very stealthily, and hopefully being able to hide his hockey signature or something. I mean, if, if Andros could find his hockey signature, he would have just found him and killed him, right? Oh... I mean, I don't want Andros to sense his hockey signature on the ship and it, like think, oh, the plan is just to go and try to trigger it now. That's but, true. We, we might have to actually use the real Marco as bait, who won't know anything. And that sounds very bad. You understand you understand if Whitebeard arrives and we're responsible for Marco's actual death, like no, no, no. What I'm saying is that Marco won't know uh, how the plan is actually operating until the very last moment when they're switched in. Right, but like, what if Andros actually like instantly kills him with his like? Yeah, that's, that's always possible. Uh, then but yeah, we do need Marco here to at least know what's going on. I, uh, as risky as it is, I think we contact before. Uh, you don't. You didn't tell me that. Uh, but f I guess call the captain again and relay that information. So maybe she can call Thatch, get Marco to make his way here very, very, very stealthily. I think as soon as he makes his way here, it'll be bad. He would need to meet somebody around at a different location, and then uh... have them discuss the plan with them, which would. Funny enough, you know, I just love irony sometimes because it really knows how to kick me in the dick. The best person for that is Alwyn. That's that isn't that funny, Law? <laughs> so on the coffee run, while he's doing that, he can meet with man. He's got a hell of a coffee run coming up. I don't think that's the problem. The problem is how much he doesn't trust Alwyn. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't even put that together. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mm. That's why I said irony likes to kick us in the dick sometimes. Look, I don't know if that'll work. Uh... He would be the only one who can outside inform him of what's going on. Quick enough. And concise enough. I look over at like... Okay, uh, alright, alright. I'll... Do, do we even know where... Okay. What if we have the captain call Thatch, ask them for their location... Then I'll I'll write some kind of coded letter, and Alwyn can just throw it through their open window or something. Okay, that's so that... assuming. Okay, I need you to remember. Okay, you know Marco isn't like he's not the smartest. 
okay, I'm not gonna make it like I was okay, fine, I won't make it coded. Yeah, I'll just it's only gonna just, be two ciphers. Yeah. Okay, we'll just write I'll just write a normal letter, I guess, and make it boring since you wanna suck the you you, you suck more than devil fruit, don't you? You just suck all the fun out of everything. No, I'm a realist kind of no, guy. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, yeah, so I guess I guess we can write them well, I kind of, uh, yeah, we can write him a letter detailing our entire plan and have Alwyn throw that um, through their open window once they tell us their location. Um, actually, I'm thinking I'm about it. Double saving throws. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm thinking about it, thinking about it. If we call Captain, Whitebeard is quite literally right next to, right, right next to her. Uh-huh. And we did explain the whole thing to Whitebeard. Yeah. Who can probably uh, you can't tell uh, saving throws. It's only the skills that you have. Yeah, you know, actually, hold on. I guess I don't comprehend what skills are. Skills are, are the ones that are not the saving throws. So, like, medicine inside those things. Okay. I'll keep thinking. I'll call Captain again. Oh. Better, 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 Mr. Whitebeard, sir, is there any chance you could let Marco and Thatch in on what's going on? We just remembered they have no clue. Ah, well, I can just call them. No, I don't think that's a good idea, Captain. What? Well, why a not? A secure line. Like, like a more secure line is necessary. More secure than my direct line to Thatch? Oh, it's yeah. direct. Yeah. I didn't know it was direct, Captain. Yeah, I have I have a specific snail tooth thatch that he gave me a long time well, ago. Well, he has a free hand. I was just thinking, you know, Whitebeard could do it. That way you can do your thing. I, I can multitask? That requires one You just want me to call shin. that? You just, you, you call, you... Mm -hmm. I'm just, just saying, okay, whatever. How do you think I answered the phone? I assume yeah, someone's I holding the phone for you, actually. That's what I thought. Oh. No, they're just not. They're just going slow as fuck right now. Just every time she's on the phone, she's just they're just slowing down their method of travel. Yeah, yeah Captain, and... I think Whitebeard should do it. No, I can just put it on the ground or on the. No, on I the... I say that because you know that's you know that's his captain. Oh, but I want to help. You're already Captain. I already told you you're the biggest piece of this. Mm, whatever. <laughs> what do you want us to tell him? Just, you know, the whole thing going on. And to uh, not immediately aggro us when this happens. Or at least make it look convincing. So wait. We want Marco to run that by me again? <laughs> That's the energy you're giving off, Captain. Uh, uh, look. Marco's not gonna know what's going on. And it's gonna look like we betrayed him. It's gonna look really bad. I don't see... I don't. Marco's not gonna listen to a thing that we have to say. That's why Whitebeard does it. Whitebeard's next to you, Captain. I, you know, <laughs> I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I'm but... honestly skeptical if he's gonna listen to Whitebeard either way, which is what I'm trying to tell what? you. Okay, okay, I don't pops, White... Mr. Whitebeard, she is. Marco mean it. really Mr. doesn't like us. She's not challenging your authority. She doesn't mean it. That's not what he I mean. It. Shut up, both of you. Listen, okay, I just mean that a... Marco does not like us at all, so I don't think you, he would trust you, you anything white about it. Say to you, Captain, he goes, your crew doesn't really seem to trust you that much. No, they really don't. I'm keeping we're a trusting, strike list. We're trusting her with our literal lives right now, sir. And just see, literal see how, lives. See how well it goes? Just, just decide what you're going to you, decide. You hear Whitebeard say, We'll be fine, and then he hangs up it for you. Oh, I will get off well, now. I'm sweating. <laughs> you know, it's at least I have a really big gun to shoot myself with. 
You know, Thatch, he, Thatch told me that bullet. I should start paying my crew uh, because yeah, they'd respect uh, hey, me more you know, if I paid them. I start paying them more, and then they ask for more money for, like, a finder's fee. So I give <laughs> them the finder's fee, and it, I just, I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You give, it, you, give, you give an inch, they take a mile. <laughs> yeah, it's just... No, I, you got to remember, uh, he's an enabler. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm just doing that's my best funny. to make the family happy. It's funny because he's a boomer, so of course he'd think that's like, I no, know. yeah, you're right, Captain. No, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent, yeah. These millennials, they think they deserve more he's than. He's wiped. He pulls out it, the, the it, in his hand at the tiniest transponder snail. Aww. It's because he's so fucking massive. <laughs> It actually, it actually looks like uh, it, it. It looks very similar to Marco, as you just hear. Better, 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 better. He has a oh, yeah. pack. The top of his eight pack look like Marco. He's holding it in like two fingers, and you hear, uh, "Yes, sir." Yes, daddy. <laughs> Almost. Grandpa. Grandpa. Then, uh, Sensei. Whitebeard Master says, Nunchuk. "I'm on my way to the world market with the." Uh, Captain of the One-Eyed Pirates, and he looks over and a guest. Hi, Marco. I call up. Throw the throw the stone. <laughs> Double medicine again. That would be the apex you can hit of it, Daniel. Mastery in medicine. <laughs> oh, you can get expertise in the same thing again. Yes, that's the matter. Jesus Christ! Can I can I do that instead of doing my perception? And put it back yeah, right? need. Yes. <laughs> I can't Ooh, believe yes. you. <laughs> you can roll a one and probably save someone's life. I can bring people Actually, back yeah. from the dead at this point. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Missing arm? Yeah, I can fix it. <laughs> in, 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 instead of literally anything, anything, it's just like I heal him. <laughs> yeah, I just, okay, okay, I'm not gonna argue. Okay. His, uh, it, Captain Andros has a, gamer uh, energy. Uh, Doc has healing aura. Uh, Jesus uh, energy. Uh, DM, uh, DM, Andros is alive. I'd like to heal him until he dies. Yeah, sure. I mean, he rolled a 72 to heal. Oh, it's him. like redo of healer. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. It's Hog. like Risa from. Uh, uh, I don't even remember the name of that webtoon. Never mind. Nope, redo of healer. Uh, Do we really get a you... beat? Yeah, level yes, ten, we get yeah, a beat. Ten. Wow. You. I took skill you, expert. You... So Whitebeard begins to tell Marco. Uh, from what you guys said, the entire plan, which Whitebeard has not been informed of. So Captain, what do you know of the plan? I told all of them. I I made sure specific specifically say Whitebeard knows as well. That's okay. very well, true. He he tell I was not paying attention. I could the, not read I can't okay, make heads or tails of this argument. plan. We yeah, did the we fill him in type thing to say. Okay, okay. So Whitebeard does the same to Marco. Perfect. Okay. So I have no idea what the plan is at this Marco, point. Marco Marco is now a currently aware of the plan. I can't believe you thought that you wouldn't listen to Pops, lady. That, no, yeah. that that Marco wouldn't listen to anybody. That man's britches are so big, I'm surprised he could fit in them. Insubordinate and churlish. Churlish. Uh, yeah, <laughs> never Mar Marco, heard that Marco. word used in real life. <laughs> as uh, as Whitebeard also says, he goes, he goes, and we'll be listening to the orders of these one-eyed pirates, unless I don't feel like it. Of Ooh. course, sir. Whatever you, whatever you say, sir. Hey, okay, whatever you need. <laughs> no, he says, he says that to Marco, and Marco goes, uh, of course, of course, we'll listen to everything they have to say. And then Whitebeard just just hangs up. Rowena Whitebeard, just cackles a little. Whitebeard goes, you know, it seemed like your crew doesn't really trust me either. What? what? No, Captain was the one saying that. No, Pops, that's n that could never no, be he, true. He's being an asshole. Oh. He's, fu he's fucking with her. <laughs> Pops, no, please. We, we love you. Pops, we would trust you with our lives. Daddy, please love us. <laughs> yeah. he, just gives you, he gives you that, that big old smile, and you hear smile. Pops, it's an honor to fly your, your signature flag <laughs> under <laughs> ours. What do you mean under? It's gonna last. Oh. All right, you guys continue on. Alwyn, 
He has gotten the coffee. It has cost him. Real quick, I want to trauma dump everything that oh, happened. Oh yeah, do, do Barbados and I need uh, rolls on saves for staying up wow. all night? Okay. Uh, we'll true. get to that. Okay. I don't think you want to do that, but okay. Also, uh, um, I did. Also, Al. I, I said I want to get a spyglass and umbrella as well. Oh right, yeah. Okay, so he's out. Six million berries. God damn it. That's pricey stuff. Oh my god, heart attack. Inflation really sucks dick, dude. Exponential inflation, too, so the best kind. Damn you, Schneiden. <laughs> and we did also ask for the Rico thing. So. Yep, I'm getting that right now. Rico problem. Alright, returning to the ship. You guys, you guys hear on the deck footsteps. All right. Yeah, I hear that this time. You know, I think yeah, I'll let's check go it. check. Let's, let's actually yeah, check yeah. it out. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Let's go. You guys arrive, and you see, uh, you see Rico is kind of just uh, looking around, hands in his pockets, kind of just like bouncing on his heels. As Alwyn has like the Starbucks thing of drinks, and in the other hand, he has like the other stuff. Hmm. I'll take. I'll take two actually and now yeah. you guys roll your con saves okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, yeah. at disadvantage because you guys have been hardcore training is it just one con save or i want at disadvantage let's see oh 12 <sighs> all right well highest roll is and 19 10. so 16 oh, 16 i'm tired okay. Uh, Law, you are not you're in, you're not exhausted, Barbados. You are exhausted. Ooh. Yeah, I got my page. Like, I'm still gonna page. drink that coffee. I wonder what's gonna happen. W, w is page. W is page. To me. Ooh, Kenzo and Gerald. No fucking problems. Wow, they just powered through. Double nat twenties. What's the chew? Uh, this one is Brooke. Can Brooke get exhausted? Yes, but he That's has a lower DC. He's fine. We'll Dude, everybody's gonna get tasted or something. So yeah, nice. the only person exhausted so far is Barbados. And me. And the captain. I'll go up to Alwyn. I'll grab two coffees. Okay. And I'll place one in suspended animation in my darkness. So it'll Ooh, stay hot. smart. Very nice. Uh, looking at the cups, they're like the fancy Starbucks looking cups. They have Gustav's written and looks like a, like black and golden ink. Mm. And like a fancy oh. cursive signature. Uh, I will grab one. I'll also okay. take the umbrella I asked and the uh, the uh, the spyglass, the nice right. spyglass. You have received a generic umbrella and a spyglass. As Alwyn says, you wouldn't believe how much that cost. Uh, I'd imagine someplace in the millions. Okay, maybe you would believe it. Uh. Yeah, so I'll drink the coffee. What does that do with not exhausted? Uh, roll a con save. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. That's, that's not what I said. That's going to make you pretty hyper. Fucked up. That was almost a nat 20, but that's a uh, 9. Uh-oh. Uh, 9, you feel extremely energized. Uh, whenever you roll to take an action for the next hour... You will have to roll a d20 on, and on less than a 10, you're too hyperactive and cannot accomplish the task. Oh my god. You done Look. fucked up. Look at what you I did. didn't know that. Okay. Um, I'll drink my coffee then. Yeah. You, you It removes your exhaustion. You feel refreshed. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be And greedy. by drink, I mean I just ate the cup. Yeah, That's you, you just disgusting. crunch it. You nasty. Um, well, before you do your business, because I... I I just thought of this. Uh, Rico. Hi there, bud. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Hey, mind if we get out of the Ooh. rain? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, Come on we'll, down. Yeah. <sighs> hey, uh, let's go all the way to the bottom over here. Yeah, okay. space. Hey, Rico, uh, just a quick question. Before, just a small thing while you get the real business, uh, uh, before you get the real business done. Um, I'm actually running low on ammunition. Uh, do you think you can uh, just make a, you know, twelve copies of this or something? And I'll, you know, how I'll run me how much it costs, and I'm gonna pull out the big bullet that Gerald just made. Mm. Okay. Uh, the big bullet. He looks at it and says, 
Hey, copy in this. Cost you about. We'll say a hundred thousand per bullet. Okay. Um, in oh, that case. Million. Yeah, let's see how much I have. Yeah, in that case, uh, uh, I'll I'll make ten for ten million, right? Ten? That would be a that'd be one million. million. Ten would be fifty-one million. Oh, to copy it once. Just would be one million. Yeah, one million. Yeah, it's a hundred thousand per bullet. So ten yeah. would be one million. Yeah. Okay. Then. Okay. Then I'll. I'm. I'm terrible at math, dude. Um, <laughs> Plus two is question, four. Dude. Minus one. That's okay. quick math. Then, then yeah, yeah, I'll get. Question? I'll get ten for a million. Okay. He spawns ten of them. All right. I know I'm making a secondary character page on Word document since Joseph wants to W my page. <laughs> Every time that that fail. I'm so it's always best page. It's it so really cool. is. So I'm gonna start keeping my own separate character page in a word document with everything <laughs> written down. Maybe uh, I should do that. Let me let me open up eight different word documents. <laughs> After that, I took a screen cap of words. my character page. Let me ask Rico. Hey Rico, theoretically, how much would you charge to uh you know copy a whole person? Oh. Mm -hmm. you, you see Rico kind of looks around and he says like, okay, okay. Hey, hey, are any of you cops? No. No. Wait, I mean, okay, okay, good. Because, you know, you got to tell me if you're a cop. That's right. That's the rule. <laughs> that's 100% the rule. What the fuck? How does he know this? <laughs> hey, he goes, oh, okay, good. He's like, well, it's technically in my contract with the world government to not copy people, but you know, I mean, run you about run you about about ten million a person. Yeah, we only need the one person copied, and they're not quite here yet. Any chance we can, you know, hold you off just a just a little bit? We can make it worth your worth your while. Maybe sweeten yeah. the pot, double the offer. Or, I mean, if you're busy, you could just make a clone of yourself to wait here while you go do what you need to do. <laughs> Is that what? Uh, he goes, uh, he goes, actually, hey, hey, you mind let me see that big bullet of yours? Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. And I'll hand him uh, one of the ones he made. He makes a copy of it and he puts it in his pocket and he goes, yeah, I don't mind waiting around. Uh, okay, what was that for? Uh, he's just stealing Gerald's hard work and dedication is all. True. <laughs> Actually, very true. He, he just stole the patent. Oh, I'm, Jerome, so sorry. I didn't know he's that. not here to see it right Some, now. I still have eleven, right? Somewhere up in the he, atmosphere. He gives you back the eleven. He he just made another copy and put it in his pocket. Oh, Jerome, so he doesn't have the gun. I'll never let him touch the fucking gun. Some, somewhere there's a bald man with a smiling box, <laughs> smiling very very happy right oh, now. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, so while you're waiting around, we're just waiting. I mean, do you need him to clone anything of yours, uh, uh, Barbados? Because I'm kind of like looking through my stuff right now. Um. I guess I spoke to a Rico. You probably have been in mass production of these things, but after the last conversation I had with a Rico, uh, I got this. Uh, I just slightly open up the darkness and pull out the death charge. I got this okay. death charge here. Rico looks at it and says, he says, Oh, I see you're a fine procurer of the Super Rico depth charge. No, no, no. I'm the one who gave the original one to a Rico. To I mean, looking at this, this looks like a Super Rico depth charge. No, I know. I met the Rico on the Long Leg Island, and, you know, this was part of We had an exchange. And, you know, he Yeah, decided... and the exchange it looks like he gave you a Super Rico a death charge. Mega death no, charge. I gave him one, and he gave me some posters. Uh oh. Yeah, uh, really. Hey, I mean, I mean, you know, you can believe whatever you want. I'm not here to argue with you. Yeah, you know, these are legally different than the Super Rico death charge, though. Mm, I don't know about that. There's a difference, you know. Yeah, this we don't have time to go over the schematics of them, though. Uh, can you <laughs> they give me like an, another five of these? And he looks at it and says, "Well, you know, because it's legally distinct, you know." I don't really want to have to be breaking your know, international copyright laws, and I mean, you know, it's gonna. I mean, it's well, the it's same as a fucking well, super. It's technically rico. more illegal, you know. You gotta, we got, you know, I gotta run a business here, so you know, I gotta charge what? a bit extra. What do you, know? you want? 
I will go a million berries for one. So five. Oh, and how much is left? Now it says I have a six million of your berries and hold on, let me put my pocket books real quick. Yes. Is that one broke actually? <laughs> I have six million of yours and I have uh twelve million of my own. I haven't spent any yet. Yeah, just give me the five. I'll and... give him the money. Give him a little tip too. Tip him twenty five percent. Okay, he gives him as much in Rico spawns. He he just kinda grabs it in your darkness, you open another pocket, he just spawns five more. Thank you, sir. For these yeah, legally does. distinct depth charges that do not at all resemble the Super Rico depth charge. He goes, and what a shame that is, because, you know, the Super Rico depth charges, we only cut, wait, they, we only charge about 100,000 for. You know, that's great. Okay, that is fantastic. Yeah, um, actually, while we're, while we're at it, uh, I would love to purchase, you don't have some Super Rico depth charges, like, on you that I could, no, of course you don't, because you already have them on there. You know, that was a dumb question that I realized after I asked it, you know, anyway. Um, he actually looks at you and says, he's, he's well, oh, hold on, he says, hold on now, we, I mean, I mean, I can make some. Like, like right, right here, now. right now? Yeah, 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 right now. Yeah, if you spawn five more, I'll pay you like a hundred. I'm gonna, I'll pay you another million. That's double what five is worth, right? You're making a profit. Yeah, he kind of looks at you, Barbados, and kind of, kind of motions for you to open the pocket back up. I open it back up. He spawns five more, but you see him. You see him turn around. And go, oh, hold on! All you guys turn around. Trade secrets. Uh, mm -hmm. My eyes are closed. Yep, I turn around. Alwyn does the same. Hey, you guys gonna he turns back around and are well, you guys gonna look at him or no? I'll look at yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I wanna look at him. Roll a perception check. Okay. Can I roll investigation instead, like using it's observation funny. hockey? No, because you're because you're looking, not as a uh, as a twenty six. You guys should uh, mention that Captain has a sticker on it. Rewards as member 13. card. You <laughs> see him numbers. pull out from his breast pocket a uh, Super Rico Mega Mart brand sticker and just I knew it. it. Charge. God uh, damn it. So, but we now we have twelve in total, right? He <laughs> Rico then turns around and says, "And there you go, some Super Rico Mega Mart brand depth charges." Wow. So we had the five that you cloned of the two that we had, and then five more that you just made. So we should have 12 in total, right, Barbados? That should be it, yeah. Okay. Uh, you, got, with... you got seven off-brand ones and then five on-brand mm -hmm. ones. With that out of the way, Rico, um, do you think you could clone... Uh, if, if you touch the outside of a... a a container can you clone the what's inside of it like you know a bottle of water or a flask of water okay could you do that with poison and replicate the poison perfectly he uh, kind of looks kind of looks at it and says yeah it's it's weird T technically no how much money to turn that into a technically yes uh, oh. an infinite amount of money because I can't. Oh. Beast. Also, well, I just need you to remember that this guy might have requisitioned uh, all of Gerald's hard work. Well, I, okay. Well, you want, what do you want me to do about it? I, no, no, no. I'm saying I'm just looking at Rico. I'm saying like widening my eyes. Oh! Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I'm not done. Um... Um, I'm also, okay, let's see. Uh, okay, then, yeah, can you replicate this uh, uh, black iron I have? And I have five pounds of black iron. I'd like him to just double that. He goes, yeah, yeah, sure, uh, 250,000. Okay, so that puts me to 210. He spawns five more pounds of it and says, <sighs> man, we should really do these, these at-home visits more often, way more profitable. Yeah, uh, so, I, 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 did I get the implication, just in meta, did I get the implication right, do you want me to, do you want to fucking kill this Rico so he doesn't steal Gerald's hard work? No. Oh, then what did you want, what did you mean by that? No, I was trying, out of meta, I'm not telling this out loud, 
uh, you're gonna give him a poison that he could, if he were able to replicate oh. it, would just be mass producing deadly poison. Yeah, but like, who cares? Super I, I, Rico Mega Mart brand poison. Yeah, but I need the poison, so fuck it. I don't care. Okay, well, I think that's all we need until Marco gets here. So, I guess we're just. I'm gonna go hang out with Kenzo, I guess, while you guys do your stuff up here. So I don't have any more business with it, uh, Rico. <laughs> yeah, they they come in twos. Good. Uh, uh, you get up there. You walk into the captain's quarters. Uh, you notice that Kenzo is just laying there next to Hoshiko, and he just appears to be just kind of relaxing. Um, I I don't want to interrupt that. I'll just leave, and I'll I'll probably just go back to the deck. But I'll just kind of like it's still rainy up there. <clears throat> I wish it wasn't it is, raining. It is storming very bad. Uh, how long until the captain gets here? Like an hour, thirty minutes. Uh, yeah, about an hour. Um, Which I guess actually, like... uh, let me roll a let me roll a stealth check real quick. I also found out that with my observant feet, um, as I'm reading through all of this, um, yeah, I can read lips. I knew that part though. What was it? It was something that I just saw. It wasn't observant feet. What was it? Damn. Oh no, it was my smithkin thing. I've been rolling my con and my wisdom stuff wrong because I get I can add my proficiency bonus to them. Ooh, that's good. Ah. If I can find where I just read it from. Are you fucking kidding me? A nat one. Oh, it's my strength of the forge. In addition, you can add half your proficiency bonus rounded up to any strength or constitution check you make that doesn't already use your proficiency bonus. What are we here, Trevor? You guys here? Actually, no, Cyrus, not with them. You hear footsteps hit the deck of the ship. Yeah, like okay. just as I just as I was about to say something to uh, yeah, yeah. Kenzo, I hear something and I'll yeah. run up. And I look up, and I'm like, we still don't have anyone on watch. I'm just, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll dash upstairs. Yeah, we need you guys get up good. there. You see, Marco and Thatch have just landed. Do you like my name? The flames on Marco are just kind of going out as the rain is oh, heavily hitting him. Oh, okay, good. Come on, uh, the cargo bay is kind of the meeting room. Wait a second. I actually think it might be better to meet out here. Are you hungry? What? Are you hungry? I think Are... his hockey signature might be displaced by the rain. Mm, um, let me do a radius check. Has Andros moved at all? He has not moved. I mean, yeah, if you want to talk out here, I guess, uh, if you're more comfortable with that, Barbados. I look at them and I say, uh, gentlemen, if you don't mind, I can, uh, uh, Deafen all this noise. If, just give me a second. Uh, as you do, as you're saying that, that just if you don't mind. All right, the darkness is surrounding you now. I assume uh, Whitebeard has informed you of what's going on. Uh, Marco just kind of, kind of looks at you and says, "Yeah, pops informed me what the plan is." As much as we had our differences, Phoenix. Don't want to see you die. The Whitebeard pirates have been kind to us. And they are our friends at the end of the day, regardless of tensions. He looks at you and says, I guess this wouldn't be the first time I've had to work with world government dogs. <sighs> I'm ignoring that part. As I say, for this to go off without a hitch, we're going to need... Well, I guess there's no easy way to say this. We're going to need you cloned, Marco. But what, uh... Are you familiar with Rico? The warlord of the sea? Yeah, we have him downstairs. At least one of him. 
and he is willing to uh, duplicate you. Uh, Marco says, uh, "The idea, fine. yeah." Cops wants it done. Fine. Good. It was the only way to make the bait. And work. this is the second uncomfortable part. You're gonna need to hang out inside of me. Oh, you didn't tell me that part, Barbados. Well, I mean, he could do that. He could also just stay below deck while this happens. Uh, the his, other? his hockey you, signature you can... would give him away. We'd have to give him away. We'd have to put him where the captain and uh, Whitebeard are. So we could, uh, if, we should at least well, take then... him out to dinner first. <laughs> well, Jesus. so. <laughs> So, uh, Phoenix, if you want the best chance at getting an Android... Call. That's not that's a disrespectful oh, oh, way of calling Oh, it. I didn't know that. Okay, uh, <laughs> Marco. Um, I guess Barbados would correct me like, oh, I didn't mean uh, Marco. Sorry, I thought that was like what you were... My bad. Um, Marco, uh, if you want the quickest and easiest shot at Andros, uh, that would be the way. The other way to get you out of his range of seeing your hockey signature for this bait to work would be to go all the way to where the captain and Whitebeard are going to be waiting, but... You know, she'll have to switch switch you on the next round. You know, the next not that's matter. The next her next go around. You know, and then you would have to wait. You might not get a crack at him. And uh, going at his, you know, I don't know if that's ego exactly, but you know what I mean. Marco says, "No, we'll follow the plan you got." Pops was very clear about us following what you said. Oh wow, this is easier than I thought. Since I am, you'll need to stay very still, Marco, for this part. And since I have control of my inner pockets, I'm going to make sure to shift him very, very, very much far away from where Gronk's body is and Astrid's body is. Like infinitely far away. Ah, good. That's very smart. You were about to get caught on that. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Okay. You... You should, if we're going to go, like, it's shifted towards your shoe where he's going more to your chest. Yeah. And, like, a dimension in your body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll yeah, say we'll take you to, uh, I, I'm, I'm speaking into my coat. We're going to take you to, uh, to Rico, and he's going to hopefully make a clone who I think will be... I actually don't know how this part's gonna work, but hopefully they're you know able to be down with this plan. Uh, well, I don't know. I, yeah, we'll know. see. We'll see. Just make you sure would, you don't move. You would think I'd have some input being a clone, but I don't really know how much I differ from the original. So, how many? How much time is left until the plan? What, like forty-five minutes? Holy shit! We're that close already. Oh man. Ah. Uh. Captain, roll another con save. Okay. It's a con save. Hold yeah, on. We're I gotta really, walk we're back really in on the home stretch. Walk, 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 walk. Daniel hasn't eaten dinner yet, so I was gonna make him something to eat. You didn't order him wings? No, I didn't order She's myself dead. rings. I got myself pasta. But he wasn't texting me back, so I didn't order him nothing. That and I gets. haven't gotten paid yet. You get what you fucking deserve. That's what I'm saying. Who was the one who said that? Was that like a Valen line? That's that a Joker. Like a line. No, that, that's, that's a, a Joker line. line. Joker. Okay. So, no, I know that. Okay, I just so feel like it's not like a character. So that. Just Joaquin off. Phoenix stole that from our campaign. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's 24. Okay. With that, you will actually arrive early. Oh. Look at me go, friends. Don't forget, I told them there's a marked building. So I'm going to go downstairs, all the way to the cargo. I'm going to look at Gerald. You guys should be with me, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to look at in Gerald. The and ah. I'm going to say, hey, Gerald, you're going to have to go out and find the perfect lookout spot. One that overlooks and gives you good line of sight. The crow's nest. The LOS. <laughs> no, I mean like another building. Oh. There is. To you shoot guys are, the gun? Remember, you guys are in a cove near a forest. Yeah. Oh. I said, to... you guys, remember, did this, you guys are away from the main town. Okay. I thought we were still parked by other ships. No, yeah. No. A actually, that's perfect. Gerald, go post up in the woods where you can have a clear line of shot on the ship or anything near the cove. Like, you need to be overlooking the cove. 
That's where this battle is going to take place. Okay. Uh, and and take the gun, and that's that's why I guess we'll we're in, we'll instruct the captain. Wait a and second, we're not yeah. completely done because he needs a way to alert the captain of where his position is. Well, I thought we were just going to tell the captain where he was. Well, no, we said there would be a marked location that she needs to go to. Oh, okay, then yeah, do that, do that. Do that. Oh. How do we do that is the question. Hmm, do we have like a flare of some sort? Oh, Doc. Doc is proficient in uh, fireworks. I remember that. Daniel says that's right. That's right. Uh, Doc, I need you to make a uh, Basically a smoke flare. I'll Doc, go up they the need air. you. I'm going to give Daniel the headset. Here you go. Hello, friends. Hello, Doc. Hello, Barbados. Gonna or is it you your brother? Me. I can never no, tell. It's just me. <laughs> Man, he's really tired. <laughs> I just, I'm just going to need you to make a, a smoke flare that'll go out. A smoke flare? Does that really count as fireworks? Yes. That's explosive. Uh, I'll say that if you can make a firework, you can make a smoke flare. Okay. Based. Yeah, it's that's kinda, not it's a problem. Like, it's like just going down in terms of difficulty, so yeah. But but you should know that I need to be present to ignite the, the ash itself. Yeah, you'll you'll go with uh, Gerald. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem. Also heavy rain storm, by the way. It also is heavy. heavy rain. <laughs> Give me the umbrella. <laughs> No, I need the umbrella. No, give him the umbrella. I need it for fucking Marco's clone. Why do you need it for Marco's clone? Because I don't know what the rain will do to a fucking clone. I think the rain will fucking kill him? He has 1 HP, and it's the devil oh. fruit. Pepper. Okay, what if we make an agreement with Rico that if the rain instantly kills the clone... You know, how about... Hey, Rico, could you clone this umbrella? <laughs> Rico, let's do it. Man, it sounds like you really need that umbrella pretty bad, huh? <laughs> Okay, or we'll make a, 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 a deal yes. with you. If you make a Rico clone and it instantly pops to rain, you have to make us another one free of charge. What? If he makes a Marco clone and it pops to rain, he has to make another one free of charge that we can like we can go test it right now. How about if we it... just give him the umbrella? Because that's going to cost more money. Oh, who cares? Money's a... That's not an important resource right now, Law. Fair. <laughs> just, I'm just... <sighs> It's impractical. Is it? it is it's it? quite literally the design of an umbrella. Are they shouting yeah. about a rain? About a whatever. So, yeah, you, you, uh, you actually see Brooke rain. kind of pokes his head out the door and says, uh, "Do we still need to be in here?" Oh, um, actually, yeah, you can bring him out. Yeah, yeah I, I need an umbrella. No, you don't need an umbrella. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, can you clone this umbrella? How much Thank is you. that gonna run up? Back, you can hear us. Oh, well, you know, I've already been out here this long, so it's going to be an overtime charge. That's all right. What's an extra fee on doing that? Just and give then, me a, a then, there's a, then there's a selling world market umbrella tax you got to add in. What is an umbrella? It's, uh, it's going to come out. It's going to come out to be about about a, about a million berries, give or take. I think Tell you're taking him that advantage. Captain is a loyalty member. <laughs> I don't hey, it's okay. I can enter this Sam's Club. My mom's a member. That's what I'm saying. Does it help if our captain's a loyalty member? Who's your captain? Do you have documentation to prove no. it? No, no, I don't. I need to put it on the ship and leave it in like a public document area for everyone to take. <laughs> it. Put a, uh, I'll just, wall. I'll yeah. just hand him the million that I have. It's fine. Please clone the umbrella. Oh, thank you. He clones the umbrella. <laughs> and also clone Marco, please. That'd be 10 million berries. If you can really make this work, Rico, we'll give you 20. Oh, all right. He, he grabs Marco. And and he says, he says, I hope you're consenting to this and clones him. <laughs> Rico, all right. Marco said, I hope. All right, real Marco, get in the pocket. <laughs> you mean... Yeah, Marco, come on, get back in the pocket that you're already in. Uh, both Marcos sigh at the same time. The one on and the it, left. And uh, then, they, then they glare at each other. <laughs> oh, you're both pretty. Two of them. As Marco hops in the pocket. All right. All right, other Marco, I guess 
you have the memories of other Marco, real, yeah, the other Marco. So I guess you know what's going on. He goes, Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm going to put my hand on you and pretend that the devil fruit powers are working. I really need you to sell the whole, you know, we betrayed you kind of thing. He goes, Okay, now I'm not the best at acting, but I will definitely try. Just give, yeah. like, one of us a punch in the face, and that's all you really need to do. Well, yeah, I know I mean, you've been dying to do that. Yeah, yeah, channel all that anger toward these two, you know, dogs that you called them. There you go. Does that make you feel better, Mr. Phoenix? Just looks at you and says, I can't wait till this is over with. Oh, I bet you can't, but you won't exist anymore. <laughs> Oh, okay. Don't be mean to the clone. I'm kind of sensitive to that. As, 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 as Rico goes, man, nobody's got any heart towards the clones. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> okay. One day, we I all have our assignments. Uh, Rico, you can just, you can just. Well, you should probably stay here, Rico. We'll probably need you for something else. Actually, how do you, yeah. Rico, how do you feel about joining the crew? I love the amount of preparation we're putting into this plan, and it's probably all going to go to the crap the minute the plan starts. Yes. Yeah, I, I nudge Thatch. And I thought I was crazy. Turns to you and says, I knew I was forgetting. Oh, that. I've never met you before. I've met a new crew member, oh. I assume? Uh. Hostage? <laughs> hostage. This is, oh. this is William Blaze. He turns to you guys and says, I didn't know you guys kept hostages. No, it's not a hostage thing. It was more hostage. like a bad timing that makes it look like a hostage thing. Ah. He showed up unexpectedly right when we were dealing with spies and uh, scouts dealing with us, so we didn't want to risk that he was an Andros spy. Yeah, he shakes her hand and says, well, the name's Thatch. It's nice to meet ah. you. Well, it's nice to meet you, William Blaze. <laughs> Again, sorry, Mr. Blaze. Hopefully after this, it'll yeah, be Yeah, you know, the, that log pose is all but yours guaranteed after this. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Rico goes. Okay, uh, number one. Is there anything else you need? And number two, I'm not joining your crew. I got my own crew. I am my crew. Well, you know, just think of the business oh, opportunities of Rico's joined a bunch of crews. Just saying. That's. Uh, I mean, at okay, least... yeah, but I'll bet you're not considering. Then Rico's are fighting Rico's, and the moment Rico start fighting fighting Rico's, it's all out civil war. Nah, because the second Ricos fight other Ricos, you just clone each other until you outnumber everybody else, then you take over both ships. Yeah, yeah, and then you know what happens? Then Ricos start forming factions because there's no Rico unity. This sounds mm. like it's an issue that's happened before. Do Ricos have a union? <laughs> he kind of looks and says, the Rico union does not disclose information to non-Ricos. I, I see. I see. Well, we all have our assignments. Gerald, Doc, uh, go on, if you may. Doc says, ish. I'll get right yeah, on right. Star Wars Clone Wars guy. <laughs> it, it's all it is. All right, uh, they head out. Thatch, uh, I don't like directing you too much, but you should choose which where you're going to be at this moment. Go leaves. It should be somewhere close enough to where if you're going to help in the fight, you can get there, but out of sight enough to where he's not aware of your presence, I guess. All right. How are we do uh, is he going to be near? Because I, I, that'd be kind of a hard sell that we're able to subdue Marco with Thatch nearby. Yeah, I guess Thatch, you can go with Doc and Gerald. You'll be switched in eventually. Uh, Thatch actually says he was, if I'm being completely honest, I figured I'd be playing defensive on the ship, but all right. I mean, whatever you want to do. Th I yeah, mean, no, yeah, I gave you the freedom here. You have more mean. experience with your abilities than we do. We we honestly don't. I mean, whatever you feel like you could do to contribute. That just blows really hard. It's pretty useful. It's <laughs> pretty <laughs> it's a very purple. He's got color. the blow blow fruit. He doesn't know he has it yet. Uh, that that goes. He goes. How about this? How about I stay on the ship? And I can use my power to try to get the ship out to sea if there's any issues. I don't know if we want to be at sea. I think we should have you on standby. Maybe we'll make help. Pop. Maybe ask him to use his power in a defensive way. If anyone gets close to a black hole, blow him out of the way. Yeah, Pops and Shen will, and Marco. I beat on my chest. We'll need the uh, 
we'll need the assistance eventually. We still don't know exactly what uh, Andros will have, but I doubt our ship is going to be a priority when that much. Yeah, heat don't is worry there. about the ship. We'll get a new one. We'll we'll get a new one. Yeah, uh, Rico, you hear that? You might we might be in the market for a new he ship. He's already, He's already gone. Ah, okay. Um, Alwyn, uh, you should stand by in position in the shadows. Brooke, Brooke, what should you do? Um, Brooke goes, come up, stand by, question mark. Stand by. Uh, attempt to run and grab people if they're in trouble. Yeah, you know, play the outside skirts to see if you can, you know, try to be a scout who can run around fast and give us information. I think you can do that. Uh, William Blaze, um, stay with Batch. Yeah, I, I can do that. And how much time until the mission? Currently T minus 30 minutes. Captain, do one last con save. You're on the home stretch. Oh, even with that 20 helping her get there early? Uh, th this is her getting there early, 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, Come on, we're Captain. We're almost there. Another nat 20. I can um, practically smell the quesarillos. Wait, what? Gain... No. That's you plus gain a four, second. <laughs> plus four. Mm. Wait, plus nine. five or plus nine? Plus four, it's a concept. To nine. Wait, actually, I don't know. Wait, uh, plus it nine? only does it for checks, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Let me, oh, let me okay. double check. Right. Add high proficiency bonus to any will. strength or constitution check oh. you make mm. that doesn't already use my proficiency bonus. So it's okay. a check. You gain a second level of exhaustion. Oh. But does she get here? Uh, yeah, it does not impede you too much. You are still... Uh, you are now at half speed. But with the 30 minute early thing, are we just on time? Uh, yeah, you guys are arriving about like 10 minutes beforehand. So you guys are far enough away. You guys can see the ship in the distance. All right. Now Doc and Gerald need oh. to set off the fucking flare. Okay, hold on. So... Uh, either Doc or Gerald needs to make their make made the check to find an advantageous uh, sniping point. Oh. Is there any way that I could just like? What kind of check would that be? It's probably uh, not be advantageous. Or, yeah. I was Set thinking that like if I could see something like, like if I could switch this with like a sail or something, since I can see the ship now. No, no, no. We do, we don't want you to come to the ship. Yeah, we're not on the ship. You're gonna be with Gerald and Doc. Okay, I have no idea what the plan is. Just let me know. We told you, <laughs> come on. The... You guys have been spaghettiing around all the entire session. That's I don't know what's not happening. even true. I don't know what's happening. Your mind is spaghettiing. Uh, <laughs> does Daniel want to roll the check or, to, or for Gerald to roll it? Can you tell us whose intelligence uh, is higher? Daniel can just probably roll it. He's I mean, the considering that Hick thought thought your plan out better. He got one element right. That's it's a nineteen. Not... Nineteen. Okay, they find okay. a they find a pretty good vantage point. I'm forcing Daniel to eat food. All right. Oh, it's raining. What? Yeah. So you made the. That's so cool. How'd you do that? That's a <laughs> fact that the DM. Mm -hmm. There's these little buttons over here. That is so cool. You go cool. to the DM table. There's the buttons right here. You can also add sound if you wanted. All right. Sorry. I just I noticed that. That was really cool. I right, good. Okay. They've posted up at a pretty good point. You guys are floating in the air. You guys are in the cargo hold waiting. Okay. Uh, should I try I... to call Barbados? Comms should be down by now. Yeah, yeah comms are down. down. Did you I tell me the go comms in. were going to be down? No, it didn't. No, so you wouldn't know. All right, you're gonna try to call Barbados. I'm gonna. Can I call the TV snail? Call the you TV. Can, snail. You can turn on the TV snail. I can. 
I left it in the room, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you know that you're waiting for a flare. Yeah, that's true. That's part of the plan. Okay, then I'll just stay here. You guys have, like, a bathroom? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll direct him to the bathroom. Oh, we made it, though. I'm so sleepy. Hear things spawning. All right, you... Once they arrive at the point, so you're... Once they arrive at the point, you're having them shoot the flare? Yeah. All right, once they've arrived, you guys see a <sighs> flare shoot up. That's that's your cue, Beth. That's your cue to switch you, Shin, and Whitebeard over there. Well, not switch. You can just go over there. Oh yeah, just go over there. Yeah, I guess. Uh, what am I doing? Just Stopping with who? To... You're just not swapping. Just go over there. Just go over go there. Go over, over where? You guys aren't telling me the thing that I to need to there, do. Where the flare was. To where the flare is. Okay. Where Doc Jesus. And is. That's okay. It. Then I go that way. Jesus. Okay. You guys move Sorry. over there. It's not that hard to communicate. Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's even less difficult to listen. It, it's, yeah, go, it, go, it been, guys, it, go. It, go where? It could have been a technology boy. thing. It could have been a technology thing. Sorry. Oh my God, dude. I no. get wrecked, DM. One perception check. I need. No. No, no. you don't. No, you don't. And now you know how it feels. And now, seeing that, I'm going to call Andros' snail. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wait till it answers. Okay. You pull out the snail and you hit the dial. Hey. Calms her down. Hey. Calms her down. Oh, he said one thirty. That's right. He still said one thirty. What time is it? <laughs> you looking at the watch? Yeah. Calms went down. It is currently. I know the time's one thirty. I know what Andrew said, though. Yes, it is about one thirty. All right, going up, and I yeah, say, yeah. let's get Andros. Come on, Law. Leave the door yeah. open. Uh, should I put Marco in the manacles or no? Hey, no, hey, not that let's stop it. Let's go up. Okay. You guys Ash. arrive on the deck of the ship. Good girl. Good. Oh my god, here we go. I'm just gonna head here. <gasps> You're such a good girl, we not go. barking? Wow. I walk out of the bathroom to Brooke. See, look, okay. this, this, is a, this is a lot better. And Brooke looks here and says, Oh, what a quaint costume. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a no, costume. It's, not a costume. It's, it, it's me. It's my ass kicking outfit. A rack noir. Brooke goes, Oh right, one of the other personalities. Oh no, 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 it's it's me, the the same guy. Oh, but it's you, but not in a costume, but you look different. Yes, but you, shh, it's secret. Oh right, right, okay, okay. <laughs> that one's gonna roll his preliminary stealth check. That is hey. Yeah, that's yeah, that's really fucking high. Okay. <sighs> now right. we wait till Andrus arrives. At least give us the arrival. Don't say we will find out next session. That's where we're gonna end. I mean, we could end at one. We have thirty minutes. Plus, like mid combat, it's a little awkward. I love ending mid combat. Then we go until it's no. done. <laughs> I would uh, be fine with going until it's done. I I am actually one hundred percent down. Please, I am a thousand percent done with it. Down with it. Uh, I have to watch Child tomorrow. Uh, That's okay. I will pay you. Childs take naps. It's fine. Just not I mean, you could still watch the child. You'd just be miserable. I'll it's buy you bad. coffee. I could just not sleep. I uh, will see. Okay. We could we could just PayPal him alone. Literally bribing him. Yeah. That's how you know you. That's how you know. DM. I need my fix. Oh, it's the <laughs> Ikka claw fight all over again, where we just uh, so fucking. Okay, you guys see. Uh, coming down from the air, you see two individuals. Actually, actually, no. Roll perception check. 
because sure. they, they have not come out yet because Marco has not been subdued. I'm rolling too. That's a 19. That's a uh, it's plus 12. Oh, before everything, I want to make sure I, I've made it known. I also handed Doc the spyglass. Uh, ah, okay, yeah. Uh, that was a 14 for me. 12 okay. plus 9. And I have the umbrella. Oh, but I do have him marked. Out. I also just have him marked too. Yep. Uh, you can sense him in the br- in the in like the forest, and Barbados, you barely see them through the woods. They are currently right. watching you guys. All right, I'm gonna look at Barbados and go. All right, now, and then I'll just move to grab Marco. Okay. All right. Roll, roll at advantage. All right. I'm just making grapple check, which I also get advantage just from uh um what's it called, uh tying the knot. Okay. I got a 21. Do I see all everything that's happening? Uh, are you using the spyglass or no? All right. Uh, so yeah, sure. that's a 19 yes. plus plus what acrobatics or it would be athletics. strength or dex for strength or dex. Okay, then yeah. So that's a 19 plus eight is a 27. You grab the Marco clone as as a he goes. Hey, what are you doing? And then I hold on to him and I say, "I'm sorry, Marco. I, we don't have a choice, Marco. I'm sorry." You, you see his, his phoenix powers, they start to flare, but as you grab them and the darkness is on you, you see the powers immediately dissipate. I'm kind of faking, like, trying to, like, I don't want to overdo it, so that way he, uh, you he know, doesn't the clone uh, dissipate. Yeah, 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 you're, you're <laughs> making sure not to damage. Uh, you see, flinging through the air, these two land in front of you guys. I'll look at them without a smile. And you see... Uh, the the admiral as he looks at you and says, "Oh, very good. I wouldn't have figured you all would actually be able to accomplish this." He then points at him and says, "You'll be seeing your pops soon enough." Oh, hold on, Andros. Can you take off these marks from us? And the information I you promised me. Please, Please. I don't want Hoshiko to die for this. Please. Struggling against it. We, we, we did what you wanted, please. Whitebeard's gonna hate us for the rest of our lives, and it's not gonna be a long one. Roll a persuasion check. Add advantage. Oh, come on. Uh, who has higher persuasion? I have. I have the eight. highest. Can I, persuasion. can I give him the help You're action? Not instead there, to, yeah. I know. Can, I, can I give him the help action instead to give him double advantage? Sure. You guys are pleading, and this is kind of going into his ego trip. That's a 20. Okay, you get one more. Turn okay, turn eleven. So twenty-one highest. Twenty-one. He goes. I'll honor two of your requests. He goes. He goes. He goes. Captain, the files. Captain, you see, Hazmat walks up and he tosses <sighs> some files at your feet. I, j- I try to make eye contact. No, no, never mind. Fuck that. I just grab the files. And if I may, he, sir. And he I'd looks like at you, you. and he says. And until the deed is done, I'll let you choose one, one set of the detonations for me to get rid of. Hoshiko. Yeah, Hoshiko. Ah, uh, kindness towards a child. If only I had such naivety. You then see him move his finger. He goes, the mark is gone. <sighs> you, we know you to be a man of your word. <sighs> okay. All right, do what you have to do to Marco. Okay, he's going to use Graviton Crush. I'm gonna like yeah, try to a singular yeah, point. Yeah, can we try to step away as he does? Yeah, yeah, no, he he's doing it just at Marco. Okay, okay. Single target. See, uh, it has one HP. Does he need to roll the damage for this? Ah, uh, yeah. Hold on, Marco. And Cohen's gonna the, do a con save. The cue for the switch to happen is Marco dying, right? Uh, yes. I believe okay, so. okay. Just so I'm aware. It fails it. Graviton Crush activates. Five billion. Dealing at 60. Rowena's watching Marco's Seven, breathing. It was 73 points of damage as the clone just, you see it just instantly crush into a bead. And as soon as I see him crush into a bead, I swap. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Like, right as, like, I, like, right as that's happening, I'm going to go. And just remember one thing, Andros. Remember what I told you, and then we're going to get switched. Oh, wait. Before that Uh. happens, at the same moment as the swap happens, 
I it's open like, up it's like the Yu Gi Oh chain. Yeah, yeah. I so open up the dark chaining for Marco to come out, and now the switch can happen. Yeah, remember what I told you. Okay, so we'll go. We'll, we'll do reverse side for seven. Marco then is coming out of your chest in his uh-huh. in his phoenix in his half phoenix form. Uh huh. Okay, what's the next thing in the chain that happened? Then we get switched. Well, so, Law says his thing, and then we switch. switch. Yeah, Law says the thing. So then, who, who? So then, who all is getting swapped? Law it's and Barbados Bart. are being yeah. switched with Whitebeard and uh, Shen. The King. That's oh, right. that's <laughs> that's rough. Get fucked, Andros. All right, good As... luck, pops. At any sign of you being in distress, uh, I swap you out of there. All right, As... Gerald, the, Gerald, the gun, Barbados. Wait. As... <laughs> As these two show up, you see I'm Andros. I'm gonna say welcome, boyos, as they as they show up next to me. Whitebeard has the biggest smile on his face. Oh, I'm gonna fucking coo. Let's and, go. As Andros looks surprised. Yeah, checkmate that bitch. We're not out the woods yet. Okay. I don't care. We'll the do initiative rush. then. Oh, uh, while well, that's happening, I want to give Captain her espresso from the darkness, which is perfectly temperaturized. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Does it ta- how much exhaustion does it take off? Because I have two levels. Removes one. Uh. Gerald, the gun. Okay, Gerald gives you the gun. I'm like just preparing everything, loading it while I'm just waiting for Barbados to get in one bullet. Gotta wait for my opportunity. I Not imagine that I just have like binoculars up to my face as I'm hearing oh, them loading also. guns behind me. I have alert, so I get plus five to initiative. All right. All right. That's already on your thing, is it not? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, it I is. haven't seen. All right. It's been so long since we've done combat. Do I have a plus? Do I really have a plus zero to initiative? Is that right? Uh, I I only I go by the rule set if you have to have specific things that stated. Oh, okay. Okay, then yeah. Wow. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Rolling That's... initiative. All right. Let's do it. Don't forget oh. the mystery parties. That's a net one. I'm no, James, you don't roll oh. it. <laughs> oh, I'm no, at the inside. very bottom. Oh, it's, a, I... it's okay. We're good. Literally. Whitebeard the... and the Admiral are Best top. Roll possible. Oh, my God. Best oh, possible. oh, I need to. By the way, I, I didn't roll on the. Can we calm thing. down? No. no! You <laughs> what? Oh, okay. You don't roll. Okay, I'm fucking sweating right now. Oh, God. Stop sweating. You're not against us. That's Andros is against us. That's true. Different things. We just okay. rolled initiative. Oh, we're not actually in initiative. D&D is PvP, it's by the way. It's looking spooky. Not is random it? numbers. It's PvP. Okay. Based. Uh, so first off, uh, is one, uh, uh, Zuhan Shin, he looks at Andros. As Andros is glaring at him and says... You are the work with pirates. As he lo- as the uh, the monkey king looks at him and says, "Better than working with scum." Oh, oh I'm a rat. Got him. Has that betray him? Four on one actually has mats on him. Ah, oh. best part about this is that I don't uh, think you guys can hear it from where you're at. But I'm so uh, erect right no, now. No, I can read lips. It's fine. I I I, I, re- I repeat what he, I'm like. Okay, Zuhan said this. <laughs> Uh, oh! He activates shade and instantly appears behind him. Uh, you see his fist glow a divine color. Whew. He's using his strongest move to start out with to try to oh, instantly shit. finish him off. That would be nice. Oh, we never did the switch to him with water or death charges. We just abandoned that. Yeah, I can't really do that plan. Right uh, Barbados is Hoshiko okay? That's all right. Yeah, she's still on the ship. This ambush works. And Aunt Alwyn. And yeah, but Brooke. did the mark? Did you get the marks off? Because I looked down on my shoulder and go, my mark's still there. We got oh, yeah, our marks are still there, but hers are gone at least. Okay, well then that's that's okay. That's he totally fails it. Perfect, he has then. to burn a legendary resistance. Captain, I know this sounds strange, but if the one next to Andros is ever in danger, I need you to switch him here too. He's he's important. That's to be determined, friendo. But I will keep okay. your request in consideration. And That's that terrible. is that is that Admiral's turn. He used a move that potentially can instant kill something, but Andrews had to burn a resistance. Oh, it doesn't do any damage. Well, that's fair. Whitebeard's up next. Whitebeard is up next. <laughs> you see, okay. He Whitebeard. is filled with anger. Let's go! He is, he is, Marco is stepping to the side. Whitebeard is walking up. You guys see, glowing with his, on his uh, glaive, 
this pure white color white beard activates legend his legend one of his legendary actions called he who controls the quake oh i can fucking, I can fucking jerk off to this <laughs> Uh, this allows Whitebeard to choose what magnitude of earthquake he is activating. He chooses magnitude 35. 10. Oh my god. I don't know what that means, Daniel. <laughs> that's a good one. It means we lose our ship. Oh, that's it's... the highest on the Richter scale? Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, magnitude 10. You know, Pokemon. Get the random magnitude yeah. 10. <laughs> yeah. I hate that move. That. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Okay, uh, my beard rolls to hit. Please roll high. Mm. Give him advantage. This guy doesn't see it coming. No. It misses. Fun. That's like an AoE, isn't it? It is an AoE. The, the oh. glaive misses. The sheer damage that every character on this ship is about to take. Uh... Hoshiko, Hoshiko, Alwyn, uh... <laughs> so... Can I just... see Hoshiko through, like, a porthole or something? She is no. pointed right by the window. Roll a perception check at disadvantage, but because you have a spyglass at advantage, so roll a flat check. That's a 21. Nice you can one. see her. You see her and Kenzo. I swapped them both, them both with pebbles. Okay, yeah, you can do that. So both of them are now out of there. That burns your reaction, though. Oh, okay. Okay, so that is uh, 32 oh, D10. Thatch and quake freaking damage. Oh, Brooke, everybody. 32 D10. You're next to me. We're 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 across the the way. Oh that god, it will even roll. It's on a cliff. It's 165 points of damage. Uh, At least the ship isn't Brooke, destroyed. Brooke is only bones. Yeah. He's fine. He just White, rattles apart a little bit. Inherently does triple damage to structures. I still don't think that kills the ship, but it's no, really it's, hurting. It's, it's one sixty-five times three. It's like four. I'm sorry. That really hurts the ship, actually. But that's four ninety-five. The one, ship is at a hundred and five HP. Four ninety-five. Mm. Yeah, 495. 50, Holy fucking 60, shit. 70, oh, 80, uh, 90, Andrus 80, burns 80, his 80, reaction. Use Zarmat Hockey. Shin burns his reaction. Use Zarmat Hockey. The Cav <laughs> Cavs Matt burns his reaction. Use Zarmat Hockey. Marco. <laughs> Actually, Mark just eats the damage. What a fucking chat. Marco Boy, just he... eats 400 damage? No, no he the ship takes 400. Marcus oh, okay. 200, da the 200 damage? And also, I believe with his devil fruit, he's like fucking immortal or some shit. It is an uh, AoE, so Alwyn can evade this. Uh, yeah, Alwyn will make a dexterity save. Actually, all everyone will make a dexterity save as well. Even us? Like, that our distance away? Uh... uh no, you guys just feel what? this earthquake, and okay. you're seeing, like, the, the, the earth start sundering. So... Andros is going to make his deck save. Okay. If he fails, he takes full damage. Oh, Idiot. No. So when Shin will take his, but he has evasion. He takes no damage. Has that. Please save. Can I look down and verify that Hoshiko's mark is gone? Uh, you'll have to roll an a investigation check on your turn. Okay. I forgot we were actually in initiative. <laughs> has that. It's been a long time. Hazmat. Cool. Hazmat takes bad. half damage, and with armament, he takes half of that. Andros, with his armament, takes one-fourth of the damage. So, Andros takes 42 points of damage from this. Okay, this is the NPC fight of the century. That's what I'm saying. When the, all the NPCs are stronger than you, make them fight. That's right. One uh, takes none. Captain takes half, so he takes. I think Kyle's character is okay, because don't you also have evasion? <laughs> it would be so funny if Kyle's character died. No, no, no. I is, would not find this. Great. This is going to be great. Uh, you guys see this front about. Okay, let me draw this. From this 
this whole area here on the front of the ship has just been obliterated off. That's oh. awesome. Uh, That's uh, guys, I think we're going to need a ship, right? Water is now filling the bottom of the ship. Oh. That's less awesome. As as Brooke goes, uh, I think I think we should perhaps think about leaving soon. Yeah, why are you guys still there? Okay, do we <laughs> do we take any damage down here? Uh, We're in the third level. I'll say I mean, I'll have Brooke make a deck save. We have a pretty big ship too. Uh oh, how much help does Brooke? Goodbye, have? Forge. Can you, like, reaction pull Brooke out the way or something? Yeah, that's, that's yeah, what I want. Yeah, can't Thatch blow yeah. blow can, them all can, out of there? Can my, can my spidey sense activate? Oh, that's true. You would yeah, know. You get, the, you get the immediate danger sense oh. before it goes, so I'll let you use your reaction to try to pull him out of the way because this would kill him. Yeah, I, I, I will use my reaction to try to use my web and flip Brooke. Ooh, Roll and a strength check. Bro Brooks strength. can't be able to say he like he saved my life. That's oh, Brooks not very really heavy though. Hey, he's I all bone. He stays low. Oh, his hair has. It's okay. Hair. I got it. Easily enough, you throw the web on him. Twenty. Twenty-four. Instantly. As the in, Brooke looks over and says, "Why did you do crash?" As the front of the ship gets cleaved off in one fell swoop. Oh. That's cool. See the face. Brooke the forge is just like completely that. gone. Because yeah, we bonded the, already. Yeah, the forge is obliterated. <laughs> no! Bye. Necessary Bro, sacrifice. It all of Captain's trauma. It's all been destroyed. You, you, Good. You're, you're lighter you than go. expected. Alwyn's up next, and he has not been informed that Hazmat is not an enemy. Fuck. It's true, <laughs> he yep. hasn't. Ah. Uh, it's okay. He doesn't need to like keep him alive. He is I... at the bottom though. He hasn't I need his... them yet. I need his body not to be destroyed. Basically. Well, he, he's at he's at the edge of the uh, the stairwell. He was hiding in there. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't need Hazmat to live. I just need his body not to be destroyed. Actually, I'm gonna say Alwyn's gonna hold his action to use shade if needed. Ooh, yeah, I think he could realize that this is kind of like a bigger than necessary kind of job. Is Whitebeard a giant? No, he's just a very large he's a human. God, that's he's what he is. He's just a god How with big are Hawaiian giants? rolls. Look at him. Uh, very, very <laughs> big. His abs are Hawaiian huge. rolls. That's right. Okay. First thing he, he's going to do is he's going to make an intelligence check. Andros? Or who is? Andros is or Alwyn is? Andros. All right. It's Andros' turn. That is a 30. It's a pretty smart man. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. He is able to... With deductive reasoning, figure that the captain is somewhere in a, in that vicinity away from the ship. What? Uh, shore. How would he huh? know where we are? He wouldn't know where we are. That doesn't give I, like a directional signal. I guess he would know. No, the, the reasoning being, signatures. the reason being is because he knows that Shen can move quickly, but he can, but he can't move that instantaneously without moving another person. He knows Whitebeard is relatively slow. And he has seen the captain's ability to instantly transport people. That's okay. true. I'm just saying he wouldn't know directionally where we are. He wouldn't know where we yeah, are. I actually, know. Yeah, yeah, because any direct. Actually, them. yeah, because any direction. Yeah, okay, fair enough. He, he just know we're in a radius. He he knows that the captain is at a visible area, not a necessary direction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Is the rain doing anything to all these people? Also. Or is that something uh, like, wait, then we'll find oh, out. Imagine kind of the rain pinging off of Whitebeard's chest. I can't, uh, yeah, and I, I'll tell you guys later what the rain did. Okay. Oh, let's see. Look at this, man. Look he's at this so man, Whitebeard. He's so fucking huge. He has an eight pack, and look at that top eight pack of his eight pack. It looks sure. like another another pair of nips. It's I aspire so to beautiful. be that large one day. Bonus nips. Sure. You can even see the serratus right. interior. That's my favorite oh, part of the anatomy. Beautiful. Oh, he knows how to draw him. his large, muscular men. Mm. What a guy. I'm being. Actually, yeah, he's a smart guy. This is uh, this is too much. Uh, he's going to reach into his pocket, and he pulls out a small marble. He then tosses it in the air. He's not actually touching the marble. You see him like it looks like he's grabbing the 
the air around this marble. Oh, he's going to undo the marble in the air. Yes, uh, he's he also is. going to th point his then. Uh, so as a his main action is going to be tossing that out. And his bonus action is he throws his hand out. And you see him start to crush down on it. He's going to use his legendary action to activate Event Horizon. Event it, Horizon. He then, he then takes some. He then takes a, a couple steps away from here, incurring an opportunity attack from Shin. Hey. Before does he the effect, sentinel? he does not have Sentinel. Damn it! Shit, he's also in Whitebeard's threatened area because he just attacked. Whitebeard did just attack him. He is. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. He has to move out. He has to move here to try to to get into Event Horizon range. Shin is going to do his normal damage. Okay, Shin hit him. Which is going to be... I'm going to just toss the dice around. Which is 20 plus 15, so 30, 40, 43 points of damage. Because... His arm hockey is now off, so that's pretty off, you say. His arm hockey is off, huh? It is currently off because he already used his reaction. Mm, but his neat. reaction is now back up. Fuck. Yeah, his turn did just pass. Uh, taking another step out, almost in event horizon range. Uh, Whitebeard gets a reaction. He cannot use an earthquake on his reaction for this attack, but just a baseline Does attack. Does Whitebeard have a sentinel? Whitebeard does he have a sentinel? We never get the NPCs with sentinel. Never lucky, no, dude. Not, like, always, I always forget to put sentinel on the NPCs, man. <laughs> I know. And that's okay. because the players like Sentinel too much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Normally, <laughs> yeah. take fucking Sentinel. Yeah, I've rage. never taken Sentinel. I'm kind of noticing Whitebeard has like a, a Goku belt kind of thing, you know, like the, where the belt hangs oh, down. No. Goku has a white beard. White beard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Attack hits. Throw the hell up. Pretty sure Dragon Ball existed before One Piece. No. no. I think, I think, not not uh, in this universe. Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball did. Here. Yeah, Dragon Ball did. No. Yeah. No. Not in this universe. No. Yeah, not in this universe. Not in my head cannon. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, your head cannon's a pea shooter. Oh my god. <laughs> he is going to activate our hockey and reduce that damage. Definitely oh. needs to. Yikes. <sighs> it takes 27 more points of damage. Yeah, fuck him up. Oh, Brooks' turn is coming up. That's a power turn. Is it? Okay. Uh, once he gets once he gets out of that range, uh, he gets into the range of Event Horizon, which you see him go from this position, and it looks like instantaneously his body is getting stretched, and then he appears over here. No. On the shoreline. Uh, is his armament then, hockey? Oh, I can't. My reaction. <sighs> And yeah, then as 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 he does that movement, that bead that was in the air, you see him close his fist and he activates Island Shrapnel Bomb. No! What can be done here? I can't do anything. I don't use my uh, reaction yeah. to save Hoshiko. I'm pretty I, sure she. You're not die. in the bullet yet, or I would just shoot you. Uh, so Whitebeard makes his deck save. We'll do a legendary resistance. Always fun to get these out of the way first, huh? Yeah. It's always fun to watch the DM play against himself. I know, right? <laughs> it was I, I enjoy it. Marco does his roll. Deck save fails. Does not have legendary resistance. Oh, he hasn't oh, no. even had one? Damn it. Mm -mm. Marco's immortal. He's fine. Cap uh, Hazmat needs to make one because Andrews didn't care about uh, friendly fire. He's fine. He's Makes the save. He believes in him enough to pass it, I guess. Believe Since it. Since Alwyn held his action, could he shade out? Uh yes, he can. He can shade out. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, he could. Well, he he could shade for. Yeah. Where right. would he shade to get away from this attack? The top, Just further away from the. Can the top I of the ship kind of has a huge hole in it. 
True, Bastet. He he could shade up and over onto the shoreline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, so. what it'll do. I think that's what my mom did. Okay. Yeah, he'll shade over there as his uh, reaction. It's time for the Andros all in 1v1. So, uh, yes. Jen, he's going Careful to do that plate. shape as well. <laughs> he's going to leg legendary resistance that, which means he takes no damage. Just hopping on the shrapnel as it happens. Okay, time to do island shrapnel bomb. Bye bye, ship. Oh, uh, Shen, uh, he dodged it. My yeah, ship? No, I said oh, ship. ship. Oh, ship, yeah. My Shen. beautiful ship. I thought you said Shen. He keeps just uh, little orbs of islands on him. Oh, do do the people below deck need to take saves too? That's oh, in the top of the... Yeah. A massive explosion rings out, as you guys see. It looks kind of like a, a moment of, like, visionary reaction as this huge explosion goes out. Could Thatch? Uh, since there's a hole in the ship, Thatch can see what's about to happen. Could he grab Brook and Arachnor out of there and blow out? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, we're all a devil fruit check for Thatch. Let's see how well he can utilize his fruit. He's had several months of practice. My God! Yes, yes, he can. He grabs you too, as as you as you Ooh. like pulled Brooke over. At Thatch <sighs> immediately takes his swords and he just kind of whips them down the ground. You guys fly into the air. Oh, this is fun! So you guys are currently up in the air, away from this. Toby Maguire screaming. But, but we're up in the air. Oh my God! Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marco, he takes full fucking damage. Takes 206. Okay, uh, Marco's Indomitable activates. Oh, I have that too! He's, Damn. Now, he's now reduced to one hit point. He is fucking taking the damage, holy shit. Oh, damage. Who would have thought? Oh, the captain. Me would be Brooke, then James, then me, then Kenzo. Captain actually gets fucking blown away into the ocean and is currently floating there. <laughs> He's just floating. Uh, face down, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who, Hazmat? Hazmat yeah, is has currently been. floating what face down in the ocean. I thought he made a save. Uh, half damage still is a lot. Captain, please save him. I need He's not him. on my priority list, team. friend. Suhan he is a part of our family. He's believe it or not. not on my priority list. Our hockey takes half. Oh, he's, oh. he's like me. He's my clone. That's great. There, there we go. Captain, please. <laughs> Wherever me, the go, lucky. the wind goes. So weapon only takes 50-something points of damage. Why did that give for perfectly? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Wherever I go, the wind goes. So that's his bonus. I thought maybe you would want to do the other one, so I left it. Main action. Come on, this guy's done I everything. Get an egg? No. Yeah, that's everything for his turn. Brooke's turn. It's not his Brooke. Wait. He's currently screaming in the air with you and Thatch. I'm not telling <laughs> and the wind smells like rain. Why is All right, that and then, on? and then what does he do? Does he does he then try to one shot Andros? He doesn't really have any options since he's up in the air. Mm. <laughs> Is there a different way you open eggs? He'll hold his action to use his movement when he hits the ground. Okay. Next one up is Teal, you're up. Um, do, can Barbados get in the bullet on... I gotta get it on my turn. Okay, so I, I guess I will. Shot. I yeah, guess. I will. I will use my bonus action to mark Andros. I'm not going to use any movement, so I can get my sharpshooter bonus. So I will get. Um, I'll get an extra two d6 of damage on him when I shoot, and oh, I'll get double advantage. Can we use this opportunity for the combination attack, where everything goes off in one moment? Yes, you can. Yes, yeah, can 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 me cuz me and Joseph are right next to each other. Can we just do our turns together right right yeah, now? Yeah, you guys can do a combination. Oh, 
The wombo combo. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark him with shadow sniper with my bonus action. So I do an, I get double advantage when I shoot because I haven't moved with this on this turn. Um, also, then, the, uh, the ship is currently sinking at the moment. That's okay. Yeah, that's not so a problem. So I do an extra two d six, and I have double advantage. Um, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I, I'll ready my action for when Barbados is in a bullet in the gun. In the same action, I'll put myself into the bullet and hockey around myself. All right. And then does I he see uh, if you can see through the scope. Is he armament to double yeah. or not? Is he armament hockey to up or not? He does not have the armament hockey currently up. I'm gonna take the shot. All right, roll to hit. That's right, so gonna be a lot. Of extra, that's like plus like fifteen to hit or something. Seven. I'm actually pretty shocked that he did. That's a natural twenty. Okay. I, I get another roll. Okay. That's another okay. natural twenty. Okay, yeah, that's gotta um, be something good then. Uh, okay. Then it's three times my proficiency bonus to hit, so that's a twelve. So that's a thirty-two to hit. Uh, okay, and then I add, um, so it's twenty d10, so we're because du we're doubling my dice. Uh, no, 10d10 times 2. You just do okay. it by a double. Okay, so 10d10 plus a d6, a plus 2d6. Um, plus your regular rifle damage. Well, what? actually, no, no, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, plus my dex and hit. So here's this. Oh, there's a dice right there. That's 48. Um, that's So that's 55 plus um, dex and hit is 16. So that's uh, uh, so 55 is doubled, so 110 plus 16. So Andrews plus 32. isn't looking this way either. So uh, 142 damage to him, plus Barbados is hockeyed in, inside of him now, hopefully. That's a bullet doesn't just his reaction. go all the way through him. Yep. He takes the full brunt of this damage. And during the combination attack, once impact is made, is when I expand myself inside. Okay. Uh, roll a wisdom check. And he is going Please. to... Oh, that's Big really brain. Good. Big brain. And a counter roll. Oh, sorry. It was the same thing, so that was good. Oh, oh thank God. Uh-oh. What is he counter rolling? Uh, he is... He is counter He has no... He has no reaction. This is as this is as you're trying to expand. This is him trying to hold his form together. That's literally not possible. Something is tearing physically from the inside out. I'm not yeah, he can't that do that. that he's I'm not, not shadow well, tearing it? himself out. He Barbados is physically expanding inside of him. It's not a devil for he's physically he's not shadow. Well, not okay. First off, how what's the final roll on that? Final roll on that is a twenty six. 26. So my final roll would be plus nine. My final roll is, is a also 26. a 26. Does does a tie beat the AC normally? Because the because the attack is going for him, he's rolling this to try to resist it. So he would meet the he would meet your DC. I think the active. I have inspiration. Let me see if I can roll one more time. I mean, he's still going to take a shitload of damage from this. That's not the point of this. Never mind. <laughs> okay, well, I did... All right, so I will say you doing the vicious expanse from him does at least five additional d10. Oh, so I can roll another 5d10? Uh, Joseph will roll the 5 Oh, okay. All right, so we've done how, how much? 186 so far? 156? I can't remember. Fuck. I think we're breaching was, what just press human enter. bodies can do. Yeah, okay, hold on. 48 plus 7 is... White Brute literally hit him with a fucking magnitude 10 earthquake. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what Yeah, and mean. someone freaking alien versus predator spawning out of someone's stomach. They can't hold their stomach together. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay. 55. Just let me be inside of him, Trevor. There's no scientific way that he can get out of this. <laughs> Actually, are, are you staying inside of him or are you trying to expand out? Because if you're expanding out, you're blowing chunks of him off to fill the space. Oh, I'm staying inside of him. Oh, then you're not doing damage. And yeah, then you can just stay inside of him. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah, the whole fine. point was that you were going to tear your way out of him and that it oh, would no, kill if, him. If you're just going inside of him, yeah, you're just inside of him now. 
Yeah, w- what he meant was once he's inside, he wants to assume his normal form and not explore. my normal form. Oh, I got an idea for this part. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're currently inside of him. Are you right. like manifesting darkness or anything? Actually, no, you can't because your turn's done because of that. Two. Yeah. Times two. So I did. Okay, uh, I did 107. Oh no! Uh, God damn it! I'm so retarded. I'll shut up until I actually have. <laughs> yeah, come on, dude. All it right. Is. So it's 55 plus 16 is 71. Did I forget anything else? Uh, plus X and N. Question yeah. marks. I don't like that. It's two. Yeah, we're still yeah. waiting on whatever they're Okay, they're it's, just, it's, a, it's 152. 152, okay. It's just there Columbo and a scout. That's all it is. All right. Next up is Kenzo. Kenzo at this range has what? something he can do. Good. Has, has something he can do or nothing he can, can do? Can Kenzo watch the area, actually, while they're, you know, what's going on here? Ooh, yeah, sure. Good, he'll, yeah. he'll, he'll go sentry duty. Next up is question mark number one. That's a natural one. He is fucking stressed. He just he got oh, switched so and then saw absolute carnage. <laughs> That's fair. Captain, why did you switch yourself to shit? Oh god. Uh the first question mark goes. They are going to hold their action. Huh. Gerald's up. Uh Gerald is going to assist you in in loading the gun, he takes one turn off of it. Pat. Hi, thanks. Hoshiko is up. Hoshiko is... Uh, she should take the hide action. <laughs> yeah, she's going to take the hide action. That's very smart. Okay, she's, she's freaking out. Sneaky. She's fucking... Both her and Kenzo are freaking out. Hoshiko, mm-hmm. it's okay. Just, just sit down. Sit down and breathe. Watch TV. <laughs> This isn't the time to watch TV. I'm no. scared! Hoshiko I'm scared. should definitely be watching TV. <laughs> okay, Iraq Noir, you're up. Okay, so where are they shooting the gun from? Over this way? Yeah, you can obviously see the direction that the huge shot came from. Okay. Freaking platinum. I'd, I'd like to there. point over towards uh, uh, Mr. Petrikov. All right, that way Thatch knows. And is there any? There's there's nothing that I can do to like swing us over there. Uh, you can swing on some trees. Okay. <laughs> then then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just like gabbing Andros uh, right now. Let Let's swing on some trees over there, and we're gonna be in the trees. I think you should swing to a different location. Just like where? Away. Like the fuck like, away from him. Yeah, just slightly away from where the group is. Because he like would over see you. this way. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere over there or something. Because he would see you guys. Yeah, head directly towards the main group, and I don't think the, you know we. Well, would... yeah, I'm not going over towards the main group. Oh, okay. I All was right, either going over here to help you. Or to be over in the trees somewhere else. Shoot your sticky jizz all over, Andrew. Ew. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, so you're swinging over. <sighs> Joseph, do you want me no, to do, help do you do your thing. Don't worry about it. Do, you do what you think is right. Okay. I'd, I'd like to point Thatch over towards Andros as... I don't think I can take Thatch with me. I don't think I'm that strong, but I know for a fact that I can carry Brooke with me. Uh, roll a strength check. Alrighty. Get back over to my page. That is plus five, so it's 18. 18. You can, your muscles are struggling and aching, but you can take both. Alright. So we're going to swing over here to get to the beach. Okay. At the beach. What? What? Which way is Andros looking? Uh, he's facing he is, this way. Yeah, he is currently. Uh, he is currently facing towards the ship. So he, you got you guys basically just shot him in the back. Yeah. Gotcha. I, I, what? What was his reaction to being shot? Well, we all know yet. Okay. Okay. Um. So that is movement. And. Camera I hasn't panned will... back to Andros yet. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, the point of oh. 
being inside of him was also am, am I within 50 feet of him? Uh, yes. Okay. I rapid fire and ensnare him to the ground to where he cannot move. Okay. Yes, good job. Good answer, Steve. Nice what? answer, Steve. What's the DC good on? answer, Steve. Uh, is that a roll to hit thing? Oh, good question. Uh, and it says, it just, if it's, did you hear my back? She's within 50 feet. I would assume that's your, uh, yeah, she has, she has to roll against your DC. It's just yeah. a web point. Yeah. Can, can, he, can he get uh, disadvantage because he DC just got... is 12 plus my con mod, which is five. So it's, it has to be the 17. Can he get disadvantage because he just got shot like really bad? <laughs> no. Fuck. Okay. So what's the save he has to make? 17. 17. 17 con decks what uh it is a con save con save okay that's a 14. Oops. is this is this restrained or uh slow ensnared it says ensnared what's the ensnare status that's like uh the cr creature the they, they, they become restrained until oh, broken strain, legendary resistance damn it Oh, that's good. Good try, though. Up, uh, two that's now. another one that he's gonna. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I think he has one more. Supposedly. Per turn, yeah, per round. <laughs> no, resistances don't come back. Yeah, sure. All I right. mean, I guess they could. Next okay. one up is question mark, question mark, question mark. It's Columbo. Uh, what? You know, one of them's got to be Columbo. You can't Can tell me Columbo's not here somehow. Is that Kuzon? Six. Oh, or Kuzon. Okay. Yeah. Does he not want to help? Probably, uh, probably I'm sorry, guys. I have to turn on my AC. So if you're a buzz. Yeah, you're good. Oh, I don't ever care about yeah, that. Yeah, it's not loud enough to really bother. Six. <laughs> okay. Nothing currently happens. <laughs> Whoever. They're watching like, oh. That's Marco's that turn. Next up is Marco because Indomitable was procced. He has to, he has to rejuvenate this turn. <laughs> All right. HP is going to get back. Well, he was like second wind or something. Marco's a phoenix. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see what happened because I feel that he gains fifty hit points back. It was at fifty-one. No, he's currently at fifty-one. And then that it's his turn to regenerate. Next up will be Thatch. Yeah. Up will be Thatch. What can Thatch do? Not sure, honestly. Don't know too much about how his power works. See, I don't think wind knocking him prone would be good because we need to hit the shot. Yeah. Uh, that's just gonna hold his action at to blow Andros away if needed. My man. Actually, no. Actually, mm, no. I got a better idea. He's gonna hold a wind gust. Hold the wind gust. Nice. Next time like up it. is blue. Doc, anything you can do? Can you like power of Jesus heal somebody from? A he can assist now? with reloading. Yeah, he like if that's allowed. Ooh, if he actually reloading. Yeah, if, yeah. And Rowan if I just make an intelligence check or something. Well, Jerm's already there. Yeah, you're, 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 there, but roll an intelligence check to understand the mechanisms of the weapon. I mean, Daniel's you're, built guns with his ash, so he should brain, have Daniel. a pretty good understanding. Uh, 26. Yeah, I see what you're so yes, you can. You can in changing out the gas canisters, so it is if, now. It's now one more, yeah, if one more person helps with reloading, I can fire it on my next turn. I, I gotta my keep my eyes on the situation. Tent. Okay, next one up is the captain. Captain, you're Intent. up. I didn't even realize. <laughs> captain, I need you to hold your reaction if you don't mind after this. But you can use your action. Yeah, you, that, well, that's fine. I was just saying. Or, or you can do whatever you want, because it's your turn. <laughs> now, wrong Spider-Man. Most of oh. this stuff requires me to make a weapon attack. Um, or it has to be within five feet of me for that. <laughs> If he doesn't have his 
Armin and Haki up, you could oh but Barbados is on them. If you switch switch them in the ocean, that'd be bad for Barbados. Yeah, I was gonna switch him into the ocean on my turn, but I kind of can't do that. You want me to switch a depth charge to him, or switch something to, like around him? Or... Uh, I have all the depth charges. Yeah. Um, oh my. You could if you you could switch hazmat to safety if you want to do that. <laughs> Dude, I promise you. Captain has no reason to do that though. Other than me in in character asking her please to save my clone. That's on her. I her speaks. I no, I'm not. No, he's the next turn. I'm, I'm next to her. Oh, that's right. He's... Is he face down? To... You don't have to, Captain. He's I understand. currently face down in the water floating there like how a corpse would. I, he, he, Where is, he was giving me information status? to help me kill Andros. What's the should. status on the rest of the people that are closer to me? How is Alwyn's positioning? Uh, Alwyn's is positioning, he, he doesn't look like he's taken any damage. Is he hidden? Hid, hid, well, hidden? Well, he's, he's not he hidden. is not hidden, no. Can I use my uh, action surges and like extras attacks for my switch switch? Like instead of attacking, can I use my switches as attacks? No, I'd say your switches take an action or a reaction. No, you can't use the reaction. But you've told me before that my switches were an action. Yeah. And so I couldn't attack with the if I use that as an action. Yes. I don't know. Wait, so does that mean the first switch is just an action and not a reaction? No, no, no. She can switch as either an action or a reaction. Oh, what about okay. a bonus action? A bonus action? No, she has not trained it to be a bonus action. I feel like Curious. I'm being put on limiters that no one else is being put on. <laughs> what do you mean? Because no one else has that power. Not trained your switching. I feel like that. Barbados he, he, gets to do several things with his powers. I haven't done anything. You, I mean, the only thing I, you did use your power a lot to switch all the way here and back. If you want to use that as an argument for training it. No, I don't. I want to use it as an argument that I should be able to switch multiple times within a turn. Well, that's, that's especially if you I'm did, not you did attacking. switch. You did and switch Portugal and actions. Yeah, you can switch two things at the same time. You have unlocked that. So you can, Thing you is can that switch would use an action and a reaction if you were does, to do that. Does that? No, 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 no. Switching two targets is just one action. Yeah. Oh. She has the ability to switch two things at once. Yeah. Oh, I don't she know. Just, she just can't switch one thing and then a thing again. Yeah. So you still have because a bonus has, action. Because that has not been specifically trained for. So you still have a bonus action. You still have an attack action if you can do that with something. One of the attack action uses a full action. Oh, okay. Then yeah, you have a bonus action, your action, and what and I'm then a getting confused on, on is because I have specifically to like the fighter class that I'm in. I got action surge and extra attack. So if I'm not attacking, I don't get to use either of those abilities unless I'm making. No, no, a action attack. surge you can use to give you an additional action, which could be used to then switch another thing. But extra attack only gives you an extra attack when you use the attack action. What is it that you're trying to do anyway, Beth? I just want to do a multi-step thing and I'm not allowed. <laughs> and you yeah, can request to it. do a multi-step thing and then you could do a roll to push yourself beyond your normal means. Yeah, what are you trying to do? You do have to describe it. It's anime. You gotta go even further beyond. This is to go even further beyond. To anybody who's watching the stream, you should check out the video of Goku transforming into Super Saiyan three with Lex Steel audio in the background. Uh, yeah, uh, it. You can. It's super. It's Stereo Saiyan three D. If you're looking for it, doing? that's the specific one you're looking for. Uh, he has not way. taken any damage because he is just. Actually, he's taken a decent bit of damage from the friendly fire from Whitebeard. Wipe your please. Uh, Is it really quote unquote friendly fire? Should I swap Whitebeard and Alwyn to give Whitebeard a more advantageous way to hit him? And Whitebeard's idea. closer to him. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You could you can make it to where they're not escaping from White. He's trying to escape from Whitebeard. So I'm yeah. also inside this man. So so yeah, yeah. But if you say incorporeal, you you won't take damage, right? 
Uh, from Whitebeard? Yes, I will. The sun's blocked out in the junk. Just I'm dark. hoping it'll be more Andros takes the damage first and it's reduced after that. Uh, we got a doc. You'll be fine. Yeah. No, I, would... I, I can actually die from this. I would say, like, and you, could pro- you can switch Double Whitebeard. damage, by the way. Yeah, I take double damage. Purple. Can we not uh, forget don't that? Don't be such a baby. Yeah, you, you <laughs> can switch Whitebeard and all in and still switch one other thing with one other thing, and that's still one action. I know, but Joseph doesn't want me to switch Whitebeard. I'm so just a little scared at the fucking kid. magnitude earthquake that'll hit me. Sorry for being scared of Where's Shin at? You, you could switch all in with Shin instead if you're less worried about Shin. Oh, that might not be a bad idea. Where's Shin? I think Shin all at? of it's a bad idea. I think Barbados being inside of Andros is a bad idea. What are you even doing in there? When we get to my turn, we can finally figure out now, won't we? If we get to your turn. That's right. That's I mean, why I'd like to live. None of us expected Andros to be able to resist the expansion. That was kind of hard. Uh, so what? What is it that he's that Andros has put? Is it just a shrapnel grenade type thing, or is it like a physical, like all put together thing? What do you, Wait, mean? What do you mean? Like what he used for to blow up the ship? Because that's already gone off. It's a. It looks like it looks like a small black marble, like what he turned Thatch's ship into. Is it still like going, or is it? No, it, it exploded and is gone now. Oh, okay. It's already done its thing. Thing. Um. You can hold your action if you want. You could also use your action to load the gun. This is also true. Could or you could hazmat switch. like a uh, fucking yeah. lock keeps bugging in your ear about. Yeah. Or I you could switch Shen with <laughs> Owen. I just want to do what I want to do, but what I want to do is you be you 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 you. This is the exact. You said what you want to do. <laughs> I am all the willing to make accommodations. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? What's that scene in the notebook? What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> I love that, that, that so simple. <laughs> yeah, I was about it's to say, you're simple. talking to a woman who could quote it's the notebook probably. It's not that problem. simple. It's not that simple. <laughs> Bull crap, it's not what that do simple. You want? What do you want? Oh, God, she's crying and weird. he's just like dang it girl this is what? literally yeah Beth, hey, what james you, what you, you got do? our monologuing again can, can we stop <laughs> i didn't mean to bring up notebook what do you want to do Beth? i can't do anything because no matter what i do it freaking puts the king in danger i can't do anything the kid this is the exact same thing as when kyle wanted to drive the motorcycle off it can kill me so i'm advised against it what do you want from me after that you can still do it if you want. Fuck him. Is that not like a good point? Am I crazy? No, Barbara, you're being self-preservationist. I get it. Beth, do whatever you want to do. That's Let's true. Do it. That's just my objection. Is that, you know? Just like my objection is please save Hazmat. We don't have to do that. And I won't get mad at you if Hazmat you don't. Hazmat will be fine. Do whatever you want to do. First target yeah, yeah, target I, I number won't... one is Andros. He needs to be yeah, dead. I won't get mad at you if you don't do it. I don't think Barbados will get mad at you if you do anything with it. switching Whitebeard. You did what you had to do in that tough situation. Just Nine. make it a shame. I can't really see I wanna, anything either. I want to... I want to... Don't give me a countdown. It stresses me out. I'm going <laughs> to swap... swap... Whitebeard and Alwyn! <laughs> Whitebeard and Alwyn, boom. I'm going to remember and that then, from this can i also uh, in that same instance try to swap hazmat out of the water with uh a rock I yeah i guess a rock sure thank you thank you very much captain where at, where, with, this. with a rock where uh near me preferably you have a rock in front of you i do not want general. him anywhere near me he's not a honest. danger he will not attack i us. do I, not I, know that and i do not I promise that on my all. life if, if i don't you, you care if you promise can i swap him with like a boulder in the distance that's on like the shore somewhere sure he appears over here no not there on the ground over no. over, okay. over over here <laughs> over, over there okay so he appears over here yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Currently, just bleh. Okay, I'm it's gonna perfect. crash that guy Thank off, you. actually. Please don't. Oh my god. Okay, time for. Is that your turn, Beth? Yeah. Now it's Hazmat's turn. 
has met death saving throw. Please don't know. That's one fail. Loggers. <laughs> <Bloggers. laughs> <The> loser. <laughs> if only we had put him right next to the doctor. No, I'm not putting a suspected enemy that Rowena does not trust near Hoshiko. You can get out of here with that. Him. You can saw it off with that one, mate. Yeah. Get out of here. I mean, <laughs> she's got a great point. I'm literally about, oh, I'm wait, 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 wait. Whitebeard knows the plan that I'm inside of him, hopefully. No, he does. He knows that for sure. White, I, yeah. yep. I'm sorry, Barbados, but I don't think Whitebeard's going to care too awful much when the prospect... We'll see what happens. You have the advantage that that's just kind of behind you, so... I'm inside of this man. And I don't want to hear it from you, Lay. If I die, it's literally your fault. I'm going to put that on you. And if Andros dies, it's literally my fault. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, this will go either way. <laughs> he uses shade again. He gets to Andros. Uh, he wasn't supposed to be able to resist the expansion. That makes no sense for him to be able to resist anything. Nah, just in my mind, it. like imagining it alien versus predator style, that yeah, make, doesn't make any physical sense. Can't fucking control his freaking Look, thing to do that. I tighten, I tighten different. my 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 ab muscles, and I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Look, I'm breathing. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna make the call of the dude's a fucking admiral. Yeah. I'm okay. Like, yeah, and so is the look, Monkey King. It's look. It's an anime. It's One Piece, if, and he is that strong. I like my whole. He rolled a nat twenty two. Okay. Like, okay. He rolled so, a nat twenty. If Come it's on. anime, this, this I shouldn't is, have had is, to have rolled to throw a pebble. This this is this is what I'm this is what I'm thinking. If he can make the different little uh, blood pockets inside of people, who's to say he can't have a bad cramp where he can't put one inside of himself? Why would he do that? Well, that makes uh, no sense. Uh, Eddie, he, hey, let's just keep going. It's Zoo. It's I Shen's turn. <laughs> He's going like to. Just saying. Shen also knows the plan. They all know the plan. Everybody's in line with the plan. They saw him get shot. They should know Barbados is theoretically inside of him. Shen's going to hold his action. Nice. Pog. Whitebeard's gonna... Is he gonna walk up? It's fair if you fucking... God damn it, dude. Please. You know the plan, Whitebeard. Just hold your action. He's about to be disabled. Please. He's gonna hold his action. Yes! He's already lost. You're already I don't know, I don't know if that's a yes because Andros comes up next. Andros is just going to obliterate everybody. Alwyn, uh, please don't finish off as He's going to grab Marco and Shade. It's a good job that he's not. Oh my gosh. Captain has met you. He's not vindictive. Uh, Alwyn has no reason to be. Thank you. Andros, this is a fucking scary situation. I'm literally inside of him with darkness emanating. I haven't expanded yet, though. Are you, are you canceling his devil fruit right now? I am, yes. Okay. Does him canceling the devil fruit take the mark off of my shoulder? And off of my arm. It is okay. <laughs> this is now where. The scariest part of this comes into oh, play. Oh, fuck. They're going to get me. Because he is a normal human now, all the gravitational things have dissipated. They no longer have a progeniting source. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? The gravity oh, wheels on, you guys. Dissipate. <gasps> Don't do some science bullshit when he just got... In his interested. pocket, though... The multiple. Oh, yeah. Eyes <laughs> Everything open. comes out. He currently has six more in his pocket. Okay. We're about to hit some death flags here. Oh, oh come on. Fuck. I'm inside of him. I should be safe. Yeah, no. So, Barbados, I completely agree. Uh, my You're reaction is fine. to save Pops. Dude, what? I remember that Thatch was also holding. That's true. Thatch was holding his yeah. action. Thatch is a guy. Yeah, he's holding. He's holding an air an air gust. My action is to save Pops. I think unless the air gust saves him. Okay, so this let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Chain here. So these shrapnel bombs are about to go off. You have no way of knowing that until they've already gone off. Captain yes. Roy Proof. Roll a. 
We don't get like the uh, the fucking glowing light from his pocket effect. Also, no, this one, this one, this one I'm thinking of right now. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of the order of operations here. So, and what would my spidey only sense? Per only perception check at advantage. Uh, William Blaze, you would or Arachnor, you would instantly know death is imminent with this with this feeling. That's plus twelve. Okay. Twenty-eight. Okay. okay. So. so because because I know for a fact what is going to happen, yes? Can you yeah. Get Shin out of there? Okay. Maybe. There's only one thing for me to do. Get the fuck out, it's gonna blow! <laughs> you, gonna... Jump, you jump down, it's gonna blow. Captain, you see the, the... A time slows down. You see the light up in his jacket. What do you do? Uh, I swap his jacket with something in the distance. Swap his jacket? Can't I? Isn't uh, it all in his jacket pocket? That's that... true. It's on his jacket. That she can see exactly his jacket. Down. Okay. Roll another perception check for off in the distance. What are you picking? Unless you would like to try to spy something. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's just something as distant as I can, like a rock or a bird or. I was about to say, pick a boulder and have it 12. land on his head. Twenty six. Oh, Twenty six. Pick a boulder and have it land on his you head. See, you, see, you see a seagull just flying off. Do it. I swap his with the seagull. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There is now a seagull on his shoulder. Huh? Did the light transfer the... with it? Yes. Okay. Oh. You see in the distance, it looks like a, a, a fucking nuke. Oh, <sighs> the mushroom cloud. I'm actually see... like standing up. I can't sit back down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see the explosion rock the distance. The remainder of your ship is eviscerated by shrapnel. Oh, okay, I'm sitting down. White Beard will give us one. We helped him a lot. Maybe. Let's, let's worry about that later. As, okay, as so Andrew... all of the ship is gone now? Yeah, it oh, is it's fucking completely gone. Completely obliterated. Okay. As as Andrus goes. My goes, TV was on there. It was, it was, yeah. He goes, Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, that had his everything that was in his That jacket. had his golden Yes! That had his golden fucking snail. Uh, God damn it. God, Get God fucking damn it. Wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked. Planning OP. I see. I have a brain. You guys doubt me? Come on. Captain is very smart when she no, wants to. She just pretends energy. to be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I love Get wrecked. Just stops you in your tracks like a brick wall. Okay. I was literally like the night that the day that that got told to me. I would we Daniel and I were in bed and I was like Daniel, what does it mean? He's like go to okay, sleep and I was like Daniel, on, let's what wait does for it that mean? Post -DD talk. Let's finish this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he ends his turn. He has nothing else he can do. Get wrecked, idiot. Brooke holds his Brooke. action. Lay no, down and using take the man. Actually, wait, no, he didn't use his action. He is going to hold his act. Yeah, he's going to hold that. For if a condition is met, something will happen. Okay. Next one up is Brooke. Uh, you um, mean Teal? No, Brooke and then Teal. Oh, okay. Uh, Brooke is going to... I think Brooke holds his action. Yeah, fuck. Fuck it, dude. Brooke's gonna hold uh, three verse hummingbird slash. Fucking fuck it, dude. If if Andrus looks if and if he gets the call out, Brooke will use his move. He uses cool move. Uh, next one up is Teal. So if I could I use my bonus action to finish reloading it and then my action to shoot it? Needs to be your action. Oh, okay. It is it is a it is as complex of an of a You could probably rate. aim with your uh, bonus action. Okay, then then yeah, I will Finish reloading it, then I'll use my bonus action to give my, like, I don't know if that, I'll literally give myself advantage, but, like, take another turn to steady, line up a fucking kill shot at, like, the nape of his neck for, like, you know, whenever I can, uh, yeah, I guess. And then okay. ship parts are floating in the water. All right, Barbados, you're <laughs> up. Okay, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a thing to me, okay. Now is when I expand in full darkness through his bloodstream. Oh. I'm gonna That's get through awesome. all the veins. 
incorporate every artery. Bless you. Roll a wisdom check. I'm gonna buy it. Okay. I have my headset though. Come on, come on. That is an 18. 18, okay. You were able to do that. As I get through his body, I want to make sure to get to his head. And as darkness, I'm going to speak into his head. Okay. That's okay. I'm going to say, Hello, Mr. Petrikov. You might not know what's happening right now. But I'm in every part of your body. You had us in checkmate for quite a while. It was, uh, scary, if I will. I've determined you're a man that's not allowed to live. This is probably goodbye. And with darkness, since I'm wrapped around his whole body, I want to crush his heart. Sand coffin. Roll a strength check. It'd be super anticlimactic if after that speech you roll on that one. Uh, that is... Advantage. At advantage. You're, you're literally in front inside of him. Yeah. He has literally nothing. He's floundering. Triple advantage? 19. 19. That's good. As the, as the black ichor tendrils wrap around his heart, it, they slowly start to tighten as you guys see him. Uh, you guys all see as he's standing there and he grasps at his chest and he's... <laughs> As he's falling to the ground. And this is not a quick death. Yes, good. Are, That's what you deserve. Are, you, are, you are feeling him trying to armament his heart, but yet the consistent pressure, he is just on the ground convulsing. Good. Finish him, dude. Just finish him. This is Oh, it. okay. Yeah. No, no, no. This is. He should be dead from this, right? Yeah, he, he is currently in the process of dying. It's just take the the inner resilience is making this not instantaneous. I guess on my yeah. turn, I can take a kill shot to kill him. Talk about he a is heart not attack. Prone. Yeah, yeah, I'll, heart yeah. Attack. On my turn, I'll just yeah. yeah. That's what I'm writing my shit for. Yeah, he's currently prone. Actually, he's like on his knees right now. He's just fighting. Whitebeard's just looking at this pitiful creature. Okay, that will be my turn. Um, I guess Kenzo actually could do the thing he wanted to do. If That'll asked... be the cost of his life, though. I think he would ask Captain and see that. Yeah, he wasn't. The... He hasn't discussed this with anyone else. Oh no! He's I think dead. he would ask to be switched in range and do his thing. Not when he's literally dead. He doesn't he can, know that this is dying. He can certainly ask this... to be switched. It's something he, just... he can do. He also he was would... just panicking too. Oh, I mean, he he was saying, give me an opportunity. This looks like an opportunity he would take. I did agree. I said, you know, yeah. I'll he also, he also rolled a that one, so I yeah. doubt uh, he's paying attention. That's DM thing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He did and that. I'm just saying he can ask Rowena. Rowena wouldn't do it, but. I'll say, I'll say because of the one he rolled, he doesn't get the opportunity for that. Oh, okay. Uh, Kenzo, he's currently... He's still doing lookout, but he has no visibility. Question mark. And he's currently just uh, assuring Hoshiko. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Here's the question mark. All right. Hurry up. It's got to be Columbo. Columbo or Kuzan? It's not. Col it's not... Why would you You're think it's Columbo? You're telling me Columbo wouldn't be here right now? Yes. No. That's exactly what I'm telling it's you. It's Columbo. Right. DM, please prove me right. P pull out Columbo, please. What's question mark, question mark, question mark? Number Does he have the goal to actually come out? It's Columbo. He should he should see this as a disadvantageous position. No, Columbo yeah. flicks a cigar off like a cliff and we see that. That's what we see. Okay. You guys, you guys actually see above you. Like a like a projector. Captain, make a perception. Actually, everybody make a perception check. Oh no. Uh, even me, I'm inside of them. Uh, not you, no. Okay. Where's Teach? Ha, ha, ha. 23. Uh, that is a 26. 23. Ze, okay. ha, ha, you, guys, ha. you guys see a hooded figure off in the tree line. Oh, it's How just D-Dragon. 
and hmm. then you see on this projection it says hey, you actually do see dragon yeah just oh, oh. He's right. no, that's not he's just hanging out. wait a second wait wait a second no he's, he's just hanging out he's right. on the screen he says i wouldn't have figured that that this group of individuals would be the ones to defeat you I was hoping that I would get the pleasure myself or my operatives. Is he taking a chance to fucking gloat? Mm, mm -hmm. I, I hope so. Off. I love this he guy. Goes. Everyone's just gonna let him suffer to death. That's fine. He goes, just a bit of information to let you know now that you've been aware of it. I think it's about time that the Navy gets a taste of what happened to Leva and its people. Is he good? Oh, he is a madman. Oh, no. nah, he's a good guy. You've drawn quite the amount of resources away from your, from your base in this blue. He's gonna blow up the marine base? This man's fucking psycho. He goes, <laughs> due to my friends here, they've drawn quite the attention away from there. Uh, uh, we, we're not affiliated. He Rowena goes, calls out. <laughs> he goes, and if you don't mind... I think we should show you what's happening. He's gonna blow up the fucking marine base. Uh, Kenzo, cover yeah. Hoshiko's eyes. He does so. You then see Dragon. He clicks a, a transponder snail. And you see, from a distance, you see the marine base with these ships around. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, explode. As you see, building after building collapse in. Kind of like how like the uh, the Twin Towers are, you know, fell okay. down. Okay, yep, yep. <sighs> Like Actually, K this man's insane. As you see more explosions go off, you see marines trying to flee. As you see uh, these warships bombarding the island, as as it turns back to Dragon, he says, I guess you could say it's a bit of a buster call of my own. Oh my oh. god. He goes, and I think I'll leave them to show you the fate that you've earned. Viva la Liva. Oh, that's oh. that's clever. Viva the Leva! I love that. But that's... also, I have to kill Monkey D. Dragon. I was about to say that's a pretty <laughs> evil thing. He yeah, no, yeah, that's fucking. Oh. Oh. Law does not like that at all. I guess I'm pretty glad we're not really friends with that guy. Yeah, Law feels immense guilt, by the way. But whatever. Again, As Andrew's again, you, uh, you see just this look in his eyes of pure rage as just asphyxiation takes him. We thought we were the fucking king and queen piece. Dragon's been the player the whole time. With that, oh, your move, your Andrews falls to the ground. No! I was gonna get the kill shot then. I, I, I wanted it. Oh, well, he, he, he's still seizing at me. Yeah, take your shot, I guess. You're fucking go to shoot. Yeah. But no, anyway. no, no, you'll hit Wait, me. No. Just let don't, him die. Don't put just just watch him squirm yeah. as the light leaves his eyes. <laughs> just just let him die. Dude. You can hit Shadow. Gerald and Hoshiko. Wait, is the DM is saying I can shoot him? Can I shoot him? <sighs> no, I, come I, on. You can shoot him if you want. I'm, I'm still horny. inside of him. I'm, I'm horny as fuck for Andros's death. I don't think you understand how He's long. He's dying right I, now, and you can yeah. witness it. Yeah, I know, but He's I want to kill. He's made millions suffer. Let him suffer in his life. I have the next don't action. Shoot so him I have down like a dog. It's not my what turn. It's not. It's not my turn. Yeah, it what is. This mercy killing. Can I, can I have a catchphrase when I do? Yeah, it? yeah, sure. I, I rack no already. <laughs> oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> All right. I like, I'd, l I'd like to walk up to him. Jump kick he, his windpipe. This person he's never seen before, as his eyes <laughs> straining to barely look at you. He has no I'd, idea. I'd, who I'd you I lift are. his head up to where he looks at me. Okay. He doesn't know who you are. Can I look at him? Okay. So I, I look at him, and I say, <laughs> Not everyone is meant to make a difference. But for me, the choice to lead an ordinary life is no longer an option. It is no context at all for this. He doesn't thing. know who you are. What the fuck are you talking about, Jesse? <laughs> There's absolutely no context as you see the veins start to bulge and start okay. bursting as you see uh, the, the, uh, the shadow is starting to come out of him. Can I shoot him now? <laughs> Stop trying to shoot him, it's dude. It's Andros' no. turn. No, it's, it's already it's Kyle's turn anyway. He's doing the kill shot. Uh, just me, me. Yeah, Kyle, what do you want to do? You just said your cool catchphrase. I, I did the cool catchphrase. Snap his neck. And 
snap. I'm, I'm not him. gonna snap his Kiss neck. him on the mouth. Twist his dick. I'm yeah, what are you gonna do, <laughs> Show us him. show us his butthole. <laughs> Fondle. Right. Man. Well <laughs> I guess I will This is Trevor's baby Egypt. I'll just punch him. <laughs> Pants him. Okay. Okay. His <laughs> Please, <laughs> miss. <laughs> Please, miss. Please, Please, miss. Okay, you, you hit him. What's hey, going boy. on? You Does he barely, die? You barely. <laughs> actually, wait, no. You don't even hit his AC. Okay, no, you don't. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Is 19 plus 4 a 23? Does not hit. 23 doesn't hit? No. Alright, then I'll just sit there with his head with his head in my hand. You should have pantsed him! Come on, man! <laughs> oh I do God. get the shot! Holy shit! Kyle, you're gonna make me wake the fucking neighbors. I'm I'm trying to hold in my laugh so I cannot hard. believe you missed! <laughs> okay, you hit 23, you, you'll miss too. I'm That's crying. true. I get quadruple advantage. <sighs> Uh, that's so funny. Yeah, go ahead. No, it's the second it's question turn. Marks. It's Beth's turn, and then Hasma. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, well he's Hasma dead. Did so. It's Hasma my turn? Second okay, yeah, after Beth. <laughs> Beth yeah. Okay, I'm gonna swap us all closer so we can watch him. Okay, sure, yeah, y'all, you guys move closer, sure, why not? <laughs> through hey, Andrus's through uh, body, I want us to, like, move his mouth and say, I'm still in here. I want to walk up. Okay, then get yeah, out. Like, like a poor puppet, the voice comes out, not in sync with the mouth. It is unironically horrifying. I need to make sure he's dead. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to squeeze until the thing's, like, just put it. I want to I wanna <laughs> spit on the Check. ground. It's not your turn. Oh, okay. I said we're out of initiative order. Oh, well, I wanted to kill him. Damn it. Okay, whatever. I just want to spit on the ground I'm going to go shade over to... That's all I'm going to go get do. Hazmat and bring him over to That is a 17. Uh, 17. Flash. Okay, actually, no, I need to roll another death save for Hazmat. Well, yeah, I'm wondering if I can, like, rush him over to... That's another fail. Yeah. Ooh. Slash spit. Slash can spit. I... Slash can I... spit. <laughs> can I rush him over to the dock? Yeah, you run him over to the dock. Doc, please, please stabilize or heal him, please. Can I Can I say oh, a cool right. one-liner? Oh, sure. Yes, please. It's I very wanna, important. I want to get a so cool one-liner out. Okay. Dude, go for it, Captain. Can I... I'm going to say, don't mess with the one-eyed pirates. Spit. Spit, yeah. Oh, and Andros, you just remember what I told you, and then I'm going to go back to help. This is like well. a husk that we're talking to it. Yeah, <laughs> literally, he's already dead. You're just trash. Fuck him. Oh, um, one last thing I'd like to do, since I'm in this body already. Okay. Twisted I want to try that theory I, I thought I tried with, or I told you about, to see if I can take his devil fruit power. Oh. Uh... While I'm here. You got to find you his might spiritual as well. core. Yeah. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I thought I might as well Barbados can try you a little experiment. You gotta do what they did in Mugen Train. You gotta roll find a spiritual wisdom check. core. You can do it. I believe in you. I think I need a 20, 20. list for it to succeed. Not 20. Not 20, That's baby. a 19. A 19. Give him advantage. As you, as you go to do that, uh -huh. you feel that this is not the method in which you need. Ah, uh, all right. Well, then I'll see that in his though. mouth. You got a clue, though. Like... Gross, so you just kind of like you know like when you the, just come the out? full ocean thing comes out of Finn's mouth. <sighs> yeah, that that's what you do. <sighs> also, has matter stabilized, Doc. You fucking just you literally couldn't roll low. Yeah. And Lit also, literally, you couldn't. Last thing I'm gonna do is go inside of Law's coat. I'm oh. gonna stay in here for a bit. <sighs> okay. Hazmat, um, me and you need to talk. Sorry, I didn't give you a warning, but I didn't want to give away your cover. As has he kind of just slowly he goes, is he dead? Yeah, we killed him. Good. Passes out. <laughs> okay, uh, I, this is gonna seem weird to everybody, but like, kind of using his kind of mask and face as a cover, can I just slide his eye over, take out the module, and then put it in my eye? Roll an investigation check. Sure. That's your chance. I want to reach over to give Pops a high five when without, without his consent, but yeah, sure. Oh, uh, without that's consent. That's yeah. not going to look good when he wakes up. That's oh, fine. That's no. a four plus a 32. It's a 36. You reach in and you grab something and you yeah. slip it into your pocket. 
Oh, I I can't just inject it raw in my eye. I uh, you could try in front of everybody, but you don't have a mirror. You're not sure what you're looking at. Okay, yeah, fair, 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 fair. Break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just put it in my pocket. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Okay. Uh, you've gained four one eight three essence. All right, essence. Um, <clears throat> sorry if that was a little. I say from Lost Code. Sorry if that was a little anticlimactic there, pops and uh, Shen. I want to reach up to give Pops a high five. He reciprocates it. Hell yeah. Uh, he also looks God. at you guys, and he kind of rubs the back of his head, and he says, I, uh, sorry about your ship. That's okay. It was hey, man, you bound, killed him. It we was killed bound him. to fine. happen, honestly. I never get to keep ships very long. Uh, do you think you could help us out well, with a new ship? it wasn't my ship anyway. Stop it! Uh, we're not, we're not soliciting Pops. Do you think you could help us out with a new no. ship? Being, you know, Silence! Silence. Hey. As, uh, There's a time Shin and place. Looks at my beard and says, "It was nice fighting along the same side. I'm sad this will not happen again." Yeah, uh, Shen, I think you're gonna be desperately needed somewhere after that video we just. Yeah, you see him look down dejectedly, and he says, "I do hope getting rid of him saved more lives than it cost." Make sure to tell, if you're going to tell anybody what happened, just say that the One-Eyed Pirates and Whitebeard defeated Andros. Do not implicate yourself. You've helped a great ton, and we peta, very peta, much peta, appreciate peta, 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 peta. Who's that? Who's ringing? Our oh, comms are back up. Peta, 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 peta. Oh, our comms back up? Who's ringing? Yes, they are back up. Who's being called? Rowena's looking around. Who did? Yeah, whose call is it? The sound is from Andros's pant pockets. Oh, God. I look at Pops and I bend down and I get inside and pull it out. Pull out a transponder snail. Oh, God. What does, does it, it look, look like? Teach. It looks like Teach. It's Teach's. He had it. <laughs> pet, 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 pet. What does it look like? <laughs> Please answer. I, it, looks, it looks like Teach. Answer it. <laughs> I open it up and make eye contact with Pops. Pacha. Yeah. My beard is just like you. Hacha. Zer. <laughs> oh, oh, I, yeah. I knew this, man. I, I've been waiting for this. This is my climax when I can fully coom. And here. Shame he couldn't quite make it, but it is what it is, I guess. Zer. Oh, Gotta so say. Terrible. This is a mighty fine fruit, if I do say. Yes, I knew it! I knew it! That's what? so good, yes! I caught it! Gross. Yes, oh my god, oh, I caught so it so good. hard! I had this random fucking theory in my oh, head about I it. I called it so fucking hard. That's great, hard, I have no idea what's happening. <gasps> he got Andros' fruit. He got Andros' fruit! Yes, dude, he knew wow. about the fruits at rule. Uh, I knew it. Either way, if, if uh, fucking ha uh, Barbados loses, he gets the graph gravity fruit. If Andros and that's loses, where we're ending tonight's session. Ah! Masterful, beautiful Dude. perfection. One of the best sessions of ever. Uh, that sucks. For me, I had this th ever since you I brought it up, Jade. Oh, okay, I don't know what's happening. I'm kind of really mad. I'm really upset that Andros's fruit is still up there. Um, I don't know what's happening. I think next week's session's canceled due to work. Um, but yeah. If you want to know what's happened thus far in From the Southern Sun, you can catch all the VODs on the YouTube channel and follow it show by show. Um, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you follow so you don't miss anything and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you know when I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye.